actually, maybe I should just start this way. <laughs> I was scrambling around in the in the background depths because I was trying to figure out. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot of things to install. I was here. I'm here. <laughs> but I didn't actually hit the start stream button yet because it wasn't like 10 minutes until. But hey, let's change it up. Why not? Every day is a little bit different. Hopefully you're having a good Friday, yeah? Or I guess for you might be Saturday, yeah? Reporting for Rogue Tech Duty? Oh, absolutely. So, my gosh, there is so many changes to Rogue Tech. I decided to go in, well, I was going to say blind, but semi-blind, I guess. <laughs> hey, Amiel. Hey, Amiel. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah. How are y'all doing today? I figure we can just, as people roll on in, usually we're playing the music in the background and stuff. So maybe we'll just change it for a day. Great day was a, it was a holiday today. What, what was it today? In, in Germany? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So for anybody who's joining right now, we're just kind of chatting until we roll on in. Hey, Antonite is good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. And if you're curious, when I keep looking this way instead of that way, it's because that's where all you are on my screen. Unfortunately, the game's like right here. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Today, today's been kind of interesting. Like outside, it started out as frost and snow, and things like that. No holidays or anything, but it sure felt like the holidays. Anytime there's snow, and it's it's kind of strange because I would have expected it a few months ago, but they kind of, I don't know. Every year's different. Let's put it that way. Every year's different. It comes out of a different place, yeah. Well, we've got, let's see. I mean, as far as everyone is concerned, you wanted to be in on the pilots, right? Maybe, maybe. In fact, Justin Brown, Ladies Day. Oh my gosh, there's Ladies Day. I mean, I've heard of, I think it's International Women's Day, but I didn't know necessarily when that was. But Ladies Day, gosh, that sounds so posh. <laughs> I, if, if I were a lady, I'd, I'd expect to, I don't know what I would expect. I'd expect to go out and have a profiterole or something. That sounds awesome, yeah? Hi, Dets and Amy. Hope you both are well. Sure, this time I'd like to be a missile boat. Well, I, here's the thing. We've got to see what we can accomplish. Most of the time I'm struggling just to, well, continue to play. <laughs> so, I don't know if targeting specific things is necessarily something that I can commit to just yet at this point, but we could definitely... How about this? I will always listen to the suggestions, yeah? And then if there's something that maybe we veer missile-ish, then we can have something like that. I'd love to have a missile boat. I mean, as far as I'm aware, the closest thing we have a missile boat to right now in like BTA is, well, Amiel's incredible Thunderbolt 10 times four, right? So the Thunderbun. So uh, if we should be so lucky, yeah. What start are you thinking? Uh, I have chosen to go with the free Russell Hog Republic start. I've never done that before. And I've always heard quite a lot about the FRR. If there's, one thing I've noticed, there are a few constants that I do hear across all of the years, and I'm by no means an expert at all, at all. But just being a random bunny in the inner sphere, I hear that the cappies, except for friend of entropy, the cappies are generally like, ooh, why are you working for them? And then for the industrial mix and primitive starts and anything that's considered difficult, so like battle armor, vehicle, anything like that, then it's like, Oh, that's pretty cool because there's a lot of progression and it's slow and it's grinding. It's kind of like the it's it's the juice of the community. And then if you've got like clans, that's like difficult. I mean, not necessarily starting in the clans because, you know, you can get really good stuff, but like fighting against the clans. And then the FRR is like kind of the as far as I'm aware, the un, the favorite underdog or one of the favorite underdogs. They're kind of like, aren't they like a little bit like Switzerland? I think they're somewhat the buffer and the connector between all kinds of conflicts. So a lot of stuff goes down and they're kind of like on the protecting the great houses in the north. And then next thing you know, they're just like, you know what? Screw this. We should probably be on our own. We're pretty good. You know, <laughs> Sweden, Sweden. There you go. Hey, Sarini. Good to see you. Welcome. There we go. Norse, Norse even. Hey, Chappie. Norse. I didn't know about the Norse part. Oh, I guess that would make sense. I constantly see like filigree on their markings. It's really, really cool. Really pretty, yeah? In fact, in Berlin has had ways less holidays than the most of the German states, especially than the mostly Catholic ones. So they made up one to equal it out a bit. Now we got Ladies Day. Dude, that's a good day to celebrate. Are you kidding me? That's a great day. They're Swedish descended fighters. Gosh, that's so cool. 
FRR won their independence from Steiner and Draconis. You know, that makes a lot more sense now, Amul. Thank you so much. Because there is one thing that I noted, that if you do the FRR start, you actually get negative 25 rep with Steiner and the Draconis Combine. So, there you go. Win your freedom. The former imperialists, they don't really like it, right? So, yeah, but Berlin has the... De They've got a dancing bear? By any chance, does the bear play American football? Because then you could basically... They're the ghost bears, let's be real. That is so freaking cool. Hey there, two hands. I guess, can I double high five you? <laughs> FRR represent. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. I remember, was it um, one of our bunnies? I, I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm. I feel so bad. Travels around in a truck, and he's a huge FRR uh, proponent. Yeah. So I kind of had him in mind when I was when I was trying to pick a start. Let me tell you, there's so many starts out there that are super super cool, and it was very difficult to choose because I've done. Let's see, so far. Across the different mods, we've done battle armor starts, we've done vehicle starts like the Bunny Motor Club, The uh, we've done the Bunny Forklift Union for um, like utility mechs, right? Industrial mechs. We've done the agricultural farmer start. You know, we've done uh, the Marian Hegemony for the Roman, <laughs> for the Roman start. We've definitely done Steiner. We've done Davian. We've done, I've actually started in Kuritan space before. So we've done quite a lot, but I was kind of, I guess I haven't done Stranomecti or a Clanner start just because it's so far away. You're, you're pretty much isolated to where you're at. And let's be real, last time that we tried Rogue Tech or last time I tried Rogue Tech, I found it very difficult to get the funds just to move to the next system next door. So <laughs> I, I figured I better start somewhere kind of central so that we at least have some flavor and variety. Yeah. You give him a beer and he loves it. Oh, heck yes to the bear, the beer bear, the bear beer. Wondering who get Unsvins? I don't know. I don't know. I would imagine if it exists, you probably can, yeah? Somebody get him a bunny hat. Oh my gosh. Bunny spelled with Y. At least that's the English way to do it. So let me see if I can't do that, yeah? By the way, thank you so much for the redemption ahead of time. This is for deaths. He asked me, why Why the 1.0? What happened to the 2.0? It's still alive and well. That <laughs> so... Thank you so much for the pre-redemption of the Neuro Helmet 2.0 as I smack all the all the mics here, yeah. I'm a big fan of underdogs in general. It doesn't help that I'm Scandinavian. Heck guess two hands, so the FRR will always be my favorite. Well, let's go ahead and exercise. Well, for me, I, I'm a pretend Scandinavian today. So let's exercise our pretend Scandinavian pride and do the FRR proud, right? Yeah? Well, actually, since it seems like we got a good number of bunnies here. Let's kind of start a little early. Why not? Yeah. So let's go and bring it on down. Oh, heck yes. Oh, there we go. I forgot that I have to. Thank you so much, Chappie. <laughs> Thank you so much for the official redemption of the Neuro Helmet 2.0. I, I totally forgot I got to be in the other screen before any of those will pop up. So here we are. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm back into the redemption game. The redemption game is. What do you mean the redemption game for Ladies Day? Is that what? Or are we talking about. I'm drawing a blank. There's a game, Ash Ash of Oh Ash of Gods, something Redemption. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Anyway, so I was looking at this picture right here. If you're curious, yeah. So this is an image of the starting planets, right? So obviously, if we did Primitive Clan, we'd be way up here. It would take us a very long time to get anywhere down south. And flashpoints, forget about it until we're strong enough to make a giant trek way down south. If we ended up going kind of the way that we did last time, that was our Rusty Dan start. We're way down here at the very south butt end of space. So kind of difficult for us to move out. And quite frankly, most of the great houses hate us. And even if they like you, you only have a 15% markup. <laughs> they mark you up still, right? And if you sell things, it's like 200 C bills or something like that. It's pretty poor. So why not start a little bit closer to the center that way as far as a pie chart goes we can at least kind of move out to this pie move out to that pie move down this way or that way right so looking at this it's kind of like okay well steiner you're still kind of deep in steiner right your kuritans you're not even on the map you're like over here with the lambs right so you're a little bit silent with those lambs right and then you got the free Rosselhog. And I know I always head out to this area whenever I want to do something fun. 
So why not just start with the Swedes, right? Why not start out in Rosselhog? If we're FRR from the start, we're going to have fun all the time, right? <laughs> that was my thought, yeah? So FRR made a crucial kill in the clan invasion. One of their fighter pilots kamikaze the clan Fletch. Oh my god, that is crucial and killed the original Il Khan buying time to get the inner sphere on the same page my gosh that's crazy hey akinto thank you so much welcome 4 a.m my god you are a trooper well let's not delay any further i was just kind of chatting with the bunnies and right now we were just kind of going over the reasons behind the frr start we've done quite a lot we've started out on the edges here we've started out kind of smack dab in the left or smack dab in the right or moving up towards the federated sun so we can get reputation kind of sitting in the saint ives compact which is probably the closest to the middle that we've ever been but this time why not be in a very dangerous high conflict place if we want to get some testing and some battles done right so and on top of that i understand oops hello it actually seems like we will have access to kind of a plethora of opportunities right so if we look at the start, everything is normal. The only difficulty changes that I've made, I've taken the default of five different uh, parts to assemble a mech and I dropped it down to four. So that's in the interest of a stream. We're not playing like every single day. In fact, with Rogue Tech, we're going to start out once a week. And then when we finish the BTA campaign, then we'll go full Rogue Tech and we'll continue the career a little more frequently. But right now, we're not going to go as frequently until we wrap up the other one. So therefore brought it down to four, if that makes sense. And then on top of that, when it came to our last kind of test play, we kind of got through three streams worth of it. It seemed like when we were waiting to repair our armor, I'm talking about just moving points of armor. It would take almost a month. <laughs> it would take like 22 days, right? So I took the speed from normal and I put it one notch down, which is labeled quick. I don't know how fast that is, but those are the two adjustments that I made. Other than that, I basically started as a commando veteran. We are Russell Hoggy in background. So I think it was like tactics and guts that we got. And then I am a, uh, a technology focused bunny. So that gave us lost tech experience and I think technician, which reduces some of our Argo upgrade upkeep time or upkeep cost. So that all seemed like really nice stuff. So with that in mind, as a commando veteran, apparently once we advance the time, we'll get more stuff. But here is our start. Yeah. So we'll go over to the navigation screen. We'll head on in. You can see we are here on Russell Hog. But I did notice that the challenge level is one and a half red. So that's a little deceptive to me because I see the skulls and I go, A, already probably don't want one and a half, but it's red. So that's that's probably a no go. Right. But it's a nice place to start if you want to use your funds to like get something nice because we're in a higher difficulty system. So we're probably gonna have to move to like Unsmarkt, right? Which is half skull green, most importantly. And it's only 50,000 C bills to get out there. But not only that, we've also got, this is our starting lineup. We started with some really nice stuff, which is basically basic and not primitive, right? So we've got Phoenix Hawk 3K. This actually comes with an, oops, let me flip this over so you can actually see. It comes with two ER larges and two medium pulses. What? That is so advanced. That's crazy. So FRR, they've got it going on. And then we've also got a Griffin. Yes, it is the Griffin that some people love and some people hate. And Garrison especially does not like this one. But it's got the PPC. It's got the LRMs, right? Still, basic. I like basic. Basic's nice. It's a good place to start from. And then we got two spooters. One is the 7M. Love the fact it comes with ferrofibrous. And then we also get, of course, instead of the two medium lasers in the tummy, we get two medium pulses. That's pretty darn good, especially for the safety of the weaponry. Not so much the safety of the pilot. And then last but not least, we've got the spooter with the two standard medium lasers, right? This one's a little less special, but nonetheless, more capable than some of our agricultural mix that we've had. Other things that we've got, I actually haven't looked at the vehicle bay. I haven't looked at the battle armor bay. Haven't looked at the super heavy babe. We pretty much start out with just the four. But when we advance the day, we should be able to get another mech because of the commando veteran background. Yeah, let me go and catch up here. Was in the first book of the Blood of Kerensky trilogy. Me likey. Oh, serious? Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Two classics, two advanced. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice. So bunnies, with that having been said, spider, kill it with fire. Well, maybe not just yet. We kind of need it. Yeah. So let's go in and bring it on back. We'll go over to the barracks because 
there are seven placeholder slots right now. You'll notice that there are actually a lot more specialties now, like HB, he can drive or pilot mechs and he can pilot vehicles. But look at this. Placeholder number four can fly VTOLs, can, it has battle armor proficiency, and then can use lambs. So apparently you can go to lamb school. So if we go over to the store right now, I think this is how you do it. I'm not entirely sure. A lot of this is new. There's so many new systems in uh, Rogue Tech. You can go to La Lamb Academy. <laughs> you can go to Lamb Academy. That's right. That's cool. <laughs> Sign me up. All right. So now I'll actually take some volunteers if you want to get in. Yeah. Hey, Kazik, Welcome back. Well, it's a spider. Anything larger than a firecracker next to it will have it explode. So right now I know I've got depths on the list. We've got Antonides. We've got Amiel. So we've got three thus far. Let's go in and start setting those out. So over to the barracks. This way we'll have we'll have some bunnies in here. So we've got debts. I think that's correct. Yeah. Save that. Yeah. Hey there, Mr. Uh, is it Mr. Dart? Is there a special way that you want me to pronounce your name? Yeah. And welcome back. Yeah. Add Chappie. We got Chappie. We're just taking volunteers from anyone who wants to be a part of the placeholder crew. Yeah. Mind you, if you're attached to your bunny, just note this is Rogue Tech. This is the beginning of a career. This is the time when bunnies are most likely to die. So just keep that in mind <laughs> because <meh. laughs> I'm not the best player in the world, you yeah? So we've got Chappie here, crossbow, love it. All right, so we got Antonidis. Well, let's see, we have only one pilot that is V only. So I'm going to work down this way. Unless someone wants to be a V only pilot, do let me know. Okay, because we don't have any Vs yet. So we need to keep that in mind. So there's going to be Antonides. Promoter, you want to be a lame pilot? Come to Lame Academy. Oh my, well, you know, there are some things that lames can do that other things can't. So I'm going to keep it in mind. But I do, yeah, maybe HB will go to the Lame Academy in place of the bunnies. Yeah, and we got Amiel, you'll do that guy. All right, you're gonna be that guy. Amiel is that guy. Heck yes. Keep you safe. Add me for a very volatile pilot. Yeah, sure. I mean, now bunnies. I just want to point out, as far as taking specific requests about the our our bunnies, since I haven't played the rogue, new Rogue Tech at all, and it's been a long time since I played Rogue Tech. Normally, I would make a note and beeline for that, but um. Uh, the last time that we played Rogue Tech for just like three streams, I was still so basic that uh, we still had primitive stuff. <laughs> so no promises as to what we'll even have available or if we'll even survive the beginning of the career. So just want to want to put that out. But I will definitely, definitely add you to the list. Yeah, then that's AK one N T triple O. Perfect. Thank you so much. You made Amiel a V pilot. Yep. Isn't that what he said? You said, I'll do that guy. Oh, the lamp. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not going to get it anywhere. Am I? I'm mishearing things. Uh, let's see. So Amiel is that guy. I'm guessing you mean this crazy guy. Okay. So we got Amiel. And we got Chappie. What's your favorite battle tech mech? I am torn and I know I'm rather vanilla, but I do love the Timberwolf. And uh, obviously I love the Highlander. So those are kind of my go-tos, yeah. What about you, Kazik? And then we got Chappie. It's gonna be Chappie. Definitely a test pilot. The crazy guy, what else? Which which one? I don't, <laughs> I don't know which one's crazy. I figured all mech pilots are kind of a little bit crazy, yeah? It's a dangerous world. A very, very dangerous world. This is going to be crossbow. There we go. And then we got a kin to. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Good to see you. Welcome. To go. Hopefully you're doing well. We're doing all right. We're just kind of getting this thing kicked off. We just have to figure out. We have one more placeholder for a V only. Here we go. Oh, yeah. V only pilot. 
if someone wants the slot but we don't have any bees right now so it's not a rush yeah hey there steel shark welcome you're a bunny you're crazy get with the program oh my all right let's go and i love rifleman it was the first mech i played with in tabletop i think they're beautiful especially the the newer ones they have very nice proportions and will have room on your pilot list i have a v pilot available if you want to be that mac but i will absolutely add you to the list just in case you you want to hold out for something else right now the list is wide open okay so let's get going you do want to okay excellent thank you so much mac i really appreciate it we don't have any bees yet but that could very well change very very quickly yeah Thank you so much for the volunteers. All right, let's get a move on. So if you're just joining us, we are currently doing a free Russell Hog Republic start. We're currently on Russell Hog, a one and a half skull red, well, one and a half red skull difficulty planet. And we've started with two spiders and a griffin and a phoenix hawk. That is quite amazing, really. Didn't expect to have that kind of coverage there right from the get-go that's pretty awesome and if we advance one day we should actually get our backup because in fact we chose the i think it was company no commando veteran background yeah so this is a part of it so it's been several years since you'd felt this ready to get back into the cockpit you thought that damocles would have been enough excitement for a lifetime and yet you find yourself once more itching to climb into the pilot seat as you pace back and forth outside of the mech bay, flanked by armored windows showcasing the inky black, Yang's voice catches your attention. Hey, boss. She's out of mothball. He informs you. All ready to go. Your pacing abruptly stops and a small smile graces your face. Yang seems to have noticed since he wears one of his own. Well? He asks. He's going to stand there grinning. Are you going to come check her out? All right, well, we got to reunite with our old friend, which is about to roll. The mech bay is as stuffy and noisy as you remember than always being. However, your mind is focused solely on one thing, your mech. Walking at a brisk stride, you pass the bustling mech techs, deftly stepped around various coolant spills and flying sparks until finally you behold her, your bushwhacker. She looks just as beautiful. As the day you left her. Well, I, I hope she didn't mind being kept in the broom closet all this time, you remark. Yang shrugs. Ah, she had to come out eventually, boss. All right, so what do we get? Cross your fingers. We have... A Bushwhacker P1. A missile boat. Oh! <laughs> you know, it is so... Okay, Dex was just asking about a missile boat, and I was saying, I don't know what we're going to get. I have no idea. A missile boat in the mold of the X-2. The P-1 moves one of the left torso LRM-5 launchers to the right torso, retaining the X-1 center torso mounted ER large laser. By replacing the AC-10 with a lighter AC-5 and removing all of the machine gun DACA, removing the case... Oh, this, this, is, not, this is not a good trend right now. The P-1 also exchanges the ferrofibrous armor of the standard Bushwhacker for an end of steel frame. The extra weight saved, allowing it to carry three tons of LRM missiles, two tons of AC rounds, and mount 13 double heat sinks. Well, it definitely sounds very cool, yeah? I dig it. Gotta love the bushy. Just never tried this one. I remember the first time I ever played Rogue Tech, I had a bushwhacker. I loved the heck out of it. And it happened to come with, I think it was lrm mag pulse ammo which just saved our behind such that we could take on a clan assault on the very first day that was ridiculous so curious what this has let's go on and bring this over it looks like we've got lrm5 zeus interesting okay wow all right indirect cluster we've got lrm surface to air missiles lrm extended range and standard lrm we have 15 lrms nicely spread out here and then we've got a federated AC-5, 100% crit chance, 50% through armor critical chance. And then it comes with precision ammunition and armor piercing ammunition and an ER large laser. The heat efficiency delta is at negative 27. Oh my God. What a starting. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Bushwhackers are fun. Heck, I go three SRM six instead of the LRMs. I think Baradol started with that. Oh, really? He did the, he said, I think 
was it clan in exile right that's so cool that is so cool her name was raven oh that's a good point well we can have the raven bun how about that we'll make it the raven bun i like that name yeah is that the pirate version i don't know is p for periphery or pirate is that right well let's see what else do we got here so this is going to be a sort of a, a jumping skirmisher i would imagine so we can have the bun kermisher <laughs> bun kermisher for right now yeah not the bushy bun oh let's let's that would be potentially uh misunderstood so i think i will go with the raven bun but i like the thought process and then we'll go with the uh the bun pop because you kind of go with the ppc all the time you know and then we've got our spooter this kind of the advanced spooter so this can be the i was gonna say the fancy bun but it'll be the bun palsy that sounds weird i don't think i'll do that it could be the um the bun wom 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 how would you spell that wob wob there we go wob wob or wob wob i think wob wob's better that way it doesn't look like i'm saying wobby so we're bun wob wob that's gonna be difficult to talk about i might change that and then we've got the bun standard the bundered <laughs> bun standard there we go i like it those are good starting names fantastic obviously the most important thing to do right from the get-go so we got five mechs that's absolute insanity probably want to rebalance the armor and stuff but i'm curious with the quick uh armor repairs whether we're going to be able to do that in any semblance of time at all so if we max out the armor as an example and we add this which we cannot eight two five oh that's not too bad that's not too bad i was expecting like 13 days for that so that's actually pretty good can we actually we don't have any case right so i kind of feel not so safe having these things inside of our torso i mean obviously I mean, we can kind of toss out the extended range or something or better yet the surface to air there we go like that and then we've got engine heat sink plus one i don't know if we need that if i'm perfectly honest i mean take a look at that negative 21 still that's kind of nuts and are these requirements they're not so i almost feel like do we need all of this right from the get-go it's negative nine that's not bad maybe we'll stick to that and then max out with what we got how are we doing now i mean it's looking a lot better yeah not bushy uh we'll bring this to i guess bring the back down because it was already sitting there that seems fair and then we bring that down to 75 and then protect the weapon arms right because that's kind of where all the magic happens and we're at 120 overall i think 110 should be sufficient and do we need any other frontal armor around 11 days see that's more what i expected yeah so we'll bring this up to 60 and just kind of dance it forward can we go farther than that no okay that looks already a lot better right so we'll get that set 11 days twenty-three thousand, and we even have some backup double heat sinks which is great for the bunk hermisher i guess i probably don't want to go too crazy right away i would like to get the repair and refit going but i tend to do the power systems first just because it's a prerequisite for quite a lot so let's go ahead and do that that only is a 315 uh c bill startup cost and we'll bring this down and so we got engineering going we have one rebalancing going i don't want to do too much at once because otherwise we won't be able to do anything at all we really have very low tech points at the moment and then is there anything we want to pick up before we move because we do not want to take any missions here it's one and a half red skull but we are in a really nice store so it could be worth it picking something up i would like to get battle armor at some point but this looks like battle armor like the elemental interesting i know proto mechs were an option too for me to pick something up i know we don't have any v's so a v might be nice to have but they're still kind of expensive ac2 kaliyama we've got a hawk moth maxim apc well we don't really have anything to carry in it yet we got a pegasus maybe we'll hold off on this bolt on eye rockets i'm looking kind of for more like optics things like advanced zoom that's excellent it's only 115,000. that's not bad at all plus one ranged accuracy up to 540 that's basically like everything that's awesome ac5 double bin that could be very useful if we're utilizing the bushy it's got that federated ac5 so having a ton of this maybe having a ton of this or not a ton two tons basically so one of these one of these and then pick up the um the zoom i think that would be a really really good 
start for us yeah so we'll grab that zoom right here we'll grab one of the double bins of each and we haven't spent too much money already that's already looking great right so let's go over to the navigation screen we got to get out of here yeah and we're gonna head out i like unsmart it's half a skull it's green former star league presence only 13 days that means the bushwhacker will actually be online by the time we get there so that's looking pretty good uh what is the uav beacon i think it has to do with i actually don't know i think it has to do with scanning i don't recall i think you can actually send it out and i think it goes in a special slot but that's a good question blue j uav beacon not equipable used straight from argo storage provides an alternate unit for systems that deploy units in combat active aoe ping all reveals all enemies within a 30 meter radius unit can participate in standard c3 c3i networks carries tag and a tiny combat loadout of a single droppable thumper shell wow is it single use only item consumed upon use so single use yeah lamb skulls only a thousand t-bills if anybody's interested does it require that we stay here though it says this is not a real item it will not appear in your inventory but instead trigger some action add contract trigger event etc tired of piloting a sluggishly slow grounded mech while everything else hurdles past you well then wemba lamb has the perfect solution for you lamb pilot training an appointment to wemba lamb's lamb academy piloting school will reward you with the knowledge of the skills needed to pilot a lamb this training course supplemented by neuro stimuli and training simulators and taught by our very own Black Betty can be yours for no more than 500,000 sea bills. Your tuition fee covers all costs associated with your training, including room and board for six to 12 months. Stop letting your lethargic mech affect your performance on the battlefield. Training can be tailored for pilots or commanders. Tuition costs 500,000 sea bills. Chosen pilot will not be available for six to 12 months. Applicant must have prior mech experience. Slots are limited, only one pilot at a time. Reps not responsible. If you do not have the funds to pay the tuition, avoid buying until you have a proper bankroll. Not all applicants will be accepted. Lamb training's dangerous. Accidents happen. <laughs> My, okay, well, maybe not at the moment, but that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, that's what we needed to know, yeah? Lamb Academy is a pyramid scheme. Oh my gosh. Well, all right, that sounds serious. Maybe we're not ready for that yet, but good to know. So I'm glad we checked that out. <laughs> I like how it's like not responsible for pilot injury or death. I'm like, oh, that's great. That sure sounds like Rogue Tech. Let's move. 50,000. We're moving to a half green skull system. Probably should have something queued up right after this. Ode to the XO. Oh, we love this one. Uh, Darius can lighten up. Yeah. Morale increased by five. My God, that is huge. Yeah. A lot of things added that I'm not familiar in the mod. I only played Classic and currently BEX, but this seems really fun. There's there's a lot to learn. I don't know a lot about it akin to. Yeah. Who would have thought joining Scientology costs so much? So one thing we're going to need to do, I would like to queue something up after the armor rebalance. So the moment it goes through, I'm going to try and pause in time. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So we've got one day till the Raven Bun. So let's head over to the Mech Bay. Maybe we can kind of do a little bit of adjustment somewhere. I would imagine the the griffin might need a little bit of help plus we've got the zoom right so we got that advanced zoom mark one can we toss it on yep it's within the carrying capacity it's excellent and since we got the ppc we've got that range that seems awesome uh is there anything else that we've got i think it was just the double heat sinks that we pulled off so i say we just go with that that seems great but i am going to move these down and i am going to move the we'll keep the heat sinks there i guess that's fine although taking them out of an explosive location might be kind of cool and it's only three days so that seems perfect about the armor though i don't think there's too much that we can do at the moment and it's sort of balanced so we'll, we'll just hang tight with it yeah and confirm oh double bin you smart smart man Dertz. you are such a smart man can i get it yes absolutely you can superior welcome uh, let's go to the ammo. Forgot that I just bought that. Can you believe that? I mean, of course you can. I'm the bunny man. Of course you can believe I forgot. <laughs> we'll toss this down and let's go and get this in before we've advanced any time whatsoever. Oops, I'm putting it in the wrong place. There we go. Four days. Easy. Yeah? Easy. Right. Hey there, Anakid. It's good to see you. And let me get you on the list. Superior. Thank you so much for the volunteer. All right. So we're just going to go with that kind of adjustment for now because we don't want to spend too much time 
not actually being in combat because we're going to need all the funds possible. So we're kind of trying to min max our loss gain ratio. Yeah. So two days. Hello. There we go. And we're going over to the engineering bay. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start up a little bit of the training modules just so we can actually get the plus morale, but more importantly, a little bit of experience trickle every single day, right? There we go. After that, we'll start to get into the repairs and, and the tech points and things like that. So, so far, so good. Uh, let's take a look at the store as a start. Yeah. Frack it, put me in. Heck yes, tank. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Yes, there is order. There's a new list. Yeah. I want to be on the list possible for a VTOL. Uh, so I'll, I'll just say the same thing is that since it's rogue tech and rogue tech, I am not the greatest at it. I'm so excited about checking all the things out, but as far as specific requests for the pilots, I may not be able to commit to that because <laughs> I'm, I have no idea what's going to happen in the career other than us being in the free Russell Hawk Republic from the start, but I will definitely get you on the list. Yeah. So we got superior on there. I know tank hair wants to be too. Yeah. And it looks like we've also got, I mean, do you still want to be there? Steel shark? Is that cool? Do you still want to go and order as well? Okay. So I got order. I got superior. I got tank here. Let's go ahead and get it in steel shark. HB, some of you will not survive. That is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh my, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a sacrifice that we need to be open to. Let's put it, <laughs> let's put it that way. Well, since tank is volunteering, I guess I'll have to safeguard his flavor. Oh, okay. Well, you can safeguard his flavor packets then. Yeah. Visit the store. Now we're here just for kicks. That's right. We're taking a look here. There might, we have no V's mind you, no V's at all. Got an MBT. Beautiful. Uh, has some DACA, a little bit of machine guns, double safe AC tens. Is it really safe though? Reduced explosive potential. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad that it's completely safe. Mostly. Uh, we got the hunter out here at 35. Hunter's always a nice jack of all trades. LRM 15 fantastic. Well, guess what? We also have LRM 15 on our Bushwhacker P1, which is excellent. We've got a laser carrier and my God, that is a laser carrier. I guess if we suck at shooting things, which we do, that's going to be great. Something's probably going to maybe hit something. That's awesome. SRMs, engines. We've got lamb academy, lamb appointment, a little bit, a little bit misleading, perhaps. Uh, we got our ammunition and we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's also stop by the hiring hall just in case there's something. Yeah. What is that inner sphere tag? Oh, I think that's the battle armor tag. Is that right? Yeah. Guess I'm back in tech support and salvage recovery. Back to eating accidental barbecue. Overwhelming odds, slim chance of survival. What are we waiting for? That's right. That's right. What mech was that? Oh, are you talking about the um, uh, the inner sphere tag? Let's see. Store. Yeah. Hey there, Red Fred. Thank you so much for the resub for 13 months. That's freaking awesome. High five. Welcome back. Yeah. We're just starting our new FRR start here in the Rogue Tech universe. I'm super excited. It's grand, brand new inner sphere tag. I'm guessing it's inner sphere standard tag barrage. Okay, that's pretty darn cool, but it's going to take all our money if we want to get it right. This is only a part of it, or is this the whole thing? Oh, that's the whole thing. So it's legit. Oh my God, wait. Oh, MTR. What's the difference here? Because this one is 158,000 per part. We only need four. So it's a lot cheaper than this if we put it together ourselves. What else is here? I, I might get this just because it's so cheap. I don't know what it does. And even if it's bad, it's still a fight up fighting unit, right? That's cool. Mortar. Oh, yeah, let's do it. That's cool. I mean, look at that. That's a full one right there for 632 versus 2 million. That is not bad. Yeah, only seen for very short times on the battlefield. Well, let's get it. This is kind of our first rogue tech battle armor. That's kind of cool. Not saying we'll necessarily use it right away. Go to storage, get that on in. Here we go. The inner sphere standard was developed following the initial thrust of the clan invasion. As inner sphere powers rushed to duplicate the battle armor technology, the clans fielded. Lacking any battlefield salvage on which to base their development, though, engineers were forced to work off of ancient rumors of early power armor suits like the Nighthawk, more akin to armored exoskeletons than the Toads currently rampaging through known space, and these prototypes fared poorly during testing. It took salvage 
from the first victories over the clans to truly kickstart the development of battle armor. The new Avalon Institute of Science was the first to reproduce in part the clan's elemental armor as the Inner Sphere standard. And it's the Inner Sphere MTR, which as I understand it is mortar. Yeah. Oh, we've got outfitted. That's probably why it's cheaper. Yep. <laughs> So if we take a look at it right now, use it, park it somewhere safely, pilot still gets XP. That sounds awesome, but we actually have to make it function, right? That's the big problem right there. So we're missing three things that weigh how much? 0. 0.3 each. So we have 0. 0.9 to play with once we arm it. So let's go ahead and see. Hopefully there's something that we can just fill in for now. Yeah, a non-canon flashpoint. That's right. Isn't it called a heretic? Uh, battle armor, battle armor, battle armor. We're looking, there's BA rockets. That's 0.125. I think that's the only battle armor thing, right? There's ammo mortar, but that's not for battle armor. Battle armor, SRM, ammunition. I think the only battle armor stuff is here. And if we look at it, that's going to be 0.25 each. How many slots do we have available on that battle armor? I think we've got four total, one each. Is that right? Yeah, it's one each, so we wouldn't be able to put like a couple of rockets on it, but it's better than nothing. And then I guess we have some more armor for survivability. Not really the best for a mortar unit, but it's something, right? You have some kind of point defense, sort of, in case. <laughs> so we're going to get this and we're going to get three of them. It's not that expensive. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, three. There we go. 25,000. At least then they'll have something instead of just sitting there watching the only guy who gets to play with his mortar, right? Because that would just make me very pissed off. And I don't know if I would feel like I'm really actually part of the Bunny League and I wouldn't want to do that to anybody. So let's go ahead and get these in. One, two, and three. Now someone has, everyone has something. That's great. And we're going to max out this armor. Of course, we probably want to give the most armor to the guy who has the actual weapon. I, I don't know if I said that out loud. I don't want to, you know, upset any battle armor users here. So we'll get this up to, I don't know, 47 and just kind of try and balance this a little bit. There we go. All right. Excellent. Yeah. I don't like watching guys play with their mortars. Yeah, I know. That's why I gave you guys a rocket too. Yeah. The suit kind of reminds me of Starship Troopers. Yeah, I can see that. All right, I think that's as much as we got to settle there, but that's going to take 10 days. So we might as well take a look now at the command center and see what we've got. What's the good first starting contract here? I like the green because green's going to be a fight, but it is at the full green skull. So maybe the half skull escort's like the only one to go. Uh, hopefully we're not fighting. Oh, we're fighting against the FRR. I don't like that. Do we risk it? with the ooh yeah maybe not do we we why not <laughs> why not why not start with a duel and we'll throw hb who's brand new into his old bushy and we'll see what happens this is probably not a great idea um yeah hopefully we don't die i am a bomb i will explode in 10 seconds one zero have a nice day yes raven bun here we go we've got hb and let's hope for the best one skull difficulty solo duel in a polar biome and oh i totally forgot to get the bets going here yeah yeah brand new career tosco good to see you welcome well the bunny league well it's not suffer a pilot loss here win this duel and this is the very first fight of the career five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got yeah Keep your eye out for Battle Armor Demo Packs. Battle Armor can climb on mechs and use demo chargers to do straight structural damage. Oh my gosh. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. The problem with programming bomb timers in binary, so you finished last campaign? No. So Fridays, we've been kind of dabbling in Rogue Tech, and since Rogue Tech had a brand new uh, major update, we're just doing a new career on that. And then when we finish the BTA campaign, then we'll switch over to... A, the rogue tech career and be more consistent with it but at the moment it'll be like once a week until we can finish the bta but the bta one's rounding up pretty quickly yeah we're just trying to unlock the exclusive flash points yeah all right it looks like i'm hearing the warning i love that yeah let's do it command interface initiated so you're the rubbish my father's sending to train against just like the other serpents pitiful is he in a a raven there he is, bunnies. 
This might be a real easy job, but it's a job all the same. Knock him about a bit, and then finish things up. His dad will be happier than he'll be. All right, here we go. We got this guy. You're playing different campaigns. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So actually, tomorrow I'm going to be playing BTA on Saturday. So if you'd like to come on back, uh, this is one of those yeah. times where we are playing on. Oops, shut that down there. This is probably confusing Raven Bun, but we're not in a Raven yet. Okay, we're going to get a little bit high ground. We've got some visual recognition. He's in a flea. Hard to hit him. It's not a flea. Those things punch. Uh, it's a flea. <laughs> R5K, that doesn't sound good. R stand for rocket? No, but something hit me for 10, so that's probably an SRM, is my guess. I don't know. Let's smack out. We don't, we're gonna sprint, 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 get a better angle. And right now we've got, so this is hot load. This is surface to air, extended range. And we don't need it. We've got armor piercing, precision, probably precision. We just need to hit him and we'll take a shot at him. I'm not guaranteeing hitting with anything. There we go. Anything right now is going to be good. Imagine a dad paying somebody to slap you around with a 55 ton war machine. I mean, that's good dad if you ask me. All right, so he hit me for 25 plus 20. So 45 total. I mean, that thing punches pretty darn hard. Uh, to get in there, it's going to be a charge. Don't want to do it. So we'll keep the speed going and hope for the best on the shots. There we go. We got precision. We really just want to hit him. Anything better? Nope. Shot. And we whiff it. Awful hard to hit him. He's going to try and come around the backside. Maybe all the mech wants is a hug. Well, if he gets close enough, we will try to hug him. No pressure. All my carrots on the mission success. Oh my gosh. Well, we're, we're coming for it. Hopefully we'll, we'll get him one. Here we go. Got the line. He's wily as heck. We're going to shut those down and just send. There we go. Got a ping there. Beautiful. His tiny little flea arm's been smacked off. Oh, he had ER smalls. Yeah, now you need a mod that shoots carrot rockets. Heck yes. Well, if we do Inferno, they're kind of orange and kind of red. All right. This is going pretty well. He's actually running for his life now. That's what we like to see. We've got the shots. We're just going to walk it in. We don't have to sprint this. We'll let him hire himself out a little bit. Oh, that! <laughs> All right, so far so good. I hopefully we're teaching that guy a lesson. Very nice. Apparently he had inferno ammunition. That couldn't have felt good. His son's probably burning a little bit. There we go. We took thirty. So obviously the repairs are gonna take a little bit, but hopefully with the quick armor repair, it'll be a little less long. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give him a nice snap kick. Then we can drop out his evasion. It'll be fantastic. Oh, nope. Hard to hit still. And we're going point blank. Hopefully we'll tag him. Nope. We missed. That's okay. Nice tiring out plan. Heck yes. To be fair for its size, that fleet. Yeah, no, that thing is pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Let's see what he does. He can come around and that could be pretty disastrous. Coming around the backside. Oh yeah, that's see, that's nasty. I don't like that at all. All right, we're going to keep trying to kick him, but he's a bit of a dancer, this one. He didn't go very fast, though, so we do have a better chance of it. 60%. Watch the melee hit chance. Yeah. No, I, I see it. I see it. But still, I mean, why wouldn't I take the, the opportunity? I don't think he can do enough to just core out the back yet. Bringing the Raven Bun may have been overkill. Not that there's any such thing. Yeah, I mean, we just need to stay safe early on, yeah? He hasn't gone anywhere. It's 66%. Putting my weight into it. There we go. Now we connected with him. Fantastic. And then what's kind of a little bit of a follow-up and hopefully minimize our damage. Perfect. So now his son has been taught a lesson. Hopefully he's not dead. <laughs> he should get over his shock in a week or so. Did I say a week? Maybe never. He might be sore. Well, he's, he's very sore. Wow. There we go. Beautiful. Will the Bunny League win the duel? That is a yes. Congratulations to those who had the fate. It was not a sure bet. That was a one skull green, and it could have been very, very bad. So glad we survived it. Yep, melted him down, and pilot is paced. I bet I'm happy to lose. A hey, Oxford, yeah. We are. We try to hit him. We're not the best. We're just starting out right now. That was our very first engagement of the career. We didn't die 
I count that as a huge win. Okay, so what do we got here? Flea part, double heat sinks. I mean, the basic stuff, we actually don't need to get that right away. I'm kind of thinking this is going to sound... I kind of want the double heat sinks right now. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Okay, so we got some ammo. I mean, I'm going to keep everything right now just because... I mean, you never know what you're gonna you're gonna get right off the bit go. Yeah, this burger tastes very noble, very very noble. How long does a career playthrough last you? Uh, it depends. It depends. I mean, with Rogue Tech, probably pretty long, uh, just because progress isn't exactly as fast. But when you get on higher, it kind of snowballs a little bit. But one thing I'm really interested in that I've never really dabbled in are the super heavy contracts, and it will take a long time to get to that point. So I would imagine it'd be pretty long. BTA is is a little more paced, I would say. So probably maybe like 20 streams or something like that is my guess. Yeah, these are all DLC. It's mods on top of DLC as well. And you can kind of pick and choose. Rogue Tech has kind of the most flexibility of being able to choose different modules and add them and take them away. Yeah, uh, so we're five days for repairs. That's actually really, really nice. I dig that. So we're going to say yes. So that's actually I'm OK with that. And our current order is looking good. So definitely want to have HP back. Definitely want to have the Raven Bun back before we engage. Are there any other ones that we can kind of dabble in? We got 14 days until we've got 10 days until the training modules done. We'll go ahead and move on forward. Ah, Russell Hog already likes us. That's excellent. See, this is what we like to see because we are in a an FRR controlled system. So that means if we look at the store right now, now our reputation is a 15% price increase instead of 25%. That's going to be huge absolutely huge because before it seemed like a giant uphill that you just couldn't really get around so that's excellent we'll get hp back in one day and then we got a couple more days yeah three and we got a new flashpoint in sharp i don't know what's in sharp so let's hold here i do want to take a look at what's available because flashpoints can be huge boosts as well yeah so here's sharp ah test drive we know this one not quite ready for this yet but good that it's already appearing yeah all the flashpoint stories in rogue tech yeah there's so much shame we'll never see a battle tech too i know seriously their steam prices are steep oh are they really the factions so there's a ton of factions i mean like a lot the you've got the great houses you've got steiner draconis combine federated sons the capellans the marek you've got the free rasa hog republic where we are they're not a major a great house but they're definitely a, a power and you've got the periphery states you've got the pirates you've got the i think axamites is that right i don't know too much about the axamites you've got clans up north there's a ton there's a ton yeah i do actually have an xbox game pass oh i guess that's awesome well let's see let's take a look at the command center and see what's available to us we haven't made a lot of money but it's a good start battle polar biome i dig it uh we want to be fighting for the free rouse hog republic if at all possible we got blackouts these are probably too high but it's good to know what is out there so that we can work our way towards noon assistant target acquisition. So probably the easiest one or the most manageable will be this right here. It's the magnificent ice. I like the polar biome. That's fantastic. And we're going to be fighting against a planetary government. That's totally fine. So uh, four days. I think we're ready to go. We can do this right away, but we will stop in with the barracks to apply any points. Looks like HP can actually choose. I think the layout of all of the talents or quirks or perks are actually different so i kind of want to look at all of them uh just to familiarize myself because this will affect all of the pilots as well yeah so right now looking down the five tier five perks we've got for tactics tactician 15 percent max sight and sensor range plus one advanced sensors plus one initiative i always like master tack there's cautious remove one bar of stability damage when reserving plus one advanced sensors plus one initiative those two are the same really so you want to remove the stability uh or do you want to expand your sight yeah and then we've got juggernaut oh it's earlier that's cool braces after melee dfa so kind of that that melee build we've got hard case negative 15 percent stability damage taken plus 25 percent panic saves that's cool so you can kind of control whether your pilots are going to be able to like stick it out for longer before they eject and stuff uh we've got awareness evasive pips are immune to sensor lock i love that plus one initiative love that too or escapist plus two maximum evasive love that and less visible that's great and then we've got bandit i believe yeah bandit 25 percent increased critical hit chance 0.5 to clustering that's nice nice for lrm boats and things six percent called shot multiplier for focus fire and negative to recoil 
and then we kind of take a gander at the tier eights just so that you know you might want to tough something out to get some of the later stuff too yeah so if we go tactics up we've got sensor locks actually on eight very interesting removes two evasive charges if i recall on the ecm table it reduced the effectivity of ecm by like six i think something like that we've got field command as an action right two turns company unit gains two to your sensors check extra sensors and sight extra initiative oh for the whole company wow that's impressive wow actually that's that's really impressive i didn't realize that's for the whole company three turn cooldown two turn wow stacks two times so if you had two people with field command and you stack that <laughs> wow okay that is really strong holy crap wow that's kind of nuts and then for level eight guts so berserker there we go now we're talking for all melee attacks plus one accuracy plus 20 percent damage negative 10 percent charge self damage you want to go reach out very far negative 15 percent dfa self damage that's cool or coolant vent is on guts vent coolant gain 60 heat sink capacity and then you've got your cooldown and a recovering 10 per turn and then tier eight for piloting phantom gain plus two local ecm and negative 50 percent on visibility and sensor signature or mobility expert push your engine to the limit plus one hex move and avoid mines for a turn oh that's kind of cool i mean if you have a ppc you could probably clear it but that's super flexible and then we've finally got the gunnery ones warlord i'm used to this kind of being like tier five ish i think or maybe it wasn't i don't know plus accuracy plus clustering 10% to called shot multiplier controlled burst negative 10% heat generated minus one recoil minus 20% jam chance I'm thinking for HB I'm probably going to go down the tactics route and maybe go down the um the guts and tactics or actually maybe piloting and tactics but let's start with the let's start with the tactics because I feel like we're going to need it earlier on sooner rather than later so do we want to remove stability damage or do we want extra sight and sensor range I'm guessing I'm guessing the side and sensor range just so we can kind of engage from farther out yeah and there we go so now let's go over to the command center we'll get into a fight and then I'll catch up here we got magnificent ice one skull green right now probably should be a little bit balanced maybe we'll go 315 I know early on it would be really really nice if we can get that four because if we want a whole mech we're gonna need a good number of spots but we can always split it and we'll go 315 just so that we can get some of that money back and we'll be able to pull in a nice five right here we've got the raven bun the bun pop the bun kermisher and the bun standard and the bun wub wub oh wait a minute oh we can only bring four oh, okay well we're definitely gonna bring the bun wub wub instead we can bring our four we got hp and the raven bun uh we've got pilots 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 we got chappy we'll get chappy in we'll get Debts in who are pilots and we've got a kinto this is what again oh juggernaut for melee who's gonna melee i don't think anyone necessarily at the moment so let's get in a kinto at the moment and then we'll push on forward here we go one skull difficulty battle in a polar biome will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got let's go and catch up here yeah uh, if base battle tech is a burger, the DLCs are like fries and a Coke. And Rogue Tech is adding about 37 patties and 20 slices of cheese. Well, Homer Simpson would be very, very happy indeed, Still Shark. I actually have an Xbox Game Pass. I leave alert. Good to see new campaign. Hey, Tosco, thanks so much for swinging on by. I hope you have a great one, yeah? Really appreciate it. McWarrior 5 is also on Game Pass. That's excellent. Couldn't get into that, but same problem there. Many games I still need to finish. Still need to finish all the Yakuza, Dead Island 2, Steep, and... Oh, Steep. I've never heard of that one. Grim Dawn, I have, yeah? Only mech game I ever played was Gundam Capsule Fighter. Is that kind of like um, Puzzle Fighter? Do you know the one I'm talking about? It's like Street Fighter 2, and then you kind of do the, the gems coming down, and they form a big gem. I actually really like that game. They they made, did a really good job. Teams Rogue Tech and Battletech Advance have swapped levels. Swap levels? What do you mean? I wish... Oh, I see what you're talking about, like the 5 and the 8, yeah? I wish the abilities gave you a choice between active and passive. I always forget to use the actives. Yeah, me too. The nice thing is, though, then you can default to the passives if you know you forget. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Here we go. So we're getting on in. It's going to be our first full battle, one skull instead of half skull, of the career. Hopefully we shall survive. We've got them, bunnies, right out in the open. 
These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Grunting. Olivera out. Oh, man. Nice thing is, we're going to have the high ground is my hope. We're going to start with a manual deploy. We're going to start far away. Because if we can get the, the sensor or the sight advantage and engage them without being engaged in return, why, that'll be amazing. And I know we just got an extended 15% sensor range nice thing is though our bun pop actually has that new advanced zoom mark one so we'll also get plus one accuracy within 540 meters so hopefully that's going to help too so we can just kind of tiptoe over to the edge take a look at what's available to us and go from there so here we go we got enemy contact down way down below we got a hunter with lrm 20 that's serious and we got an ER medium laser on an MHI amphibious APC. That looks cool. I dig it. ER medium, huh? Really nice stuff. They got really nice stuff. I mean, anything right now is really nice. Moving in with the Raven Bun. Another recent mech game. Yeah, Armored Core. Yeah, no. Armored Core 6 is awesome. I, I dug that. I wasn't necessarily a, an Armored Core guy. But uh, Armored Core 6 was excellent. Raven bun yep. now with 200% more flavor. Results may vary. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you've just got to, you know, try and get the flavor out there no matter what it is that you encounter. Okay, so we are actually just barely taking a sneak peek at a slightly damaged Ready stinger. Order. Seems like they've got one energy hard point not available. So we're coming on down all the way down to one. Okay, so that amphibious APC with an ER medium laser is coming on in. Fog of War obscures it. You got the hunter coming in with LRM-20. He's revealed his position by firing, and he tags us right on the head. Okay. <laughs> First go, Chappie's in cover and has eight evasive pips and gets dinged to the dome. All right, in a spider. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a way to start. Well, let's go ahead and tiptoe it on up, get direct line on it, and try and hit that guy back. It's going to be really, really difficult. And to the hunter, they hate me. Yeah, well, you know, we, we'll... We sprinted as fast as we could. Sometimes things happen, right? Chappie, just, just stay alive. Looks like you're bleeding out. So I'm going to pull you away from the line, and then we'll keep you applying first aid. So just hang tight there. We'll deal with this. Uh, got our bun kermisher. We do have ER larges, which are excellent. Uh, I guess since we're in the bun kermisher, let's... Uh, we can't really engage from cover. So we kind of have to come on up to the edge here. We want probably at least six. So we've got six pips. They're shooting up. And we'll take a direct shot and try to hit that guy for you. But we whiff it. That's okay. That's just rude. Really? Now I'm self-basting. <laughs> so many games. Dragon Dogma 2. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't even know about that one. I bet Chappie's happy to know the spider has an ejection sheet. It does not in the tabletop. It does? Yeah. I thought the spider... I mean, I was under the impression it didn't have the ejection seat. Wow. Well, that's excellent. We've got a more advanced one. Just they said, hey, look, doesn't mean stick your head out. Well, you know, sometimes we're, you know, we're a little bit... We're curious. Let's put it that way. We're curious. There we go. We, we hit him back a little bit. I don't think we dinged him in the dome. Doesn't really have one. Okay, they're shooting at Deaths now, who's bravely standing out in the open. All right, there they go. So hopefully it's just those three. Looks like in the distance. No, it's not. Oh, they've got battle armor out there. Maybe we can kind of gank some of their weapons. That'll be excellent. Bun pop. If we hop, we can get six, but obviously it's going to affect our accuracy, but we're going to keep up as much of the evasion as possible. Hit the guy who can hit us. Snack a little bit. We got Dertz, who can definitely jump. We're coming on in. 24. We can always hop back up, too. Ooh, hello, Stinger. But we want to keep focusing fire. And we actually connect there. There we go. Beautiful. Chappie's going to apply first aid now that he's out of line of sight. Being brave and being stupid is a thin line sometimes. Yes, yes, very thin. I often walk it, and I don't know where the, <laughs> where the threshold is. Yeah? Raven bun at four. Sprint at six. Obviously, I mean, we're just basically moving as much as we can. All right, we're connecting with this guy. I want to say semi-consistently, this is a huge win for us. Hitting battle armor at this point in Rogue Tech is going to be rough. Yep, 
I'm hoping we just kind of deal with all these guys and then when the battle armor meanders out into the open we'll all jump back up here and then just take pot shots for a month until finally it succumbs to attrition <laughs> that's my hope all right let's get that back on up he'll get seven and then we'll clear that stability damage so no shots on this one give him a little rest stinger's backing on up has no chance of engaging i love it when the enemy has no chances and we'll come it around on five and we'll take the shot and the ppc connects this is amazing chappy still has he'll keep applying that first aid just keep holding the bleeding chappy hold the bleeding if anything it teaches us to take machine guns and flamers etc my spider's pulses might help it's true they would that's why we need you when they get on out here right we got the bun pop still maintaining that solid five evasion i like our positioning because even if we're not good it doesn't matter we just keep raining until they're done Deaths. actually let's go down to one i feel my spider sense is tingling oh that's that's probably his head <laughs> that is probably chappy's head unfortunately oh boy we're fine head wound apply neck tourniquet to stop bleeding oh i saw the green did anyone see that or was i just dreaming i think i was dreaming all right so we got our three in the raven bun let's just walk it so we have a better chance and who are we shooting at here we've got he's a little soft there there's the hunter at 16. i mean we got to just keep focusing that guy he's the one that's able to really effectively engage us well more effectively engage us all right we're coming down seven evasion seven evasion for Dertz and go oof that's the neuro helmet malfunctioning oh man all the tingling yeah sometimes sometimes you you get a dud of a neuro helmet all right first aid again there isn't anyone close enough to engage yet let him just tiptoe towards us this is kind of how battles are in the beginning <laughs> we're, we're i dance around a little bit scared of engaging anybody and then when they get close enough i might kick them that that's basically the plan right just keep shooting until you hit and then maybe maybe we'll kick them <laughs> it's the bunny way bun pop all right we're we're gonna walk it there we go and shot there we go we tinged him a little bit a little bit how we're doing on that side there this is excellent that we actually have lrms though because if we didn't oh my god we'd basically just be charging as fast as we can i actually kind of feel like they're actually scoring more hits so maybe we should push all right we'll use our skirmisher is there a kicking mod that kicks them all the way to narnia like sends them flying three planets away well maybe not the pushback and distance like you're talking about but there is definitely uh i mean if you hit someone you can definitely hit someone hard enough that the computer has to think for like five years and then all of a sudden it calculates that you dealt enough damage to destroy the planet there is that but that that comes for free like you don't even have to <laughs> All right, Raven Bun unfortunately cannot get down there without going the long way. So we're going to suit up and shot. There it is. All right, beautiful. And splash one for the Raven Bun. Fantastic. It's going to help us a lot. That was their indirect fire support, their LRM-20 wielding machine. They still have the ability to engage us, but it's going to be a lot harder for them to actually land anything now. That is a huge, huge turning point for this battle we got the bun pop now we can actually just kind of tip ourselves over get the shots and be a little more a little more confident we're not all gonna die horrible horrible deaths kamehameha hadouken that's right hey chronic good to see you welcome hard part of kicking someone in arnia is getting them to land inside the wardrobe that's right i mean the hard part is out here in the inner sphere is just getting a wardrobe right i mean that's always a difficulty round nine target destroyed one that's great that's right this is the bunny way early on and and if you're bleeding then you just kind of hold it while the bunnies take care of the rest all right bring this on it's riveting riveting really shot very nice to hit chances that's beautiful because he did not move and neither did we 
I'm guessing it has something streak based. It was a boop. It looked blue. Makes me think large laser, but didn't really do too much. Shot. There it is. All right, splash two. We've got one stinger and one battle armor on the field. The battle armor is so far away. All right, Chappie. Keep up protecting your head. Yes, a most riveting, ribbiting battle because they feel real froggy. That's right. Well, we are coming on in. Give him a nice kick. 48%, unfortunately, but it's it's what we got. We'll tune that down and go. Hopefully, we'll connect with this little tiny guy. And we do. Beautiful. All right. And guns, guns, guns. Hit him, hit him low, hit him low. All right. We open up the back there. Beautiful. He has a single ER medium. He's pulling it around. Shot to the butt on the bun Kermisher. But this is dead. That's what we're talking about here. He's not about to be. Oh, how close is that? I should probably know. Oh, he, he's pretty far. Okay. <laughs> he's pretty, pretty far. All right. Get the line. Nope. We'll hang tight right here. And shot out. Okay, I'm on it. There it is. And the legs are gone on the stinger. Beautiful. All that's left is that inner sphere standard. Now we can breathe a little more easily. Let's go in and get some evasion. Break line of sight. Take a breather. Chappie, keep holding your head there. And we're going to reserve down to one. And do we have the ability? Yep, we can jump down, I think. Can we? Uh, not quite down, but we can jump a little, a little bit. <laughs> Chilling in the trees. That's right. We're going we're gonna to have to wait for him to come out of the trees. At least I want to. HB. Offensive push. That lowers our accuracy. We can switch over to extended range. And we'll just take shots. Hit him anywhere. Doesn't matter. Hopefully they're going to want to join us. Oh, we got the bun pump. We're coming on forward. And send it. 1.5. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken that shot. <laughs> We're just wasting ammunition at that point. Dead. It's we can just get a little bit higher. There we go. ERs. And with it. Optimistic. Very much so. And that's kind of the Bunny League way. We are optimistic about quite a lot of things. Sometimes it works. Some Most of the time it doesn't. They're, they're cruising at high speeds for battle armor. HP is ready. And shot. Don't even move. Don't even move. Bun pomp. Yep, that's not good. <laughs> We're slowly hopping on down. Don't need ammo to kick. Well, I don't want to get close enough for them to quote unquote kick because that could be uh, not so great. All right, dead. It's... Oh, oh, there we go. Shot. I wonder if you can ever intimidate them. I might start moving Chappy down, actually, because he does have pulses and he is really fast. So let's see. Chappy can go way wide and then he'll take a break to kind of put first aid on and then he can go wide and then take a break. You know what I mean? I think that's going to be the plan. They definitely can't get to us from there. So let's move. Yeah, Death does have pulses. That's correct. All right. Actually, tag him one. Heck yes. All right, Raven. Go. We dinged him a little bit. Got the Akinto. Shot. Those are all single digit, by the way. All right, there we go. Are they coming out of the trees? Oh, excellent. We've drawn them out of the trees, bunnies. All right, Death. Speed, speed, speed. There we go. Shot. All right. It's happening. Okay, Chappie, take your breather. You have two activations before you bleed out. Maybe maybe we'll let Dets take care of this one. Get on up. Yeah, let's not do that. HB. Uh, we'll just... Mm, yeah, sure. We'll go standard, actually. Very nice. There we go. We drop one out of four. The early game struggles real with these kind of hit chances. Yeah, it's it's... It's pretty rough because it's kind of one of those. It's like a catch 22. You really don't want to get close to him at all. Like at all, at all, because you're probably done. But 
hitting them at all is also well it's not good <laughs> and they're like a tiny flea Roger that. And, and much smaller than an actual one all right shot Confirmed. with it that didn't hit. fortunately death yeah. actually has jump jets so he's relatively safe ish there is that and if we can get deaths on the opposite side that would actually mean that they're gonna have to turn their butt to hp and hp is good at one thing and one thing only it's basically shooting people in the butt it's like watching a game of darts where nobody hits the board yo no that, that's absolutely right most of the time i find that whenever the bunnies are playing a game of darts we just get so frustrated that we just destroy the board or eat it so that's generally why we don't play darts but it shows in situations like these because well we don't hit anything you know what i mean all right here we go and set i love the fact we have precision ammo that's helping a great deal to be even more of a nuisance they also bring mines that's true they did they did i mean they just didn't count on deaths being so wily you know what i mean it he's a difficult one to pin down you really can't he, he's kind of one of those people where you kind of think, oh, I think I might change debts once I get to know him. And debts is like, I mean, good luck. <laughs> good luck. You can't pin this bunny down, right? Right? Ramen flavored darts. Yes, move me at melee range when I hit him with my fist. You know, we may want to punch battle armor, but I'm not willing to take on the repair cost or the funeral cost at this point because I really don't have much funds. So that's the only reason why I'm not doing it akin to. But yeah, I understand. 100% understand. Uh, HB. Yep. yep. Just just keep it up. There we go. All right. We're down to one. <laughs> Jeez. Hold. Let me add up. Right. We're we're all rearing to go, but we gotta we gotta be cautious about this one because Bunny Man's money's on the line here. I can't afford to lose you, and I only mean that in a very literal sense. I mean it's both for care of our well-being and uh, our financial well-being, right? And we're only using the energy because we don't want to spend on missiles. Yep. Body bags are really expensive, especially the decent quality ones. I mean, I definitely toss you into a, you know, a plastic grocery bag, but you know, then I'd have to get multiple trips to the store, maybe put on a mustache for every bunny pilot. We're all going to line up and pretend to be different. Oh, there we go. A milk run, just as we expected. Good work. Oh, didn't I tell you about this mission like two years ago? All right, great. Total win, total win. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? That is a no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. That having been said, one of our bunnies almost bled out. I'm glad Chappie's okay because we really need bunnies right now. <laughs> we can't afford anything. Hasn't stopped us before. That's right, Chronic. High five. Yeah, true. That's why we recycle burger anybody well not just yet not yet i'm sure it'll happen at some point look at that we came out in the positive that's always great it's going to bring it on over the beautiful frr lady loves us we're going to move on forward here we go everyone's okay except for chappy but that's a fact all right so we've got our hunter that's great we've got the amphibious apc with a single medium we've got part of an inner sphere machine gun guy er medium excellent armor excellent lrm 20 x actually everything's excellent right now Ooh, plus gunnery Ooh, sensor improved wow that's excellent everything's excellent let's get the gunnery system and we will also get the sensors is there anything else that we want more lrm 20 is very nice er mediums very nice as well i mean we could definitely improve the other spooter well let's get the yeah there we go three two and one all right so hunter part inner sphere standard part the amphibious apc part we've gone two of a stinger that's excellent that's half of one we got two er medium lasers amazing the lrm 20 we have armor i know this seems weird but i i might i might hold on to that <laughs> we've got cores i don't want to get rid of anything yet oh my god we got seven improved small jump jets wow this is excellent wow what a payout for a first fight that's incredible my god it's like we're invincible famous last words can't kill the chappy i'm invincible that's right Oh man, that would suck if you cleared the mission, but the reward doesn't even cover half of your damage. Yep, definitely had that happen. 
quite a lot, actually. Yeah, that fire control system is excellent. Night vision is going to be huge. You're going to see that beautiful green tint. It's excellent, yeah? Incredible. We got standard parts. That's right. That's right. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you've had a primitive start and you want to override all that primitive stuff or if you already have standard stuff because at some point you're going to find something that you want to use and you're going to wish that you had a something, right? <laughs> that you had something. So we're going to say no on this one because we're going over to the mech bay and we're going to make a little bit of a swamp. That's right. You bring luck. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Let's go ahead and start it with the Raven Bun. So we've got those 15 LRMs. We've got the AC-5. The precision ammunition was huge, just allowing us to connect more reliably, especially when I'm really, really bad at shooting anything. So let's see. Fire control system plus gunnery. Excellent. Definitely going to want to bring these big guns to bear. That's awesome. Uh, sensors improved. That's going to give us more information. We already have a 15% boost to our sensor range and sight range. It's going to give us another 5% on top of that for, I don't know if it's additive, but let's say 20-ish percent and plus two to our sensor detection as well. That's going to be cool. Just get a little more information. We've got an ER large. If we get our armor back let's go ahead and start with that we'll go at 110 130 130 here we're perfectly fine i think if i bump it up one yep so this is exactly where we want to be three days to do that that's not bad at all our core is fine our jump jets we don't have any everything else is looking great i mean how heavy is this lrm fives i think are very very tonnage efficient this is going to be six tons across the launcher for 15 and this is 10 so yes, very efficient indeed. I don't think we'll change anything else. If anything, if we wanted more stuff on it, we can swap out the ER large for like the ER medium, but this is good so far, yeah? Right. Just love how every single part you get early game feels like a win. Oh yes, absolutely. Every single thing that you get, it's awesome. Now, Death's Bun Kermisher was a real champ. This thing is nuts for the early game. I can't believe it. So let's go in and get this up here. One thing I do want to check out is the heat difference. So we're looking at our heat efficiency right now. The Delta is plus 24 if we alpha, and that's not super great. Now, if we had improved jump jets, how? what's the difference there? Because we actually got a full stack of them, right? So this generates four jump heat, and this is three jump heat. And this is half a ton and this is 0.75 tons so is it possible to take the er largest and kind of downsize them a little bit like would that even be worth it i'm curious what that will look like like if we've got enough er mediums where we could do something like this and get on the er mediums and make them even more jumpy you know what i'm saying yeah you never alpha with a phoenix that's true that's true but i mean maybe we would if we can get close enough yeah drop one ER large. Well, let's just see what this even looks like. I don't even know if this is going to be possible, right? So this is going to allow us to equip all seven of them. So that's already a boon. So right now our jumping distance is eight. That's pretty decent. Heat efficiency is negative 18, 28 from the jump. So that's something to note. If we max out the armor, we actually have enough space. And on top of that, we also garnered additional double heat sinks out there. So that's kind of cool because we can actually try and manage the delta right so negative 24 now we're sitting at we're neutral right so negative 30 but a 28 jumping heat so that's fantastic so if we wanted to boost this up we can probably reduce that make it run a little bit hotter maybe even pull off one of the like 0.75 free that up and then we'll be able to get our er large back that's always a possibility why is the right rear armor zero is it right rear this one here i i think it was only because i didn't actually repair the armor yet or max it the cold biome does help a lot so we might be able to get an er large back on i mean obviously if we did this pulled the pulse down which i probably won't do because we really really want pulses right now especially when we kind of are bad at, at shooting things now our delta's at negative six right do we have ams no <laughs> no not not quite yet we're not at that point yet the ER larges were super helpful, but I think I, I kind of like this right now. It's going to take 21 days, though. That's kind of rough. So maybe we'll just keep this in mind for now. If I were to do a full reset, so this is something we could do, but that 21 days is kind of rough. If we just brought the armor up, 
how much is that going to take? So this is the kind of stuff that we <laughs> actually have to balance early on, yeah? Uh, right now, two days here. I mean, we could pull the medium pulses down, which is nice to have, just so we can get some tonnage back. And then we'll get more armor. That's looking a little nicer, yeah? Maybe for medium pulse. When we have it, that'll be cool. That'll run a lot like the TR2 Wraith that we had. Three ER medium, one ER large. Or rather medium pulse than an ER. Keep the pulses. Well, let's do a set here. We'll pull it down to ER medium. And now what do we got? 1.703. We actually got more armor here. And we can actually get another double heat sink on there. And now we're sitting at negative three negative three but obviously 18 jumping heat right that's not too bad and then if we wanted to we can actually lower the back a little bit and get another double heat sink on there that's a little more reasonable i think yeah there we go so double bam and now we're at negative nine that seems reasonable i like it yeah, drop one ER. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Bunny, for the help. And it's 13 days instead of 21. That's looking great. That's perfect. Then we got our bun pop. I'm not too sure if we're going to do much here. I mean, we could always take the ER, the PPC, and transfer it into an ER large. That's always something we can do. Um, if we max out the armor right now, it's okay-ish. I might do that, actually. And we can get a little more armor there. Uh, LRM 20 versus an LRM 10. LRM 10 is at 5, so it's exactly half. I guess it makes sense, yeah? We could turn it into a just an LRM boat, too. That's also a possibility, yeah? I trust HB on the config on my cast. Uh, my, my <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's bring this down, because I would like to get more frontally facing armor if possible. So if we just bring this all the way up, we can actually drop the left arm, too, if need be. Just curious how much over we are. Heat sink. What's our delta right now? So eight. It's at eight. We don't have any double heat sink kits or anything to switch that around. Our fire control systems are they are what they are. The jumping distance is at uh, five. That's actually that's kind of nice. I, I don't know if I necessarily change too much. So let's just bring the legs down to a hundred, and we'll drop this arm a little more than the other side because it's kind of like a one-sided beast yeah i'll bring it to 65 and maybe we can I, I hate doing this part of it but we'll kind of lopsided <laughs> i really want to protect the ammo so i don't know if i'm willing to drop it much farther a hundred's enough just like for an ac 20 or something i guess we'll go 95 we're getting there. It's 0 0.063. Down, down, down. There we go. 145 in the front. Sure. Nine days. Oof. Asymmetrical armor. OCD trigger. Right? Right? I feel you on that one. I am I am not invulnerable to that situation. Let's be real. Uh double medium pulse, so obviously very heavy. As far as the jumping goes, though, eight hexes is excellent, but I feel like we can probably take some off just to get a little bit more protection for the pilot because poor guy got dinged in the dome and that took him completely out of the fight. It'll be nice to have some level of resilience. 25, 25, 25 all around. And we'll just, I guess, bring that up to 20 and then work the middle. There we go. There it is. Two days. Great. Oh boy. And then last but not least, we got the bun standard. I don't think we went in with this one. We got a single ER medium. How's our heat efficiency? Negative 12 for a 24 jump. If we pull this down to engine core, I'm just not gonna mess with this one. Don't mess with it right now. All right, let's do it. So currently in the task queue, we have nine days, 13 days. We're gonna pull the 13 all the way to the bottom so that we can actually have a, a full lance here. We're gonna pull the mortar all the way to the bottom because that thing is not critical. And then we've got four days on the training module. Okay, so the Raven's back online. Training module is done. So it's going to start to tick for us. We've got 1.9. So I think it's okay to start another project. And we actually want to get more tech points so that we're waiting less time. This is going to be an upkeep of 3339 for one. 
and we're gonna end up heap a 4241 for one so we're gonna do that first one for refit harness there we go okay little by little we're climbing on out of it and we can also apply some points while we're waiting so gunnery jam chance based to hit and we've got resolve generation and fail effect resistance and we've got resolve cost for the push we're gonna go with gunnery here for a kinto got amul got crossbow deaths i mean i love i love deaths's speed and agility so we're gonna work that piloting hb and mac all right perfect let's push on forward we want to at least get the bun wub wub back that's gonna tick us over the finance report minor infraction akinto starts toward you mac is slacking off again we're supposed to share garbage detail but share you want me to share bunny man this guy's the reason we're on cleanup duty in the first place reprimand mac for slacking order akinto to knock it off address both of their shortcomings I, oh boy <laughs> oh but it stinks let's oh man well both shortcomings now mac is rebellious and akinto's honest okay cool <laughs> Sorry, I'll knock it up. No, you're fine. You're fine. Sometimes we all get involved in it. Yeah, I understand. Finance reports gone go on the tick. It's going to be another almost 300,000. But fortunately, we were actually able to garner that much in one of our missions. So that's not too bad. There we go. So Chappie's out, but we have most of our mechs back. Let's go over to the barracks. We'll see what we've got. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll go over to the command center here. But yeah, poor mech. Poor mech are excellent so now we've got an assassination for the frr we've got a defend base i might do defend base because we don't have to move around too much they'll come to us and we can actually probably get some good stuff so vulgar music i love the assassination though that's really really tempting maybe we'll start with this one and then if we can get our stuff back online in time we've got 24 days then we'll also get into the defend base. Might be able to handle two. We're going maximum salvage on this. You never know what you're going to get. And we don't have our skirmisher, unfortunately, but we got our bun standard. So we're, let's go in and pull. Four chappies out. We'll get Amul in. We'll get Antonides in. They're going to be dashing across the field here. Oh, actually, we can crossbow in the juggernaut. I don't think he's going to be mailing anybody, though. All right, here we go one half skull green assassination in the tundra will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got let's go and catch up here yeah what can i say you rebellious rebellious man yeah gentlemen i understand entirely we'll change your work detail you'll be required to remove the carbon scoring from the argo's main boosters you have three days oh <laughs> that's that seems like quite a job oxford i don't know i don't know if even i could do that reasonably i like it let's go <laughs> If anything, it'll teach a lesson about impossibility and never giving up, right? Right? I hope. Or it'll just make some bunny quit. <laughs> they won't want to be around anymore because it's just not fair. When I'm not in battle, I make a mess at home. Well, you know, that's kind of... That's kind of the mark of a great bunny pilot. If they leave a mess all over the place at home, that means they're going to make a mess all over the battlefield. With the enemy, of course. None of the tactics and the skills and execution. What does FRR stand for? The Free Russell Hog Republic. So it's one of the factions out there. One of the larger ones, but not one of the, the great ones, per se. Um, yes, the FRR. So it also dictates or designates that we're starting kind of middle north in the inner sphere if you kind of picture a general circle or pie chart and you go straight to the 12 o'clock it kind of in the general vicinity yeah in that case i would be an excellent pilot high five for guess we're talking about all right let's get on in it's going to be an assassination mission five pick 23 maximum salvage and it's a half skull green bunnies this is the region we've asked to patrol as part of the net our employers need us to keep an eye out for the propaganda agent as this is one possible escape route she might take. If she's in this region, we need to find her and take her out. And then we can evac. Oh, man. All right. So nighttime. Guess what? One of the bunnies has night vision. This is one of the cool things about being able to manually deploy. Obviously, we get as close as we can. Cuts down the time a lot, but it might put us in a, maybe a, a rather scary place but if we start here i think that should be enough so let's go do it make that legendary 
<laughs> looks around the room. All right, how we're we doing? Supporting enemy forces and the target. Supporting enemy forces in front of us. The target in front of us. Excellent. I might swing around and try and flank the supporting forces instead. All right, there we go. We've got some contact. Spider and a locust. Locust moving to scout. Reserve down to one. Spooter most likely inbound. There we go. Got the spooter in. We're going to go in and start with our bun wub wub. <laughs> Get a little bit of a peek. So there we go. So we can see the two. Hold. And we got Antonides in our standard. So he's a little bit faster going wide right here. We have sight on an inner sphere battle armor. We'll let that guy stay over there and engage right in front of us. Obviously, we've got the propagandist yep. right behind. We're going to move with the bun pop and we're going to break left. Keep a little more distance. And then we'll have our night vision. We'll tuck up to run screen and we can see the target is a locust. Okay, so excellent, excellent. Five pick 23. We might get the entire loot table, so we'll try to be gentle, but no guarantees. Is friendly fire a thing in this game? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, well, there we go. Apparently, spiders are death trap here. <laughs> God, I just popped that right off. That came from a spider? Oh my God. So they've got a PPC. I did not expect that from a spider. Wow, he only has one energy hard point and that one hit on our eight, eight evasion. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That really hit. Yes, it did. That popped that right off. Well, all right, that's that's unfortunate. Well, the nice thing is uh, we can definitely shoot back at that guy. We're not going to use surface to air and we're going to use standard. We've got armor piercing, but I don't know if that's necessary for a spider. So we're going to go with precision instead and shot. Take that nerd. There we go. Oh boy, they've got one dangerous spider. Yeah, they did. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and relocate and we're going to pull back. We're going to get as much speed as humanly possible. Five is not that much compared to the eight. So we're just going to, we can't really waypoint it, but I will tuck here where we can break line of sight and we'll just take a bit of a breather. That kind of took our breath away. It was almost like Kelly McGillis just came out of nowhere and said, hi, this is me if I were a PPC. <laughs> and let's go in and send the two. All right, we didn't, didn't quite ping him, but that's okay. So my career and no, nope, Antonides, you're fine. We're saving you. How I don't miss your RNG. The Spooter's armor looks sketchy in the first place. Yep. All right. We're gonna keep a little bit of distance. They're very fast moving. 20, five in the distance. All right, closest one, I guess. Wub, 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 wub. All right, what do we got? Oh boy. Is that all coming from the battle armor? Oh, no, that's not. The battle armor is over here. That was coming from like this general vicinity. Holy crap. Wow. So they've got, were those PPCs? That looked a lot like PPCs. Like light, light PPCs or something. That's a lot for this early, yeah? If they're full. All right, that spooter's pulling away. His butt is to us, but he's going so fast. So definitely want to deal with a locust. Oh, hello. I don't know if that was a pulse, but it sure kind of sounded like one to me. So if we don't move at all, we got the highest chance of connecting. It's point, it's 2.2. So let's just walk a little bit. 23. If we sprint. 820. Instead of 2.2, it's like nil. But hey, I will get as much evasion as possible. There's the 20. Uh, we're going to shut off the LRMs and just send the singleton and we whiff it. But we're burning trees. That's excellent. That's a lot for this early. Could be the tagline of Rogue Tech at a proper retail box. Oh, that's not bad. I dig it. Hey, we've got night vision, which is awesome. We already have a huge advantage over the other bunnies. I mean, over the enemy. <laughs> I know, I know. It's unfair. All right, here we go. We got it. 5.415. Ooh, that's the spooter with the PPC. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we're going to go. Ooh, that's. Yeah, but we're close. I'd rather hit this guy. So standard. What about extended range? Ah, even better. Love it. Let's do it. Highest chance to connect. 
soften up the back there there we go got a little bit of a, a breach there we're actually going to reserve down a one and they did not have any thinking or hesitation so we're probably safe to move in with our boy Antonides and Amul so let's cross it over and we want to chase down that locust so that we aren't isolated all right actually ping a little bit there beautiful it's like sending six shots instead of just the two and cross on in ping out I'll take it I'll take it if we can get close kind of get him in a nice little triangle triangulate around him get a little bit of a surround and a nice snap kick to the leg and stop him from moving then all those lasers are going to be ultra effective it's going to be awesome uh we've got ooh two inner sphere standard we got a gray death heavy so I'm guessing what shot at us earlier was battle armor but it's a heavy gray death battle armor suit or something oh my god wow that's that's kind of terrifying so probably battle armor support ppc is my guess let's go in and converge on this target right here but obviously that spider we don't want him to get away he is still turned to his back so we'll go in and send it while closing on the locust excellent so now vengeance has been wrought for the horrible horrible insult that had been done to antonides our honor has been wiped clean yeah gray death bad armor yeah that's this thing the more shots the more hit chance it's true it's true it's volume through accuracy of fire that's kind of the name of the game early on yeah and then we've got our bun pop all of a sudden the locust decided i don't want to be a part of this and we said you don't really have a choice <laughs> you don't have much of a choice at all right i'm here antonides we're actually in a position where we can uh, it's not a very good chance to hit him 19 percent but then again I'd rather get the uh, the speed, especially for poor Antonides. So we're gonna walk it back, get some distance, and take the shot. That's all right. At least we're getting more distance from that Grey Death Heavy unit. Looks like the Locust is actually trying to run to his allies. Kind of smart. Seven evasion in cover. Wub wub wub. Right to the butt. We'll take it. We got that breach. They're beautiful. And who's on 20? So there's that great death heavy moving on in from the top. Still no idea. It looks like they shot a lot of their munitions. Now they've got three energy hard points left. I'm assuming we're about to see some scorching tiny little balls of energy coming at us if we keep pushing. So we're just going to go in and walk it lazily from behind. There we go. We're going to switch over to standard and we're going to drop our LRMs. Just send the two and hope we can connect. We don't, but we're lighting a fire under his ass. So, <laughs> excuse me. We're lighting a fire under him so that he can hopefully be encouraged to get away from the bunnies. Yeah, you'll kick him. Oh, hang tight. If we are close enough. All right, here we go. Amiel's ready. Oh. Let's see if we can't kick him. There it is. Go in for the kick. 42. Here comes Amiel. I'd rather you work it that's all right that's all right at least we're trying and come in with a wub 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 that's really good excellent Anna Kinto. a little close for everything except for this that's okay you said it right the first time well we're hoping to take this guy down the gd i don't know if that stands for gray death or what yeah Bun standard, can we kick him too? All right, everyone's going in for the kick. Antonides ready to get revenge. He says, you know what? There's only two scooters here. And we whiff it. That's all right, medium lasers. I don't think we've got the angle where we can potentially hit our bunny allies. And he finishes the job and wipes out his leg. And no longer is it agile in any sense of the word. Heck yes. Hey, Arknock, high five. Good to see you, man. Joining us right now, we're currently trying to survive the beginning of Rogue Tech in our free Russell Hog Republic start. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Friday, yeah? TGIF, I say. All right, backing on up. That's the propaganda agent. A little bit of medium coming on in. Now it's time to start moving again. We we kind of took a quick breather so that we could beat on his on their friend. And now we've got to get moving again. So let's get the speed on up. We don't want to get a nasty crossfire with accidental shots on our allies. So we're going to try and... Uh, can we do it? Can we do it? We can. Gonna try and just pop that a little bit. We might have gone in the crossfire there, but we didn't. So, took a little bit of a risk. 
All right, HB. Give him the step. Snap kick. There it is. Beautiful. He's open in the middle. Come on. Oh, he's got clan lasers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, be gentle. Oh, that's not gentle at all. Lethal damage. Okay, well, there we go. That guy's done. We took out two clan ER smalls. That's, that hurts a little bit. All right, let's break left. Get some distance. Hold. Got Amiel. We're going to do the same thing. Yeah, I know. Clan stuff already is crazy. Well, free Russell Hog Republic. We are in the right place for it. Oh, yep. I was just saying we're about to see some of those energy balls coming our way. And uh, the balls came to smack us in the butt a little bit. But, you know, we survived. We're going to come right back. Propaganda agent isn't going anywhere. We haven't hit him yet. So they're not going to run for it. We want to pull them in a little bit closer. They're smartly utilizing their allies as cover. Well, arm this up get the shot hopefully start to work that gd heavy there we go a little bit better there so it's not going to take as long we'll get into some cover here and i guess just Ooh, there's another locust that i wasn't aware of okay good to know well let's start engaging there oh no that's the propaganda agent wait what <laughs> So, Locust. Okay, Propaganda Agent, two battle armor. So, that's correct. That's correct. I misunderstood what I was looking at. Five, we're going wide. We're going to go in and get a big concave going. Two Wub Wubs going together. And then we're going to have this be the pin on the rotation. But we definitely, definitely want to probably take turns getting smacked by jamming right now. So, let's get some speed and pull back on the other side of the crest propaganda agent pulling away that's not good and very very accurate still we'll get amul we're getting just past the road keeping sight on the target and we're very very quickly outstripping their reinforcements speed stay together hold got a kin too and shot two percent i know <laughs> we can't let him forget that we're here although maybe i can save on the other rims though gosh they have almost they had 200 armor that's quite a lot no wonder they're called heavies all right speed 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 got it no shooting five point nine and it's on the gray death heavy huh extended range is no better so we'll just do our best to hit with anything i saw one ping there we'll take it so we've got quite a lot of ground to cover but our spooters are really really fast so reserve down to one let's get lead the way with amul they can't outrun them then they'll be able to just kind of smack the assassination target we might just smack them and leave we do have five pick 23 though so it'll be nice to get more battle armor stuff but not necessary if it means taking unnecessary damage right we're just gonna hold here who's gonna replant all those trees well it's their planet <laughs> i mean i guess whoever hired them oh my god 870 out of 920 it's not too much to repair but I just don't like it. We're moving. Sometimes a good burning helps them regrow stronger. That's true. That's actually very, very true. Yeah, I agree. I guess we'll work them down a little bit. If we can drop off some of those BA support PPCs, that'll be fantastic. And good to see you guys again. The propaganda agent not keeping up with their evasion pips at all. So a little bit surprising and also not. Almost like they're kind of prepping do i go left do i go right do i go left hold all right amul is gonna close that gap actually in range to shoot takes a spray no connect that's okay by the way gray haven't seen gray beard in a good while did someone meet him at some point have we i have not i have not here we go i put up a pic of the gd heavy from the battle tech Rita. oh thank you thank you so much five that's why in Battletech, sometimes weapons of mass destruction are used to give a city a good burning. Oh, God. Uh, All right, bun pop. 
yeah, we're keeping a healthy distance. We're just going to move a little bit. Four. I mean, I guess we'll take the large. Game still being updated. Uh, we, oh, for Battletech, yeah? I totally forgot to get the Discord up. Okay, GD heavy. Ooh, they are consistent. Oh, that's cool. Wow, it's a very dynamic pose. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. There we go, there we go. Oh, we actually moved closer. That's excellent. We might be able to sweep them with a Locust. So reserve down. We got Amul. Amul's able to get in, potentially kick. If we can connect, that'll help us a great deal. Come on, Amul. And whiffs it. That's okay. It's 29%. No, they're used on a city just because people sometimes like to watch the world burn. And also, it's a really nice bonfire for cooking s'mores. I don't know if I've ever had Battletech s'mores before, but I, I don't know if I necessarily want some. You know how they've got, they've got those cafes? It's like Star Trek cafe, and then they've got Star Trek themed sort of drinks. Can you imagine? <laughs> I know there's like also PPC alcoholic beverages and stuff. Like that would be horrible if they had the, the s'more and you're like, what's in this? Uh, don't ask. <laughs> just don't ask. All right, here we go. 9.6. It's looking a lot better, but we are a lot closer. Inner Sphere, Locust, 11. Let's go for this guy. We'll actually shoot at him. With it. And then we've got HP, who has that night vision. We're trying not to sprint too much so that we can get most of the shots on target. I don't want to hit the bunnies by accidentally shooting with them in the crossfire. All right. B A S R M for O S. O S. I wonder what that is. I know B A. O S S R M. Like Omni? No. I don't know. I wouldn't mind going to one if I can get an Irby on the rocks. That would be 30 tons worth of drink, yeah? One shot. Thank you so much, Vergent. Oh, okay. I don't like the I don't like the guns. This locust is more deadly than I would like. All right, Raven Bun. We're actually going to close the gap. Confirmed. Now we'll take that shot. Do we want to hot load it? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. We're just going to drop that. Send two. Actually connecting there. Beautiful. Burning industrial areas in Battletech is considered a war crime, you know. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are considered war crimes that we just sort of, you know, partake in just because it's, it's the right thing to do sometimes. All right, speed for Antonides. Coming around. And then we're going to get in with a Wub Wub. No love on that and has a much better chance of actually connecting. This is the akin to with the PPCs. Mind you, our bunnies currently have like two gunnery and stuff like that. So this is actually pretty good. I'm very impressed. You're even able to hit battle armor and all. That's excellent. And Amiel. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the Wub Wub straight to the butt and shot. We hit with one of the six. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh boy. The fact she's trying to get out though is kind of scary. We got to end that. Some call it a war crime. Others call it Tuesday. Oh, well, what about Friday? I mean, we're all about it. So where's this zone? Of course, it's actually... It might actually be in a direction that is... Oh, wow, that is a... That's the zone? Oh, my God. Well, speed bunnies. We kind of have to run the gauntlet here. Reserve. If we want to talk about war crimes, I think right Zeon is still doing good when it comes to mecha... Zeon. Eight. Chase him with a wub wub. Oh, my God. Shot. Point nine. Dude, when they book it, they book it. We got to get in front of her. Or do a charge or something. Akinto. Charge 12. Nope. Let's not do that. We can hop, though. Confirm. Keep the angle. I guess just clear the stability damage. Antonides. Solid green. 12. I guess it's just 10.9. Shot. Oof. Xeon, a.k.a. Space Nazis from Gundam OG. Oh, my God. It's only a war crime if there are witnesses alive to report. Hey, Lev, good to see you. Welcome. 
we're currently doing our best to stop this propagandist from running and boy do they run very very quickly yeah i might actually engage hot load three percent oh that's not worth it not for three percent all right we'll just take the shot oof so this is a new start so i dined with the old one what do you mean left what do you mean oh i see what you're talking about for rogue tech yeah this is a new start but oh not good antonides antonides we've got full breach full breach okay we gotta we gotta break off we gotta break off with antonides all right hp on the move oh, we can oh that's the target god she's so fast <laughs> i thought we'd be able to keep up i was wrong all right amiel how's the speed wub wub at extreme distance i don't think so that's not gonna happen getting into the fire wow she's fast she's so fast 0.9 <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna be able to stop her something tells me she's gone in two turns at most we got to break off with antonides though speed five gosh we got to give him the butt too let's there's no sprinting here give him the butt my Hetzer and I shuffled off this mortal new rogue tech. That's true. If we had the Hetzer, we'd still have a chance. We do have a chance just to connect with this because they are farther away now. We're not doing hot load. Extended range, 13% versus... It's still, it's still 13, so no need. All right, bunnies, cross your fingers. There is a breach on the backside. We've got a low percentage chance to connect with the propaganda agent in three, two, and one. All weapons fire. Oh, okay. It's, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We just got to keep trying. Oh my God, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Okay, I think the Raven's the only one that can kind of potentially slow it down enough while Amiel keeps the chase. And then, of course, we're getting jammed by the battle armor. Oh, gosh. I wish we could have someone deal with the battle armor, like smack them one and, and still be okay. Oh, my God, they ran. I don't even see them on sensors anymore. Amiel does have jump jets, but that really sucks. Wow. Okay, we're going to break the other direction. We need a really hard turn. That's not that's not worth risking it. All right, we're getting some distance here. A shot. That's Antonides. I think the next phase they're gone. So Amiel can jump out of this. We don't even see them. <laughs> We don't even see them anymore. Holy crap. That is not an easy mission. I thought we were fast enough, but I was sorely wrong. All right, bring around at least. 16. Yeah, if we could see them, then at least we had a chance. But if we don't even see the target, well, that's that's a problem. Oh, boy. These are regular mines. Well, let's break back. We'd have to hot load if we want to get the shot. We'll try and hope for it. Is that worth it? <sighs> try it. Oh, boy. Did we just destroy our launchers? We might have. No minimum range, but can misfire damaging the launcher. It might just be damage. I don't know if that was like they're gone, gone. Hang tight. And this is half skull green. <laughs> this is half skull green. She might be gone now on this turn. Oh, it didn't end yet. Did not end yet. All right, Amiel, can you even pick up a shred? No enemy contact. Jeez, that's full speed. Antonides. We honestly have to go the opposite to keep the right side to the enemy because that's where you actually have an arm. I know HB does have the night vision, so, but. And we can't really jump, so we'll just kind of come on back. 
and we're going to turn off hot load for one thing and we are out of precision ammunition so we actually have to send it with the armor piercing but if we do connect i pray for them just like that there we go we actually destroyed about armor pbc two of them actually that's excellent but a little bit late for that coming around i blame it on the low starting skills yeah no worries no worries we will fail we will fail and that's okay that is okay hunting a possibly xl engine locust at night yeah i don't know about this we just gotta survive that's what all right amiel we're relying on you do your best man i don't expect miracles don't see anything it'd be funny if she like somehow fell but i didn't actually hear anything like that all right we got to keep the right side to the battle armor a little risky just to do this to get a chance to hit him point nine i think a rogue tech has the darkest dungeon <laughs> yeah all right go 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 and inner sphere standard gray death that's one percent Akinto. we're trying to move to a position where we can potentially help amiel if amiel picks things up in time but which is why we're trying to jump keep our facing towards him definitely not going to get hit by the propagandist agent to the butt the raven's going to take most of those hits and i don't know if they're triggering their own minds i don't think they are do you still get salvage uh if it's a good faith effort we might get a no pick if that makes sense can we see him at all here comes amiel if we don't pick up enemy contact here that's surprising it's so odd that they haven't ended the mission yet i'm a little that's a little sus to me we're getting more distance with antonides so even harder to hit if the narrator from darkest dungeon was doing turn by turn oh yeah <laughs> it definitely would yep. took the wrong route i sure hope so that would kind of be cool Ooh, they've got the green interesting we can get a solid green there but we have to walk through the fire i guess we have less weaponry so maybe that's okay 0.9 probably through all the smoke is my guess maybe they broke the mac or standing there wow really why would they do here we're gonna we're gonna sprint on through hang tight shot to the raven Ugh. that ecm yeah no he is so good he's so good i wish he could narrate my life all right amiel you ready where is this target what she's in the denial zone how is she not escaping does she have any evasion i don't think i'm not gonna question it i've never seen that before so does that mean is it broken i mean if it's maybe that's how it's supposed to be right right needs a pickup i mean we can pick him up with our lasers right <laughs> all right yay i like i like things that work in our favor i'm gonna take it i'm not complaining all right everyone out do not engage the battle armor at all we're booking it to the target and antonides just go somewhere safe please if she doesn't want to go we're not going to force her to go we're not those types of people 0.9 hold i, I don't want to scare him maybe she thinks she's safe we just want to let him to be okay right she might think she's safe yeah maybe maybe yeah. she thinks she's safe uh yeah i don't see him anymore maybe they're gone what happened needs to wait a turn before being extracted i mean they're not even there anymore what happened oh there they what is going on <laughs> what is going on i'm so confused just role play that the radio of the locust malfunctioned yep. yes no i agree it probably malfunctioned horribly i would say it's probably the worst thing that could have happened in this situation right 
Oh, oh, I see a little green. Here we go. 0.9. Well, that's... Well, we'll take it. Yeah, nope. <laughs> She's a huge fan of the Clash. That's true. She is propagandist. Yes, Mo. Gummy boot. They became a deniable asset. Oh, no. <laughs> so maybe we didn't lose? Well, we haven't lost yet. I, they can run around in their own minefield all day for all I care. Oh, Locust, Locust just went in this direction. She's yeah. afraid. Okay, bunnies. No shooting. Uh, We're going stealth mode. I don't know what that means, but the bunnies are going to go stealth yeah, mode. Amiel, you ready? Just keep an eye on her. You don't have to engage. There we go. There she is. We found her. Yeah, all right, bun pomp. Move. Full speed. Understood. Stealth mode. No shooting. She just got burn noticed. Oh, that feel that must feel so bad. Right. Running through the tree somehow broke all her cameras, and now we can't see to make the extraction. It's fine, right? Yes, that's right. We probably do want someone. Oh, did she get in the denial zone? Oh, she's trying. Well, I respect the attempt. Marbo sneak mode and get. <laughs> Hold. Trigger discipline, bunnies. Trigger discipline. Let's be real. I never had any, but hang tight. Antonides, run for the hills. Run for the target. All right, Amuel, get in the zone too. That's right. Get in the zone. And guns. There it is. Amuel's making a move and denying the zone. That's right. On oh, the battle armor's too, too lazy, honestly, to even catch up with the bunnies. That's right. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's engaging and she might get lucky. She's a pretty powerful beast. Hopefully she's got cool tech. We do have five pick 23. This all of a sudden got so much better. I love it. See, this is rogue tech bunnies. You ready? Here we go. Now we'll start taking some shots. There we go. In your friendliest alpha strike, tell her you are here to extract her. <laughs> all right. This is where I wish I could do a shift move come out and then stay in the denial zone but i think amuel can actually try and kick out the leg it's a kind of a rough percentage 35 percent but at this point if we can just land a yeah and he whiffs it that's okay but we've got the wub wub and there's a breach in the back that's all right that's all right just keep the pressure keep the pressure we're no longer being stealthy by the way if you're wondering Come on, Antonides. Stick together, stick together. There we go. A little bit higher, but we've got a cross crossfire, which I don't like. So we're coming on down. I don't know if I'm going to take this shot. Yeah, I'm not going to take that shot with Amiel standing on the other side. Gray death. Locust. Oh, she ran. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I'm so afraid that all of a sudden she's like, all right, now I'll leave and you can watch me leave. And I'm just like, oh, God. holy crap. All right, wub wub, stay in the zone, stay in the zone. Guns. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb, but it's so good. All right, we're, this is fine. Hang tight. Well, I guess we can get a little bit of high ground so that we at least have kind of a chance to hit her. 0.9%. Eventually. Because I think if we're standing in the zone, then I think they can't extract even if they want to. So we just need to walk. Or actually, no, we need to sprint. She's just too fast. I don't want to shoot over Amiel's shoulder, though. So we'll take an obstructed shot. No, we won't even shoot it. But we'll just hang tight. There she goes. Oh, she didn't move much at all. So this is probably our best chance right here. Let's walk it. We're not going to sprint. Point nine. Point nine. <laughs> She's just playing with us now. This is why I love mines. Yeah, we, we're not so advanced just yet. All right, sprint. Hang tight. Amuel. All right, walk it in, Amuel. Walk it in. Oh, he has some really high percentage shots here walking right up to the butt sticking the muzzle directly into the back yay we scratched her one 
we're just like here we go are you ready <laughs> it's like 0.9 is a guarantee is it it sure feels that way all right we're we're one day one day we'll hit our target i'm sure it'll be okay oh we you see that we nicked the armor a little there there's no 100 percent guarantee in this you always have a tiny chance well most of us have two gunnery that's true that's true oh and she ran away nope this is fine this is okay are you sure the bunnies weren't trained by stormtroopers well you know most of us weren't even trained by stormtroopers that's the problem at least if we were trained by stormtroopers we might have a gunnery three or something is my guess all right amiel go chase them down there she is i'm not even sure they were trained you would still miss they were only trained in how to spend money that's true i mean but it's more like a lead by example sort of training you know what i mean pretty sure most of the mech warriors can't even read well you know reading's not really necessary once you you know have daca i had to bribe the doc on my physical to pass my <laughs> all right we're we're trying we're trying it's easy the pointy end goes in the other guy well we thought that putting the pointy end in the butt would do something but apparently it didn't eight eight that's five we're just gonna walk just walk that's perfectly fine eight whoa, 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 whoa. oh oh i saw orange i saw orange oh my gosh what doctor there's a doctor now <laughs> Oh, that was better than 0.9. We had a 1.5% chance that time. Pictograms is reading. Also, crayons are great. They are. They are. They're excellent. Love the Crayola. We're a little close for this ER large stuff, but it's better than 0.9%. We hit it that time. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Walking in. If we were to charge, what's that going to look like? 16 percent yeah that, that's not that's not worth it all right here we go oh my god oh we hit him after round 30 <laughs> oh my god we're in round 30. the doctor doesn't do anything on the argo pilots are either fine or blood spatters all right take that i think we're getting better <laughs> It's so bad. Antonides, just just hide. Point your butt at the target. There we go. I don't want you dying here. All right, Wub Wub. Can you kick him? Yes, we can. 19%? Sure. We'll take it. Come on. Come on, Amiel. Roll the dice. Eventually, you'll be right one time in the day. That's fine. 20% miss. That's okay. 8% chance to hit with a Wub Wub. That's okay. Just keep trying. We're, we have unlimited energy. Well... We might fall asleep at this rate, but you know what I'm saying. All right, bun, pop. This gets made into a movie. The Battle of the Darkest Forest. It's definitely one of the darkest times in the Bunny League history at this point. <laughs> See, the importance of night vision, bunnies. The importance of night vision. Now, Antonides has a 30% chance. That's just excellent. Let's go in and kick with Antonides. And he whiffs it. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay. It's a locust. Have you tried a can of raid? Well, and he hits. Oh, my God. What a beast. All right. Come on. Come on. Here we go. 10%. Oh! Target eliminated. We can clean up any remaining hostiles or head for the evac zone. Well, we're definitely heading for the evac zone. We're out of here. I think we can't even do enough damage to actually destroy all their parts. So that's excellent. Let's go. Where's the eve? Oh my God. <sighs> all right. This is fine. We're, we're, we'll move together. Good right. job. Oh, Challenge please. to a boxing match. Like fighting a... What is that? A Tyrannosaurus? Oh, a goose? Is that a goose left? <laughs> well, we will... Uh, we'll see you on round 60, Samir. Thanks, Samir. Samir, can you just like divert? Isn't that something that you're you're capable of doing? I, 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 <laughs> Samir, I mean, you could land there, then we'll wave at you and then start. Even if you fly at the slowest pace possible, you'll probably get here in, I don't know, at most two rounds, right? 
Isn't that a thing? Technology. I don't know. Seems like it's a little lazy to me. I... <laughs> it's a tiny... Oh, it's cute. I couldn't tell. It was so tiny. I'm heading for a nap. I'll watch the... Okay, Emil. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest and I'll catch you on the next one. Man. Bun, bun, wub, wub. Here we go. Speed, speed, speed. I give, I guess if anything, I, I wish I could like grab their stuff and then aim it at the enemy, at least for now. Hold. Raven bun bun on the approach. Hey, Faye, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you so much for the resub for nine months, man. Hopefully you're doing well. And we've got a uh, Kinto. I mean, a yeah, at this point, we're going to turn off the LRM so we don't waste any more, but 0.9 something. It's a chance. It's a chance. If there are fire control systems, though, for sure, we want to pick it up. Or if we can actually find her locust, maybe we can take it and utilize it because it's probably better than what we got. Oh, we actually hit them this time. Oh, that's excellent. With a 1.9% chance to hit. Oh, that is amazing. All right. Speed, Amiel. Speed. Coming at two angles. We're splitting them. And we're just going to maintain the position. ER large. 0.9. That's fine. So what start is this? I'd imagine the update list was quite a read. Uh, this is the Free Rosselhog Republic start. So we are currently in the northern tip of the inner sphere. Yeah. There's got to be some nice... Yeah, no, no kidding. I mean, for her to do what she did, I mean, she's obviously a better pilot, but still. All pilots out for 20 days, trigger finger crack. That's right, Deja Who. Love your name. Coming through. There we go. There we go. And try it. Connected with something. Good to go. Point nine. All right, move, move, move. Speed. Hold. Antonides. We need to keep a wide berth right. from the battle armor support PPCs. Then we got Amiel. And push. We do have an opening, so it's still kind of risky. The fact we don't even have the sensor information to see him is kind of scary. Right. Yeah, maybe we should not push this. The only one who should push it is Raven. The Raven bun is the only one with night vision right now. Yep. Suck up. And shot. I like how we can shoot surface to air munitions at this guy. Oh no. Oh no. I got home from working way too late on a Friday. I volunteer. Oh. <laughs> All right, Rhubarb. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And shot. Oh, we got one. Wow, we finally got one. My God. Let me get you on the list, man. Thank you so much. And actually, with our spiders, I think we're just going to get them out of dodge. This is a little bit much. And Antonides, we just got to keep them safe. Thanks so much for the volunteer, yeah? Hope you get full parts. I mean, they're in pieces right now, so so I'm not too sure. We'll take the shot. Okay, I'm on it. Not even moving, hoping to connect. I always ask to get on the list like three streams from... Oh, <laughs> well, you're right on the beginning. You did a great job, man. Standing by. All right, we're, we're just... We're moving, we're moving. Just providing some additional sight at this point. I'm here. And keeping our vision up. Hold. Keep a wide berth. Shot. Firing. We're three streams from the oh. end of this. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Very possible. I mean, things can go quite poorly very quickly. I think we've definitely seen that before. All right, coming back. And hope for the best. Oh, we hit one. So his PPC is gone. I think they have no more. No more ranged weaponry on the... GD heavy. Hold. That's huge. 
and the bun pump send it i feel bad for him i mean they are quite impressive maybe we'll come around are we in range for wub wub we might be we are from the rear okay that's kind of cool we're on round 39 yeah i don't know if they're gone gone i did hot load it and it says they can get damaged i don't know if that means like gone gone or if it means oh oh my gosh <laughs> or if it actually means just damaged and then you gotta repair him yeah the one guy in battle armor no weapons left he still challenges you to a duel oh i believe it that guy is tough as nails all right coming around from the rear in the gear amiel there it is all right we took one. Oh my god. round 39 and the killing blow on the gdh that's what we're talking about oh my god and shot okay so we're we're definitely gonna negative damage we need battle armor of our own that's probably gonna be safer than our light mechs at this point we're coming back i've actually never seen the bunny league eat fluff early in the run has it happened yep definitely has definitely has it's not often because I guess we kind of get lucky, but but yeah, it definitely happens. Oh, we're about to run out of AC5, but pretty good chance to connect. Oh, still didn't still whiffed it though. So it's all up to our ER large lasers and our wub wubs. So Amiel's gonna just come it around. Actually, do they have any weaponry? I don't even know. So speed. Uh, that's a little too close for comfort. So we're gonna come on out and then we'll come back in at a different angle. Uh, we got Antonite, so just keep moving. Is it the battle armor guy that wouldn't die from the last version? Round two. Oh, gosh, that guy. That guy's something else, let me tell you. Oh, all right. We scratched him a little bit. That's why I like to see. All right. It's our right side that's got the breach, though, so we got to be careful. Probably want to start climbing so we don't have a malice to hit. There we go. And we're moving. We can probably give the left just like this. Give the left shot. Amul's our only hope right now. And bun standard will go super wide. Hold. What weapons does the battle armor have? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, honestly. I'm too old to play rogue tech myself. I have not that much life left to spend 50 rounds. <laughs> it might go to 60. You never know. I mean, we could extract. We absolutely could extract. But at this point, I, I really want to kill him. You know what I mean? I got Amiel. Gosh, no shots without being too close. So let's hold. HB is going to climb. Shot. 30%. That's what we're talking about. We're starting to shoot surface to air munitions. Get on in. There it is. All right. Cool. There it is. There it is. They had a mind dispenser, apparently. We saw them use it, obviously. Hold. Looks like they've got, I don't know, SMGs or, or something. Battle armor machine gun, maybe. Hold. Amiel. And speed. Shot. There it is. Battle armor machine gun. That's what one of them had, yeah? Akinto. Shot. HB with the night vision. Finally at the same height or above. Sign me up. Hey, Jeff. Finally good to see you. Welcome. That's a little too close. We'll just take the shot from here. Thank you, Jeff. Finally.
Got you on the list, man. What do you need? Hang tight. Oh, there we go. Panic level critical. I don't even know if that necessarily matters because they can't really punch out, you know? Down to one. I guess just LRMs. The longer the mission, the longer before someone asks, when is the next run? <laughs> you can throw me on the pilot list. Okay, gotcha, Kung Fu. This is why... I focus on accuracy as much as I can. Standing by. Standing. And shot. Affirm. All right, we got, they've got one and a half units left. <laughs> and hold. Oh no, that's not good. One jump jet. So obviously this is going to cost some to repair for sure. Confirm. 11. All right, there we go. Sign up for a pilot. Okay. Thank you so much. Stay wide. Amul. Uh, oh. <laughs> Slowly. One day, one day. There we go. Got some green full value shot. He's got like a sliver. There it is. Okay, there's <laughs> one structure, one structure in the last suit. Antoninis hold. Amul. Come on, come on. Maybe get in, get the height advantage here. 27% and shot. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right. High five. <laughs> Round 46. Bunnies, the area has been cleared. Dars, give me the green light to land immediately, but you gotta give me a second because I'm still over at the Circle K. I kind of got there last month. All right, bunnies, we got a win. We kind of squeezed out a win somehow. I don't know how. Uh, will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? Uh, no. <laughs> Almost. Yay, GG. We need a street sweeper. One day a hit will come. Tin the end, i whiff and run and the... Oh, that's pretty good. You know, the big thing is we stuck it out. That's all I got. We stuck it out. So let's go ahead and flip it on over. Hope for the best. 72,000. That's probably not enough for repairs. Um, let's see. So Antonides is out for 27 days. Amiel's still okay despite the breach. So what do we got? We have five pick twin. Oh, nope. Nope. So we're going to lose four reputation. They're going to give us... E Ooh, they're going to give us eight clan ER smalls. They're going to take one part of the Locust Gray Death, and they're going to take one Gray Death Heavy Standard. But that's eight Clan ER Smalls they're going to stick in there. I I guess? Sure. Wait, is this Inner Sphere Standard called Fasho? Like Fasho? Accept it. They'll add to the loot table. Well, we've got... This Locust PB, the Pirate's Bane. There's the Spider. There's all these ER Smalls right here. We can get MASC. We probably want to disassemble these because I don't... Actually, can we get a full one? Oh, we can get a full one. Wow. I doubt we can get both, right? So let's disassemble the Spider. Here we go. Oh my god, a snub nose Ferrofibrous PPC Capacitor? Holy crap. Well, uh, gyros. Oh my god. Wow. Weighs plus 50% of standard gyros weight of engine. That's cool. Can we get sensors, cockpit, spider part, fire control system, standard, ferrofibrous? I almost, I hope I get that. That's really cool. Okay, three, 
two, one. That's not bad. I know that really kind of blue, but that's not bad. Wow, that's pretty good. I mean, for a beginning fight, that's not a bad. For an assassination, that's not a bad payout at all. I will definitely take that. Wow. I, I was going to say that was a little bit rough, but that's not bad. <laughs> PB is a good locust. Is that the one that hit us early on and blew off Antonides' like, left side there? That thing hit us. Time to pimp your locust. That's half the salvage you contracted for. I don't know. Well, the thing is, is that in, in Rogue Tech, it does take additional slots. So we're talking about like it took 13 slots to get the whole pirate Spain, if that makes sense. That's why getting a lot of slots is, is pretty excellent. Yeah. The pirate's Bane is a light mech hunter killer built to keep the periphery pirates at bay. Keep moving and their teeth will be held at bay. 20 days for repair. So now everyone gets small ER clan lasers. That's the hope. Yeah, good. Now that the training mission's over, the real challenge can begin. Well, let's go ahead and flip it on over and survey the damage. What do we got going on here? Yeah. So over in the storage, we've got that inner sphere standard. We got a stinger part, a spooter part. I think I'm going to clear this so that we don't have to maintain the upkeep. The hunter's kind of nice. The flea is probably going to sell for a little more 12. Stinger, inner sphere. Okay, we'll hold on that. We've got 1.5 million. I don't think we're going to be able to get into another one. It's going to be a lot of repairs. Those lasers will put teeth in the pirate bane. That's true. That's true. Looks like we actually broke them wow yeah so hot load not worth it that that sucks i'm gonna come back to that one not gonna deal with that right now but we do have ferro fibers so that's a thing bun pump can probably actually handle that so if we get ferro fibers here that's gonna help us out a lot we can actually get armor on this thing and put other things so that's kind of nice yeah hot load is almost a yeah yeah it was a chance to hit our target, which we finally did, but oof. We do have more jump jets, which is awesome. So that's an easy replacement. And then, of course, if we get out that armor, we're looking at what right now? So currently we have medium pulse lasers. We only have the two hard points. We've got the singleton. We could at least get on the... Um, I don't know the icons too well here. I'm assuming... Oh, they are contained under energy. So this will deal 20 for 8 heat. And this is 30 for 12 heat, but 2 tons. But obviously, they've got the pulse. So they actually can be more likely to hit. So that's really nice right now to have. But that's also very nice to have too, especially for a really fast mover. Yeah? Desperation move. It works out sometimes. Same with the PPCs running. Oh, with the field inhibitor. The biscuits there, the dice favors you. It did not favor us that time. Although I will say that instead of medium lasers, it might be kind of nice to, to get those in here. Yeah. If we max this out and we go one and two, it's going to get us some more back. Obviously, the range is not great. 360. Oh, it's the same range as the medium laser. Oh, that's that's great. Holy crap. Wow. Well, that's great. Eight is small, it's friggin' wreck. Yeah, they do. Jeez, Louise. I know this is silly, so I'm, I'm not necessarily going to do it, but I'm just curious. 0. 0.004. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's pretty good. We strip it, put it back. Let's go in and reset first. Yeah. Clanny, our smalls are evil little beasts. Wow. That's. That's amazing. That is the same exact range as what we had. It hits a little bit less punchy, but it's half the weight. That's incredible. Okay, so I guess jump jets would be nice. We can have four here if we had them. So we could also do the improved jump jets, which are 0.75 each. How much will this cost to do, though? We pull this off, yeah? Maybe that was intentional to give you some good starting salvage. You have the slots. It gives every mech short range punch. No kidding. No kidding at all. If we were to replace this, obviously it's going to be heavier. But how much jump do we have off a of seven? Oh, OCD. <laughs> Movement. It's uh, eight hexes of jump. Pull that down and we're sitting at six hexes of jump. 15 days. 
I mean, if we pull this off entirely and keep this Spooter as a, a ground full speed type of machine and we stack up the armor as much as it'll go, we can actually max out the armor. That's kind of cool. What else is available to us? We've got a compact gyro. I mean, this, that's 17 days. MASC. <laughs> that, maybe we're going a little far for a spider, but yeah, armor armor is pretty big. We do have a half ton remaining, which is kind of nice. In theory, we could keep the medium laser on there. This is nine heat. Oh, this is even eight heat. It's even more efficient. We could do Pharaoh, but I would imagine we get more of a benefit if we put it on another mech. Let's, I'm just kind of sussing out where we put our only Pharaoh Fibrous, you know what I mean? So this is 20 tons on the Pirate Spain. What did this have? A, it has Guardian ECM. I can already tell you that's awesome. It had an XL engine, it no longer does. It had a what core? 190. We actually have something comparable at 175. It's not the same at all. Yeah, not much gain. You have another energy point on the spider. That's true. We only have, we've got three energy points here. ER medium laser bright bloom falls off. Weapon heat damage and stability falls off to 50% of starting value at longer range. Extended range lasers have the increased range. So 640 meter range. That's crazy. So if you do, you can still tag them out there. So this has end of steel. That's awesome. Uh, it's short on a an external heat sink because we moved over to 175, but we actually have more heat sinks. So that's cool. So the movement's a little less, but this moves really, really fast at 13 hexes on the sprint. That's excellent. Obviously, we can, um, if we pull this off, we no longer have the XL. So that's, that's rough. We no longer have the double heat sink kit, so we can't really use these actually now that I think about it. So we might just go with how much is this? Five days. I mean, that's not too bad. If we max that out and go singletons, because we don't have the double heat sink kit. So that, that's a, a big problem there. And we go three, that takes us to where we need to be. Currently we're at negative 28. We can definitely handle 24 heat of output from the ER smalls if we just want to chase people with DACA and some lasers, yeah. Um, but obviously we're, and then I think if we did Pharaoh, we might be able to bring that close, 0.965. God, that's not much that you gain. You gain like half a ton, yeah. PB has a Dreadnought Gyro. Oh my God, it does. Holy God. We need a double heat sink kit. That one was using is obliterated. Drop the machine gun. Absolutely drop the machine gun. Thank you. So now we're at 0.535. We can actually pull this off and now we're even. That's cool. That is really cool. Wow. This is a beast of a mech for us right now. So our damage output is going to be 60. We've got, I guess we'll bring that down, bring this up. We really need to protect the torso. There we go. Great. That's not bad. 25 on the arms too. That's great. Yeah. PBs are evil. A lot of room for this to get better, but it's starting from a nice place, even with all the damage it took. Yeah. 13 days, 89,000. That's not bad. Make sure your pilot has disgraced. Why disgraced? What does that do? Okay. So for the Raven bun, I guess we can look at this now. We don't have some of the fancy... Oh, no, we still have the Ferro Fibrous. We can definitely add that on. We can update this, rip off the LRM-5s. We definitely don't need this much ammunition anymore. However, in theory, we could utilize our LRM-20, but it's like twice as heavy, I think, right? How much is that? 3.279. Do you... How's our heat efficiency? Negative 11. If we pull off the plus one here, negative five. And honestly, with the AC5, this was 13 shots. We did need both of them. I'm trying to think. We've got our fire control system improved. I don't know if the... So we've got the AC5. We don't have any... No, we do have an energy hard point. ER large, that's what it was here. This is the one that kept firing when everything failed. What else do we have? I mean, we really don't have much of anything else. If anything, how many slots? Two? We could snub it and get closer. Pull this off. Hey there, Osmondi. It's good to see you. Yeah? 
Local ECM buff. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We only have the one hard point here, though. Yeah. AC versus PPC. This is pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy, and the, the LRMs are nice. Although, I have to say that I don't hit very often with the LRMs. So, if we did toss this on there and go PPC, I don't think this will fit. Because this is three slots. Yeah, this is three slots. We could take a look at the gyro. This is compact. And then that'll get us three slots. And then we could stick on the PPC like that. Then we'll have space. Then we've got 4-2. And at LRM 20, we actually can stick in our double bin. Oh, we don't actually... I thought I bought the double bin. I Oh, I guess I didn't. My bad. I don't know if we need that much ammunition, but it's a thing. If we wanted it, we can just go two like so, yeah. And then at least, at least, how much is this? Wow, see, that actually gives us a lot more with the ferro fibers. That's pretty cool. I mean, we could get like machine guns or something on there if we had any support, anything. We could get that on there too. I mean, we could stick the machine gun on just to have something. We definitely don't need the ferro fibers though. And we can just get the uh, the ammo there, 0.187, and and start from there. I mean, it's not a great place to be, but it's not the worst either. So there we go. 21 days. That's a while. <laughs> it's a while, yeah. Couldn't put missiles in the torsos. What missiles do you have? We've got LRM extended range. We've got standard LRM times two. And then we've got the surface to air ones as well. Put the LRM five on again. Oh, the, the Zeus. Like, get it on the torso there, 1.83. Like, if we take this off here. And we're at 0.313. Oh, hey, serve. Good to see you. Welcome. Happy Friday. We're starting a FRR start, yeah? Meant the launcher. Now it is a griffin. It does feel a bit like that. You are correct, yeah. Hmm. We'd have to pull off more. I don't, I don't think that's needed right now. If anything, how's our heat efficiency again? It's negative 14. We could... If we did ER large, then we've got 3.6. But we have nothing else to fill that in. So I, I honestly think, like, we should probably griffin it. Do we have enough to make a knockdown mech? We don't have a lot of anything at the moment. So <laughs> we're just kind of working with what we got, right? Nothing wrong with baked potatoes. At this point... We'll take anything at this at the moment. We'll just get ourselves the machine gun. And I think we'll go like this for now. 21 days. It changed drastically. Bun pop. We need the armor. Um, buff up. Bring that down to 60. And then we'll get this back. I mean, we really didn't shoot this that much. Advanced zoom. This one could probably use the ferro fibers, though. Yeah, that's going to help a little bit. There we go. And now we'll bring this back down to 75. We'll bring this down to 60. And then we should have enough to kind of top out. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. 60, 75. We'll leave that be. 95. Bring it down to 70. There we go. It's the rogue tech. That's correct. That's correct. We started again, yeah? Six days. A little bit better. And then we've got our Wub Wub right here, who's just been absolutely invaluable. Just sprinting up a storm. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that repaired. We've got a backup junk jet here. And we will buff up. I think the arms were sitting at 25. We'll leave that be. We got 20, 20. We'll go up to 25 on the legs. And... 55. I don't look good at all. Jam. Add jam. Hey, HB. Add me to the list. Jam me into some battle armor. Well, I won't be able to promise that I'll put you in anywhere specific, but I will definitely add you to the list. Thank you so much. I rediscovered the joy of fried potato wedges in a big cast iron pan. I waste so much of my life making fancy sides. Well, you know, that sounds delicious. Delicious. I'm almost thinking with our jump jets right now, we're hopping, what, six, right? Yeah, six. Uh, that's really, really handy to have to get out of the minefield, but I'd like to change that at some point for the medium pulses. That's super helpful. It, it, was, it was so helpful to have. So let's just 
keep it down. I think it was sitting somewhere at like 35 or something ridiculous like that. Yeah. 65, 40. That's so scary. <laughs> it's so scary. Bump, little bumps there. There we go. Okay. Hey there, Hayes. Good to see you. Welcome. All right. We're going in like this and this can chill for now. Poor bun standard. Yeah. How are we doing on the list right here? 21 bring that down definitely want the inner sphere standard at the bottom for the mortars that's going to be our last priority got the bun kermisher i definitely want to get that back in the pirate spain to bring that online i mean it's going to take a while so i think we can go back to the engineering bay maybe get a little more tech points fortunately we have a little bit of money to wait a little bit longer so hopefully this is going to boost us along a little bit faster yeah uh why a long time i've seen you at but didn't he send you a what's up? But why long time? I'm sorry, what? Have I missed something? Are you talking about the tater potatoes? <laughs> I missed something, I think. I'm sorry. Could do you mind explaining it? Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Nine days and currently we're sitting at. Yeah, no, we're we're making progress. We're making progress. This one's going to take a little bit to recover from. We kind of got torn to pieces there. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. You said at to me, so I thought you were talking to me. My apologies. 840. Oh, boy. We do have parts that we can sell as well, but we really don't get very much when we do it. Barracks workout. After hearing that Chappie was involved in an accident, you stop by Medbay to visit the Mech Warrior as she recovers. Uh, they want to do some workout. Let it slide. Develop an exercise regimen. Chappie's now injured. <laughs> I thought Chappie was injured. Well, you just got injured. Well, it's okay. At least it was working out, right? Hold. Bun wub wub. Definitely want that back. All right. Hang tight. So where are we at now? Oh, we have four of them. I mean, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. At least we've got the bun Kermisher back. We've got a Kinto. Fantastic. Definitely want to get ourselves all leveled out there. Yeah. Uh, we got Amul. His piloting, he saved the day, really saved the day. So that was fantastic. We got Antonides, definitely want to keep the speed up. That is proving to be absolutely essential. We got Deaths, get that gunnery up there. We need to hit anything at all. We got HB, we've got Mac. Gotta love the passive training going on with the training pods. And we've got to get into a fight. Let's stop by the store though, just in case there's something, because we did go over on the tick, yeah? No PT, more muffins and ramen. Yes, that's right. More muffins, please. So AC2 battle armor. Ooh, the one shot. Okay, interesting. We actually have something there. Medium medium pulse. That's huge. Wing mounted tag. Heat sink. We've got the appointment. Battle armor ammo. I... That's... I want that. That's really good. And while I'd like to get it on immediately, we kind of have a bit of a queue. So we want to make sure that we're okay recovery capture base uh we want to take frr missions battle in the tundra for one skull blackout i don't like that this early so these are both tundra this is going to be against the local government on behalf of the frr sierra elephant local band of brigands okay last mech and v this one's encouraging consciousness against the planetary government Lance of local government military units engaged in maneuvers. That sounds a little bit better. Let's go in and do this one. One skull again. That 419. I'm actually going to go 315. Oh, that's tough. The 19 might be what it takes to get a light mech, but I'm honestly, we kind of need cash, like actual cash. So we're going to go in 315 here, yeah? Uh, we... God, having the... Having the Raven Bun would be excellent, but we need money quickly. So let's pull this back. We have the Locust Bane. We'll get depths into the Bun Kermisher. For the Bun Pomp, we've got a Kinto. Crossbow? We really need to get Crossbow in there. Who can actually kick someone? I mean, it's going to be Crossbow. So let's get him in the, the Locust Bane. I doubt we're going to be kicking anyone, but he needs experience, period. So that'll work. For Gunnery, anyone have four? Just HBS4. Since we have an ER large, we've got the bun pump. Let's actually, this is a medium. Let's get this 
him here because he does have higher gunnery and let's do it here we go one skull difficulty battle in the tundra will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got you can see that we're getting very very close to actually getting those pilot losses our pilots are currently out for like 20 days 27 days right after an initial engagement we're trying to eventually get to the point where we can reliably engage from far enough away that we're taking very little armor damage at all thus allowing us to go into battle multiple times per month but we're working our way there it's gonna take a while last fight was 46 rounds let's see if we can keep it under 30 okay <laughs> keep it just under 30 we're our, our bar for excellence is coming well maybe going a little bit higher this time yeah locust with triple strength mimer that would be a kick for sure yeah i like his stuff but i can see it's not for everybody oh i i, I missed him as tex once put it doesn't matter if you have guns just need to fit into the cockpit well maybe it's the not sure why maybe it's the unhealthy and suit enthusiasm i'm so confused oh for tex yeah yeah we need as much experience as possible if we can actually just keep getting into fights that'll be great obviously getting the battle armor as well is going to be excellent it was a really good point by deaths that if we park that battle armor somewhere way on the other side of the battlefield they still get experience so we want to put more bunnies into the fight even if we know they're not going to actively engage in the combat yeah what do we got darius we've got them bunnies right out in the open these guys are amateurs get eyes on them and take them out good hunting olivera out all right, so nighttime again, except this time we have no night vision. So it's going to be kind of rough. So it might actually come down to melee. In that case, it's going to be great to have that juggernaut capability. Yeah. Government lands. Oh, they've got. Oh, my God. They've got a sentinel. Of course, they've got battle armor. I really want it. Even the field there at some point reserved down to one. So they got a sentinel. That's a little scary. That's definitely a little bigger than a than a locust. We got the bun wub wub. We're going to skirt around the edge as quickly as possible. Eight evasion. Stay to cover. We have no other additional contacts here. Let's hold. I don't know about drop cost. You should check if it would be relevant when parking the battle armor somewhere for experience. Uh, the drop cost? Definitely. Oh, you mean like if it's drop cost isn't high enough, do you get any experience? Bun pop. We're going to break right, split them. Uh, do you think it makes more sense to take money over salvage early game? I've seen some folks do that, but it never seemed to be worth it. I I feel like... I feel like you get more gains getting salvage, but that's me personally, just because we need every last sensor. We need some way of getting a pick on, like, sensors or critical accuracy-enabling items, right? But that having been said stuff doesn't really sell for very much it seems like early on so there's kind of a balance where it's like i want to take as much salvage as possible while still keeping the money the the company afloat if we take very little armor damage and we take and we're able to efficiently complete a mission that's very good for our pocketbook because we're not out for so long and we get to engage in more missions and get more loot so i guess it depends if we're in fights that are consistently outside of our our range like this this is actually probably going to cost us quite a lot just because we're going to be out for so long and we won't be able to engage in as many fights so that's something to keep in mind i guess so if it's one skull though and it would be better to do a half skull probably but at the same time we're trying to take the lowest that we can for the free Russell hog republic and in my case without doing a blackout because <laughs> the blackout has the potential to be either a lot more than we bargained for you. Yeah. yeah, good equipment, selling cores, engines. Yeah, no, that's excellent for sure. Yeah. Also about rounding up stockpiles. That's right. And having backups, things like that. So, all right. So they got two battle armor. They've got a Wasp 1AR. And then they got a big old Sentinel 6EX with a lot of energy hard points. So that's going to be interesting. If we could nail something like that, that'll be excellent just to get access to like let's say something that can use all of our clan ER small lasers right uh we got six and a half i mean some pretty poor chances here but we are at a far far distance this guy's got an er large and quad er medium on the sentinel and that quirinius has light tag and david light gauss 
the dragoon battle armor has bunch of mortars and flamers okay that is not good and then the wasp has double small a medium and a tag i'm liking the fact that we actually were able to get a sensor read here so a decent number of threats here i'm thinking we probably want to <laughs> send someone out to try and just harass the dragoon that's kind of scary but let's take our shots at the sentinel because we actually have a chance to kind of maybe hit him the wolfhound three. Oh dear god yeah mortar carriers on that battle armor that's scary yeah hold and you're right definitely it was a a mission and a half for sure all right what do we got we got that's in the bun kermisher so the bun kermisher is fortunately pretty agile but we need to stay a little bit lower we never want to get too close to the battle armor we really don't want to have to deal with that at all because we don't really have an answer for it i don't think these guys can really get on us per se so we'll just keep sending the pirate bane around and just pinging like crazy because i don't think they've got the claws or or anything like that one wub wub is going to kind of do this old split the pincer split and then go and assist and we're gonna try and kind of hit him from both sides and wipe out the mortar carriers if possible with a pirate's pain and of course with our wub wub oh my god <laughs> well we've been tagged that's cool this is a bit of a problem all right here come flamers that's fine that's fine we lost eight armor there gained nine heat we're well within acceptable parameters there's the one ar smalls and a medium and we've Amuel's been tagged like crazy. So when the Sentinel gets online, that's a little scary. Gosh, I, I want to kick this guy. Actually, I don't think he's got claws. I mean, it should be okay to kick him, right? If we do it, we get five. That's kind of nice. Oh, there's a punch at 18. Oh, that's pretty bad. Never mind. I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, let's let's get some movement. Coming around seven, seven uh, in the rear. I don't know about that. Five, six. Six is like the lowest I'd go. Let's do it. They got to be pretty flimsy. I sure hope so. Send 60. All right, we're, we're, we're slowly chipping away at them. That's what I like to see. Okay, bun pop. We better get closer though, because staying far away, our gunnery is just not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it at all. And we might need to assist heavily. So we're just going to walk it up. Very low evasion, I know, but we'll take what we got. Point nine. Let's hit that Sentinel if possible. All right. Look like we actually connected. I saw a little orange there. Ooh, okay. So we drew the Sentinel's ire. That's actually not a horrible thing. Granted, we took a big hit there, but at least they're not taking out our Battle Armor Assassins. Uh, Bun, Kermisher, let's keep that distance. We do have the mediums and everything. Four on the wasp or the sentinel i mean it seems like we're kind of focusing on the sentinel and the mortar carriers i don't want to diverge from that plan too much oh the bun wub wub already has a breach that is that's not good all right we're gonna give him a little break turn the butt to him we're in cover but obviously we're our butt is to him oh they can swarm i was wrong i was very wrong i thought they couldn't do it but I was so wrong. That is not good at all. Oh, wow. That, maybe we need to withdraw. <laughs> we might need to withdraw. That is not good at all. We already have breaches on both of the lights, and I don't think we can afford that kind of continual... How, how do I put it? Like repairs? Yeah. Crossbow burgers. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think we might have lost the bunny. I thought... They didn't have anything that could allow them to swarm, but I was so, so wrong. That's why we were looking. Oh, uh, oh boy. Well, hmm. So we got Bun Kermisher here. We've got a breached Bun Wub Wub, and then we've got way far away the Bun Pop. And they've barely been scratched, really. This guy's taken a little bit of heat. I mean, this guy's been scratched. We lost access to all the clan arm smalls so i'm gonna start the withdrawal process that's four turns yeah so oh boy i took a nap woke up and hb is getting bunnies killed it wasn't on purpose i swear shot 
Yeah. Oh, man, that's rough. That's rough. It just takes a little bit to take it down. That was our one of our more advanced of our mechs. And the more damage we take, the longer we're going to be out. So maybe we need to come in with full force, even if it means going over two finance periods, just so we can start to actually generate some cat. I probably should have jumped there so that I can actually get some evasion. And then we got Amiel who just needs to hold out. So we're going to spread. We'll go wide here. Oh, man. So I just gave the breached right. That is a mortar carrier. That might not go so well. Oh, boy. Check the store. See what force multipliers there are. If you can do a half, few half skulls for cash. The ones I can do are basically going to be against the free Rosselhog Republic. And that's that's the part that kind of is not so great i think yeah flips the switch vacants yeah seriously seriously i hope i hope crossbow is still alive there's a slight chance but obviously he won't be active for a very long time is my assumption yeah hp and the bun pop let's get hopping we'll give him the butt for a second and then we'll brace we just need to avoid him for a couple of more rounds this is Rogue Take. Ain't no slight about his chances. You're going to have to go get him. Oh, I see. So it's like search and rescue. Is that right, Ed? Come on over. And we got six or eight. I I hope the search and rescue is going to be um at least like one skull or less. You get a mission pop up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, that's if he survives, though, right? Uh, I don't want to get out there. Let's go wide. Hold. Hey, we got to try. We got to try. It's a bunny. At the very least, we got to try. And then it's on in two rounds. Two rounds. We got one more round of evasion. All right. Hop. Brace. So one, this is the last round of evasion. So we've been tagged. We got debts. Old. It's a bunny. He says as if he doesn't routinely chuck y'all into a witch. <laughs> I think the difference is at least we try. That's what's important to me. Yeah, I get you though. All right, bring her around. Hold. And Amiel, speed, and hold. All right, let's see. What do we got? Now we can pull out once it's back on us. Nobody grills a bunny except other bunnies. That's right. That's right. We at least try. That's what's important. There's plenty of bunnies in the sea. Oh, I'm not saying that there aren't. But I'm not going to just leave them for nothing. 4,500. I don't know what went wrong, bunnies. But we need evac before we suffer any more losses. So definitely, oof. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Cross your fingers. I don't know. Cross your fingers for crossbow. There will be a touch and go with a leopard. The old college try. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see. If it's like three skull, well, that's something else. Yeah, we'll have to see. But hopefully we even have the opportunity to try because it's very possible that he's just gone. He got swarmed by battle armor. They blew out the center right there in one go. So hang tight. We may not have a choice and we may have to go against the FRR. So we lost some money. Okay. But more importantly, killed in action. Oof. All right, bunnies. I have to pay respects in chat for our first pilot loss crossbow. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? Yes. Unfortunately, we did. That is pretty rough. We lost crossbow in this career. Look on the bright side. We don't have to go get him. Oh, that's... That's very true. That is very, very true. And we also took a serious hit right into the core of the pirate spam. That is very, very... I don't know if we're going to be able to put that together for a bit. Yeah, need more triple F burgers. Bunny sacrifice. The true loss is the pirate spam. There's that too. All right, let's see. And let us move forward. There's nothing to get. And off we go. That's a rough one, yeah. Oof. All right, so when we get back, we have to pay our specs at the Memorial Wall itself for Crossbow. Finishes packing up Crossbow's box, or er, room. That's right. 
So we had a little bit of Triple F Burger very early on. My, oh my, oh my. Let's see the damage. Bummer. I lost 200 carrots. <laughs> oh man. Where's the dill relish? The snack refice. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh boy. Well, my hope is that we're going to be able to get maybe everything back on in ideally under a single finance period, but we'll have to see. So we'll say no on this one. And let's pay our respects at the memorial wall. There he is. Crossbow hit by an enemy Dragoon battle armor. That's quite a ways to go. Yeah. One deployment. Oh, <laughs> one deployment. Crossbow's number one. I actually gained. Darn. We lose a pilot. Crunch appears. We're homing in on how to summon Crunch. I don't think that was ever a mystery. Yeah. Someone passed the cheese slices. Did so good last time. Most of the bunnies did so well, but this is rogue tech. All right, bunnies. Let us do it. Let's go over to the mech base, see what we got. We'll flip this over. We've got serious, serious damages. So to the bun Kermisher, what do we got? At least we didn't. I think this one's mostly armor repair. If I write 0 0.004, we're at 107, 105. So a little imbalance there. We'll bring this down to 100. That'll give us the full. We're at 55 around in 70. Definitely want to get the arms up. We'll drop this some. There we go. All right. I think that'll do. It's just the armor. Two days. That's good. That's good. The story of 30% of mech warriors everywhere. First deployment. Oh, <laughs> we need specialized anti-battle armor weaponry. We need our mechs to be back online first. And then I will. It'll be nice if we could get some good stuff. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring this up. We got 95. We can definitely bring the bun pump down on this side. That'll be like 55. Uh, we've got our 80. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Perfect. And we're at, we're pretty even six days here. Is there anything we can adjust? I don't think so. We'll hold here. ER large. We already had it. Okay, great. Machine gun boat. I haven't seen one. Uh, we, we haven't yet. Absolutely not. No, you're right. Not max for the chassis, max for the loadout. Uh, check the store. Yeah, probably want to. Also, one difference between our mech lab, just hit max armor at the top. It'll repair up all your armor to max. So when I did that, it seems to imbalance some of the armor. So it's a good place to start, but then you kind of got to tweak it a little bit. LRM5 medium lasers. We did pick up another medium pulse, so that's going to be a really big boon to us. Heat sinks, machine gun ammunition. Not too much here, so let's go back. Yeah, it's sad to lose one, but if I'm not mistaken, the bunny kill to death ratio is still... <laughs> We got to kill them, though. All right, let's do it. Hey, Mad Dog, good to see you. Welcome. We just had our first loss of the career, and we're hoping to keep it down to a minimum. Hopefully, you're doing well, yeah? So we got 40, 40, 25, 24. We'll bring that up to 25, 22. We'll bring this up to 25, and then we'll bring this down. 25, 25, 25, and we'll come down, I think, one pip. There we go. Okay. I think that's okay. And we still have our pulses. Obviously, we tend to get breached here pretty easily. So I'm actually going to shift some of this so we can lose the arm. But at least we'll get a little bit more protection. Just a tad. Obviously, we don't want to be hit, but can't always stop it. There we go. Are you still on the starting planet? No, we left from the starting planet. The starting planet was like a one and a half red, but I am on the planet Usmark where we went to. So we're still there, if that makes sense. We can actually turn this into a wub wub as well. We've got the medium pulse. And then we can actually get a clanny or small. That'll give us a little more of a weight advantage there. Do we need the jump jets? It was nice to get out of the mines. That's about it. And we don't really have that many jump jets remaining, so let's go without for now what can we get on this so we actually can come up pretty pretty well is there anything that we can add to this equipment armor heat sinks our heat efficiency is looking very good or good sensors not really so this isn't bad 15 days i'll take it yeah what skull rating uh this one's a half skull system right. half skull green specifically we can run all mechs hotter since we're still on ice. We can, yes, we can. 
and a steel is gone engine core 175 is gone i don't think i have a replacement for that yet we got 120 that's that's a little low we might have to hold on this one and if we need to divert some of the equipment elsewhere i don't know if we're going to be able to put this together right away yeah so we'll come back to that okay so we need all of these to be back online before we're going into combat again because i'm not going to do it otherwise the spider will go in and sell some parts it's a little unfortunate but but we need to keep us cogent hunter half the flea part 12 and that's only a quarter of that let's hold so we're at 671 we can also sell some structure and stuff like that let's go over to our do we have the engineering bay going we don't hey there Panzerbund. good to see you welcome in order to push it farther forward we need mech bay 2 structural reinforcement mech bay 3 training module beta pod all those things are kind of expensive structural repair storage space five percent is not going to be much because we're going to raise our average cost as well so that's not as good as i thought morale would be nice having a lounge would be nice for movie night stuff like that especially because we're now discouraged which makes sense <laughs> Ooh, checkpoint three hundred sixty thousand. i don't know if i'll have that much to spend just yet but nice to keep it in mind as far as the order goes this is gargantuanly huge so let's go ahead and bring this down we can get two having the mortars on tap would be nice it's only one mortar though so still again i think it's a lower priority the bun standard is basically undergoing a retrofit i would like to have the raven bun online first so let's go from here yeah it's been a while since i played rogue tech but one thing to consider is not to optimize every mech to start spend the money on the mechs that are likely to be kept for a while well in this case i mean <laughs> from what i'm seeing i probably want to have i i get that i get that we're we need to get it's kind of a bit of a balance because i'm trying to get as many bunnies into combat as possible even if they're not going to be actively engaged just so we can get their skills up but at the same time also minimize damage and repairs and so we're kind of trying to dance the line but that's a really good point second medical examination for antonides sure dependable all right great we'll take that <laughs> we'll take any win right now we're at 401,000. we definitely want to have our bun standard back online i want to have five mechs in the engagement we're pushing it really really close we're going to go into the red so let's bring them back we're going to have all our bunnies available to us we don't want to go in half cock and we're going to look for that half skull green hold now let's stop by the command center uh it depends i went with the option for the it stays the same it doesn't scale to your your power level if that makes sense so we got battle in the tundra half skull like it we've got recovery in the polar biome so if we need to we can get in and get out we've got ambush convoy that sounds great but it's one skull so let's go for these we're gonna go with the battle it's for the free Russell hog republic that sounds great 419 we don't really get too much of a of a boost like 100k or so so we're gonna go with a full 419 on this battle baseless dervish uh we'll go in and get in we'll clear this first because we're going in completely fresh here's our raven bun now outfitted like the griffin we've got our bun pomp which is our griffin we got the bun kermisher and then we've got our bun standard which is now half of a bun wub wub and then we got our bun wub wub oh we oh i forgot we can only do the four anyway oh well at least we've got a backup here this is for battle armor for a V or a V toll. And I don't think we've got another. Yeah, we'd have to actually expand the slot. I forgot that part. So HP in the Raven. We've got deaths in the Bun Kermisher. For everyone's pretty even. Let's get Amul in the Bun Wub Wub. And then we'll get akin to into the bun pop i do want to see if we've got some points to apply though because we did wait quite a long time and we need every incremental advantage possible so akin to will actually have four gunnery that's excellent amiel's fine antonides we want to get that gunnery up there we've got chappy chappy piloting gunnery gunnery wow all right chappy's moving Dertz piloting he's in the bunker mature hp can actually choose a secondary so is evasion more important 
So right now we can choose from being immune to sensor lock or we can get two extra evasion. That sounds really, really good. Or do we want to reduce the stability damage? Brace after melee. Right now we've got the PPC and the LRMs. So there's also gunnery for the crit chance, the cluster roll, call shot multiplier, recoil. I think I'm going to go with evasion right now because honestly, like us getting hit is the worst. So I'm going to get that for HP. And then we got Mac. Full three across. Now let's go look at it again because we actually have higher gunnery stats. Yeah. Battle, Tundra, Half Skull, Green, full 419. We've got our four selected right here. We're going to go in with, we'll shift this Bun Kermisher over. We're going to pull over the Bull Shark. We've got HP in the Raven Bun. We've got Deaths in the Bun Kermisher for all of the speed. Uh, we've got Akintu with four. And then we got Chappie. I'm actually thinking we'll get Deaths into the Wub Wub and we'll get Chappie into the Bun Kermisher. That sounds like our best chance at succeeding right now. Let's do it. Battle in the Tundra. Half Skull Green. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Five minutes on the clock. And let me catch up with chat, yeah? He fell to some battle armor that cannot swarm. Yeah, that was my mistake. Let's just stay away from battle armor in general, yeah? Things move fast in the Bunnyverse. It's true. It's true. Yeah, hey, Panzer Bun. Yeah, we lost we lost the bunny already, yeah? Crossbows on the memorial wall. This just turned tense. All or nothing. That's kind of how <laughs> that's kind of how our careers seem to go, yeah? Awareness good for a late game. Evasive is good for a longer range mix. Right now, we I went with the extra sensor range and sight range. I think it was like a 15% boost, initiative boost, and on top of that, uh, it's like the master attack, yeah? On HB. Put me on the list. Oh, heck yes. All right, survival. Thank you so much. We do need more bunnies. Thank you so much for the volunteer. And did I miss anyone else? I think we're good. Okay, so half skull this time. We actually have our main mechs on the field right now. We actually have some slightly leveled bunnies and we're in a polar biome. Things couldn't be better. Let's go ahead and try and make this as clean as possible. We'll stick together, kind of branch out, come back in, branch out, come back in. So that's going to be the play, yeah. Uh, what do we got, Darius? I We've got them, bunnies, right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Good hunting. So it looks like we've got a VTOL on the field already. It might be a Gauss, might be one of those. Is it called like the Moth, right? Oh, we've seen this map. This is this high as we can get so let's be over here any reinforcements will show up on the left most likely yep all volunteer for the meat grinder all right Gigan. thank you so much for the volunteer yeah it just occurred to me i wasn't even part of the career yet you can put me on the list oh <laughs> just give me a second all right Let's see what we got. Thank you so much. We got our Wasp 1P Periphery Rifle, Medium Laser Agra. So an agricultural laser, Rocket 15. Got a Centipede Scout car. Very interesting. So we've got 16 Valiant SRMs on there. And then we got a Mockingbird 3, a single PPC, and it looks like it's out of the high explosive bombs. Thank God. All right. <laughs> that didn't look good at all. Me too. I'll die for the bunnies. Clan Toads, plenty of room on the wall. Avoid the rush. Well, hang on just one second. Thank you so much for all of the interest. I really appreciate it. We're going to need all the help we can get, yeah? Hang tight, hang tight. We got a Kinto. We don't have any of the uh, Sam LRM in the Akinto's Bun Pop. That'll be great if we can have it. Let's hold. And then we'll get Deaths, who's going to split full speed. Hold. So far, we only see a three. Not too worried about... I was going to say about the SRMs, but knowing... I don't remember what the Valiant does, so I don't know if outranging it is going to be possible necessarily. PPC and a whiff. Good. He didn't look like he moved too far, so I'm hoping we'll have a, a chance of hitting him. Here comes that SRM machine. Okay, perfect. Bring it down. We'll have HB creep on forward. He's got night vision. The only one. 
So if we could take out their air. Oh, we can actually switch over to SAM, surface to air munitions. Pretty good. All right. That's not bad at all. Nice. Excellent. Not so night armor. vision and the appropriate yeah. ammunition for the job. That's fantastic. We're going to actually sit oh, back on the second nine. line and try and assist and get that last Fire. little bit of it. He's... Oh, he's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. All right, bunk commercial. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hop out. Walk it. Walk it. Stay back. Stay back. We've got that ER large. 12. Taking the shot. Whoops. Some variants carry a hatchet. In what mission did Crossbow actually die? Uh, he... I don't know. Was it three? Have we done only three thus far? It might be three. Are right, we going wide here. I remember they hit hard, but I can't recall how. Might be 100% crit. Oh, that might be it, yeah. So right now... Do you mind repeating who wanted to be on the list again? Oh, crap. I might have to take time out to do this. I One day we'll come up with a better system where you can, like, sign up on a... Like a website or something. <laughs> so I've got... So I got Mad Dog. Yeah, I think I lost it in all the spam. I apologize, yeah. I got left. So right now, this is what I have, okay? And then we'll have to take a break. Maybe we'll open it up at certain points. That might make more sense so we don't stop the mission. But we've got... For now, I've got Superior. I've got Tank Hair. Order. Steel Shark. Rhubarb. Definitely. Kung Fu Hippie. Fei Kwan. Left. Survival. Gigan. TX Mad Dog. Right? I think that's it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, any any way we can do it. Maybe when we get back to the bay, we'll open it up again, okay? Thank you so much. All right, we got Bun Pop. So we really want to tag the very last of the Mockingbird. It looks like it's all his left. Okay, I did not anticipate that. His left side's the busted one. All right, we kind of had a weird sort of connect there. Go ahead and try and send the rest. We're just hoping it's kind of tag on the opposite. And then we got the Raven Bun. Get on over. Understood. Moving fast. And it's surface to air. There we go. Beautiful. So we wiped out one. We can verify that only these two remain. That's excellent because if we can manage to reduce Ready. any kind of armor repairs, any repairs at all, that will be amazing. So let's go ahead and start closing the net. We've got the speed. We've got the wub wub. Let's go ahead and send in 23. We're going to ping three times we kind of ping for 10 there Commander. Shappy in the bunk Kermisher full speed I am worried about the SRM so we're but we do have a better chance to hit this guy oof <laughs> we at least we've got the high ground right that helps I think he had the periphery rifle I believe was able to connect but we actually took it on the torso it's a good thing we raised that armor just a tad because that hit for a solid 20 it looks like bun pomp he probably doesn't that much get on in 35 very good chance to hit we gotta take it whenever we see anything like that at all hp's yeah. following it up he's gonna get right over the edge this is the opportunity right here and he's got the set we're gonna turn off surface to air tune up the machine guns and go to town Firing. beautiful all right so just the wasp it's 3v1 lethal damage on the carrier all right bun wub wub let's pull it away pull it away get out of danger hold down the one we got chappy in the bunker shirt we're just gonna walk it up maintain the high ground there's five on my way and shots action connecting here this is this is what we need this is what we need we need to take down targets before we take the damage right four hold shot with and then here's the tick so he's gonna get to go hope for the best he's got that periphery rifle he already shot it last turn so and he whiffs it great 
He's probably still suffering from the recoil. We should be able got. to kick him potentially. Didn't look like he ran too far. Yep. We've got a 74% chance. This is looking very, very nice indeed. Snap kick to the Wasp. Oh, and we whiff the 75% chance. Give him a little bit of Daka. And we ding the head. All right, Dex is coming back on in. Actually, hold. We got Chappy. Kick him 70% on the Wasp. There it is. And the leg is out and down he goes. And guns, guns, guns. And that is all she wrote. That's what we needed. A milk run, just as we expected. Good work, bunnies. Oh my gosh, that is a win. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? No, thank God. Holy crap. <laughs> Congratulations to those who had the faith. Let's go ahead and flip it on over. LRM paying for itself. I had registered for a place. Okay, Panzer. I got you on the... Writing as fast as I can. Got you on the list now. Thank you so much. Oh boy. Wow. We needed that so badly. <laughs> we really needed that one because we need to spend as little time in the mech bay as possible. Oh boy. If we can get ourselves optics, anything, that'll be fantastic. All right. Here we go. 136. Mostly profit. No injuries. Centipede, Scout, Car. Ooh, a free V would be kind of nice. Mockingbird at 15 tons with that PPC and the wing-mounted high-explosive bombs. Standard fusion engines, regular armor, core. Nothing too crazy. I think I'm going to risk it. And we're going to grab... How heavy was this again? Centipede, Scout, Car. It's got six... So 12 tubes, actually, of SRMs. And the speed versus the Mockingbird. We don't really guarantee we're going to find another one, but... This one, I can actually get a full one, potentially. So, I'm going to grab it. We'll grab two. Hope for the best. Oh, grab three. Grab four. Oh, right. I forgot. Holy crap. Wow. Uh, Sure. Three, two, one. So, we got a full... V. We got half of a Mockingbird with the PPC and the high explosive bombs. We got half of a Wasp. Standard armor will remove that. Basic cockpit will remove it. The core, the low cores will remove it. Internal combustion, remove it. Standard fire control system will remove it. Basic sensors, single heat sink cooling, rifle periphery ammunition, and SRM ammunition. Hey, we made a profit. We made a profit. Uh, what's the Discord? Oh, thank you so much, Ed. That is it. Exclamation Discord. That's the invite to it, yeah? Woo! That was rough. So, let me go in and make sure that I let you know. We'll open it up again if you want to get on to the list. We've got it right here. But we got a good number of volunteers right now. We just got to keep an eye out for any nice pilots to pick up. Maybe ones with some specialties that we don't have to send over to the school, yeah? Easy money. I don't know about easy, but it was a thing. Do I have you, Ed? I don't have you yet. I will get you one. Thank you so much. I'll be perfectly honest. I, I'm i very, very pleased that this is the... I feel like one of the first times we're running into this kind of issue where I can't keep up with a volunteer. So thank you. Uh, so it's getting us to confront it and then figure out what we need to do to make it better, right? So I appreciate it, yeah. Much prefer TBMs, but wherever I fits, I sits. At this point, I think wherever I fits, I sits is, is going to be the rule of thumb just because we are, <laughs> we have a little bit of work to do to get anywhere at the moment. Let's stop by the store again. We got to keep an eye out. Yeah. Axel MBT. That sounds cool, but we can't afford it. There's the Spectre. AC2, Battle Armor, LRM4, ooh, Medium Pulse Pod, if we had a VTOL of some kind. LRM5s, again, if we want to actually, you know, spread that out and update the AC5, we've got Lamb Booster Pack, Ammunition, very interesting. We'll go over to the, we'll go to the Mech Bay, because we can actually put together a V, which means we can bring in a fifth into combat. That is awesome. And I don't think we actually have to repair this one, which is excellent as well. Here we go. Do yourself a favor in Rogue Tech. Always check the ammo lists first. Why is that, Ed? Just for the special stuff? I mean, I get down there eventually, yeah? 
like moth to a flame is that what i mean maybe maybe but hopefully not a flame that is destructive yeah power surge in the mech bay pull the emergency shut off guess which individual systems to shut down oh that's not <laughs> uh let's see we don't have anything critical currently on the uh being repaired because we have all our mechs back except for the pirate's bane so i'm gonna guess minus one tech point for 14 days that's okay the only thing coming online right now is a single light mortar mortar battle armor so that's fine uh we do want our bunnies back though so that's going to mean that we go on the tick or we push them fatigued so what do we got here on half skull is this worth it this is against the free Russell hog republic and half a skull i don't think it's worth it so i'm gonna let this one tick over as painful as that is yeah and hold 428 our specialty ammo can change the tide of a fight much more cheaply than the parts above oh no i get you on that one i definitely get you on that one i think the thing is is that i g tend to go through the whole list anyway but maybe you're thinking as i go down i might buy something that is true so that's point well taken i'll try to keep that in mind thank you so much uh, we got our barracks let's make sure that the points are applied because we are going into combat again period uh amul get that gunnery up there right now we need all of the base to hit chance possible uh, we got hb mac okay everyone's good perfect do we have any mechs no command center what do we got right now we're at destroy base polar great with one and a half here we got wide council half skull destroy base versus this is six pick 27. i mean obviously hitting do we have what it takes to maybe take out turrets easily not really we do have lrms fortunately the turrets are going to be stationary so but if they're all lrms and nasty aoe and stuff like that that might not be so good so let's go ahead and stop by the store before we move in yeah ap ammo rolls for crit well i'd like precision that'll be great too yeah ac20 small laser srm2 and we've got double bins for ac5 we already have that we've got high explosive bombs machine guns and battle armor ammo so we'll go into battle now ac20 inferno oh you oh my well we gotta have that ac20 yeah wide council that's gonna be it half skull 419 we've got the same crew they're pushing it i know amiel's up to four now so we can get him back in the bun wub wub there we go half skull battle polar biome oh forgot to bring in our new srmv that would have been excellent but i forgot hopefully we'll get in on the next one uh will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got yeah hopefully hopefully we'll remember because it would be really nice to have another unit especially one that we don't actually have to repair the armor on yeah does ac20 cluster inferno do they have inferno on like lba like a shotgun like the the lbs maybe maybe because then you'd see it right i don't think do they even have cluster for the standard acs do they do that lbx is the only one okay but do they have Inferno for that? Because an LBX AC20, that would definitely do some damage. <laughs> the idea is my 100 carats are to be the prize pool, not the collection start. Well, you know, sometimes you get a little more to add more to the prize pool, right? We're good. Normal auto cannons have all of the fun ammunition. Well, we got really, really lucky in that our bull shark came with AC5 with a ton of the precision ammunition. That's been huge. That was so, so helpful. I mean, it's such a big deal, you know? They buffed them from tabletop. They're still not good for their weight. Well, they're all out of fun. They make a lot of noise, too. Bunnies, you've arrived in the region where the enemy was last detected. Move forward and clear them out. We shouldn't let any of them get away, if we can help it. Let's rock and roll. Wait, we've got allies. That must mean that this is a harder mission, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're in the middle of a blizzard. It looks like they were kind of over here. So if we stick with them, maybe we can hide behind them. So <laughs> that's my hope. So we'll get right on in. I think they were like right around here. Wanted a mech with a shotgun firing dragon breath rounds. Hey, maybe. Up oh, there they are. All right. So we got some fast movers here. The Hitman, double ER, medium, MML, seven, and a tag. 
They've got their own tunnel rats, battle armor heavy grenade launchers, and kobolds with battle armor micro grenade launchers. I think is it just three? Yeah, it looks like we've got three allies reserved down to one. And that hitman's coming back online. And we do have a flea down below and a cattle master. We, we've seen that quite a bit at these stages. Here we go. Tuck on up. We've got sight. New target. Fire starter. All right. That's what we're talking about. Bun pop. Get over the edge. I'm a fan of small mortars and grenade launchers for versatile battlefield control. Heck yes. Hey, LZS34. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy to see that we're actually making it through that last battle was very much needed for sure so got that cattle master we've got a flea and then we've got that fire starter here that is super exciting on wow, their fast movers 14 13 the flea is that 5w i'm not too sure what that was it is the oh 4w fire starter inbound actually with a tag there is it like an S1 or something? That's all you got? So this might actually be something like eight on three, but two of which are battle armor and they're very far away. So we'd have to draw them in for the battle armor to be yep. productive at all. They've got micro grenade launchers, which is, that's nice. All right, coming around. Copy that. We've got LRM 20. Nine on flea. Ah, double clan ER small, clan ER large, and a clan flamer. Oh my god. I <laughs> Can we please have that flea? <laughs> wow. That guy came stacked. Are you kidding me? <laughs> god. Holy crap. I feel a little inadequate at the moment, but that's great because that means maybe we can have some 4W clan ER large. Wow. S1 has no tag. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. Six and a half. I mean, I'll take... I'll take anything with a C next to it right now. I'll take anything, actually. <laughs> but even better with that. All right, bun pop. We're gonna get a little bit of evasion. And we'll just kind of pepper him. Uh, hold. All right, bun wub wub. Let's go super wide. So we've got this net. If they want to push into it, at least we're getting different angles. Oh, the kobold is stealth. Our allies have freaking stealth systems on their battle armor. That's something. Did you turn on risk? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No idea still what the fire starter has. Good man. <laughs> Yeah, I turned on quite a lot of things. I think the one of the things I did not turn on that I was very tempted to do were the kill team yeah. enemy reinforcements. I really wanted to because that sounds like you're going to see some really awesome stuff, but uh, that might be a bit much for us right now. <laughs> okay, hang tight. Come down one. Waiting for the right move. We're on 12. Oh, yeah, there's that flea coming out of the fire. Hit man from above. Given the love. Kill team's fun early game. Oh, gets old, yeah. All right, all the way down. Let's go ahead and come over the crest. Coming around the backside with Amiel in the bun wub wub. And send it really good chance, but we might blow up the loot. Oh, well. Got a breach. Got a breach. 23. All right, we're going to just keep expanding the surround. Expand the surround. Just slowly walk it in. Keep the high ground and a lot of energy. Send it. Confirmed. Really surprised we can actually send the machine guns that far out. The bun pop. From the front. And shot. God, he's he's right in the cross section. It's amazing. And bun Kermisher is going to cross just to keep some evasion and send whatever he's got. Yeah, not bad. We're actually hitting now. You got nukes on. I did not turn nukes on as a rule. I did not turn nukes on. I'm not that good at this game yet. Yeah. 
It's gonna be a great way to get good. Yeah, no kidding. I, I would have liked it. Risk is nothing you'd want to use with inexperience, though. Lots of malfunctioning. Well, I don't. Oh boy. All right, we're okay. We're okay with that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, especially if you have an RD system or a good force multiplier. Yeah, I only did that once. <laughs> I think there are some things where I want to look at it and go, yeah, I can overcome that. As opposed to I come in and then I lost everything without even doing anything, right? It's a good way to restart from scratch the middle of the run. I, yeah, there's that. I like how the kobolds look a little bit like tiny black knights, yeah? All right, Cattle Master's out there. He's got a handheld medium rifle and an energy hard point. We got the Raven Bun. I mean, we might as well move in with him. Both his machine guns seem to be offline. We'll hang tight. Chappy, actually bring it down. Uh, we got Amul. I wish we had Ace Pilot. Instead, we're going to come all the way around and complete the surround. Here we go. If we stay in the red, we can at least have the most... <laughs> he's on fire we are at least gonna have the most mobility yeah all right bun pop we're actually gonna keep going wide did i see a vapor eagle did you oh yes i turned on super heavies absolutely i turned on super heavies that's one big reason why i'm even playing rogue tech <laughs> i want all the super heavies and hold All right, Cattle Master coming on down to... Oh my god, that hurts. Wow. Well, we got to keep pushing then. We'll go wide and then maybe come over the berm. That is unfortunate. That's going to take a while to repair. <laughs> it's like the first thing I think of. Is it going to take a long time to repair? Oh, maybe we're getting a little bit too spread out. We want to come back together. Wonder you're going to have to do a Rusty Dan quick sell run. I did actually the when when we were playing last when we were playing last i was doing rusty den i love my super heavies eight guesses on one mech gotta love it eight oh gausses yes yes absolutely here we go coming around on the back side we've got the shots standard machine gun tune it up send it we need to protect amiel amiel's gonna join us on the back side there we go. On eight evasion, pulling us farther away from the rest of his crew. And keep working him. Uh, we got a Kintu. Chappie. Chappie might be able to get... Yeah, he can get in on a kick. That's excellent. Let's do it. Not the highest chance to connect, but that's normal for us. And we landed on the damage side. Excellent. And guns. 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 And down he goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, got a breach, got a breach. All right, send it in, bun pop, bun pop. On the follow-up, the one-two punch. Walk it in, take your time. Sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks, it's straight to the head. That's all right. I love my super heavies. Uh, maybe that was a battle armor, the Vapor Eagle I saw, or you can also say I'm blind again. No, I mean, honestly, our tiny little battle armor, they all look like mechs, right? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. And we're going to come on down, hold. There it is. At least we'll get like one part of it, right? Flamer hotshot, huh? Wow, that guy got torn to pieces. ECM destroyed. That's unfortunate. And that is the fleet. Okay, great, great. So we can actually go all the way down to one and work these guys together so we got raven bun we're not going to get behind that cattle master so we're just going to walk it forward or if we sprint it out we'll get a clearer line let's do it we'll the shots uh we'll hold on the lrm just send the ppc nails the leg beautiful we'll get amul moving in tandem we're coming around to the rear in cover full speed 42 percent very nice breach there and that is going to allow chappy to actively get right on the backside there. And he's got the shots to exploit that. And then we got a Kintu. Who can't quite do it, but... Not bad. I mean, we'll, we'll take the... I know we're not at the right range for the LRMs, but we'll take that. Okay, how are we doing? Tunnel rats. All 14. 
there's the cattle master shot to raven that's good this is one of your supporters who looks like a vapor eagle oh really <laughs> uh what about clan start haste oh the hitman that's what you're talking about the the hitman he does look a little like it down it goes and that was the flea okay i don't think he lost the laser yet which is excellent can we hit that guy that's gonna be a charge i still don't want to repair it <laughs> walk it up you know what we're gonna we're, we got to deal with this guy there it is beautiful i mean he's too dangerous that periphery rifle did quite a number on amiel all right he's back on up he does still have the clan er large active which is awesome no you can do a clan start did you do a clan start is what i was asking no we have an frr start so we're in the Russell hog republic at the moment yeah at the hitman gotcha gotcha that does look like it bun pop and we got the high ground and laser not so lucky that's okay we've got more opportunities and amul amul's free to come it around get the shot to the side and looking very nice indeed got that beautiful breach chappy's gonna do a little bit of the same just kind of walk it lazily on that same damage side and send the full set <laughs> excellent so all that's left now is the flea that is fantastic he's got clan technology on it so ideally we're gonna be able to pick up a little bit if we're not so brash and bold didn't the hitman have a bullhorns look ah uh, i i'm not too familiar with a hitman but i mean it wouldn't surprise me if that were the case yeah made up from a miss yeah he's gotta lure him in say hello definitely putting himself in a pretty difficult spot to connect with all right amiel on the chase here we go got the shot very high to hit for us right on the leg he's got 10 structure left so he and out beautiful <laughs> that is great excellent work buddies though i do wonder what they were looking for all right that is excellent will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss that is a resounding no congratulations to those who had the faith we were very lucky we had access to allies and on top of that they had clan technology on the op four side and the bunnies were able to just send the shots right where they needed to go that is excellent a little bit of repairs obviously we took some structural damage but overall very very nice indeed no injuries on top of it so let's go to bring it on over cross our fingers we know that there's probably going to be a clan er large on the field right now there is also the fire starter part we can start that ship rolling that's going to be awesome Hundred thirty thousand, definitely enough for our repairs i think no injuries that's great and we can get a full flea which comes with the stuff so i will definitely take it that's awesome fire control system flamer sensor basic standard 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 i'll grab this i'll grab the fire starter part i'll grab the cattle master part and i guess whatever else right go that's awesome i will i will definitely take that that's awesome holy crap i'm uh oops I'm referring the readout artwork. There were times when the art was rough. The original 2750 Star League readout had art that looked more like drafts. I must have missed that conversation entirely. I apologize. Uh, let me try and find you before. Were you talking? Were you talking about that a little bit ago? Uh, left? Or is that in the Bunny League Discord or no? I got a Vapor Eagle from Solaris Uprising. You have a relatively good chance of regularly getting Hero Mix as opponents when you fight against the Solaris Mercenaries. That's a pretty good way to get Hero Mix in Battletech Advance. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, what's the bonus on the Fire Control System Flamer? It seems like, ooh, a Capellan Infantry Support Variant of the Flea. The 20 strips a half ton of armor to mount two ER medium lasers and a light PPC. The loss of armor is not seen as a risk since it's replaced with stealth armor i have a feeling 
this is a little different than what the 4w is so let's just go in and put it together and see what we got we've got the flea we've got the at this point i might just pull down the that's painful to say but i might pull down the pirate's bane just until we have a little more space so select the mech to store or scrap we want to send it to storage if possible but oh but we have to scrap it we have to scrap it because it isn't in a state where we can send it to cold storage well i guess we can put the flea down it currently has act clan active probe installed and c3 slave oh my god this is an advanced fleet oh the 7m is the wub wub let's pull the bun standard Oh, that's tough. Oh, that is tough. We're putting that one on storage. That only has a single medium laser, right? Medium pulse, yeah. Oh, the bonus on the fire control system flame. I think it was 25%. So if we go over to the store, we can take a look. Yep, flea can cone come damage. No, I understand that. The flea is the pinata, but it. did you see what it had on it? <laughs> Holy crap. Well, let's, uh, what were we looking at again? One thing at a time. Let's see. So fire control system flamer plus 25% to flamer damage, plus 25% to flamer heat damage. That is not bad at all. I think I will clear the structure. I will clear the armor, the standard stuff here. The standard fire control system doesn't look like we need to override anything at the moment. We are so lucky. So we'll go in and clear all the standard stuff. That's great. Now we'll go over to the mech bay, take a look at what we got. Yeah, the equipment was not destroyed. Didn't look like it was all gone. Looks like a lot of it was, but some of it might be built in and fixed i don't know looks like you've got a fixed clan fire control system set oh my god the whole cockpit is clanned out and it's fixed it actually had a battle computer tactics that was destroyed let's not look at what was destroyed we've got so wow that's a lot of tech that is a lot of tech we mostly we've got that clan er large but that is incredible obviously we cannot support this because we don't have any more clan double heat sinks and it's a requirement here unless we've got a larger engine on it but we don't yeah so i mean we can't run with it the way that it is we'd actually have to pull these off which makes a big difference obviously and we'd have to pull that off so our heat efficiency now is not good <laughs> but what other do we have any other kits i know that we have a double heatsink kit even if we were to pull this down is this fixed oh my gosh so look at all this that we get clan ferrofibrous i mean this is a good pickup for sure this is a really good pickup wow this is nuts well let's go in and see we'll work with what we got first because it's kind of been working so far we'll go in and do that max armor for the remainder we got 45 around 22 on one side we'll bring that down to 20 we'll get this up to 25 and then are we unbalanced anywhere else we'll just kind of bring the back i guess bring the front down a little there we go 58 hb please report to discord <laughs> thank you cyber <laughs> why am i being like <laughs> oh wow look at that Oh my god, you did all of this already? You've got near automata, and most of all, oh my god! Cyber, that is brilliant, man! You're seriously impressive! That is the bunny hop indeed! I5, that is beautiful! I'm stunned, man, you're very talented! Wow, that is cool, thanks so much for sharing, that is excellent, are you kidding me, man? Wow! And then what else do we got here? Oh, we got, oh my gosh, there's so many bunnies joining. Thank you so much. That I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sharing, yeah? Holy crap. Uh, didn't Compella and somehow build a similar mech that was an Omni mech who looked very similar to the fleet? Potentially, I th wasn't it a trooper or something like that? I think there was a trooper out there somewhere. Yeah? Yeah, isn't that crazy? That is so good. What do we got on the Pirate's Bane again? I know it came with the gyro, the Dreadnought gyro this i'm thinking when i'm looking at this right now i don't think it's worth putting this back together again we just don't have the time or the money and yeah at least we'll get these back so i might scrap this and reclaim these items and then move them over to the flea 
because the flea already at least has a core installed and everything like that yeah it's getting hung on the wall oh that is so cool thank you so much it's a shame to lose this though because it's it's such a nice mech yeah 49 so we'll scrap it the trooper's the predecessor ah uh, gotcha all right got our flea how much is it going to cost to put it together eight days if we pull this off here you'd scrap both well let's let's hang on a second because you gotta you gotta understand too that one thing that i'm kind of weighing in my head is the fact that we've got all of these uh we get plus two gunnery we get the extra sensor sight range we get we already have the clan engine excel installed we have clan pharaoh installed i pull this off and it's just regular heat sinks that i toss in right so i mean let's just see it it might not be i mean that's already really nice because everything else is basic so those are some really nice boons night vision i mean that's awesome right if we max we got a single er large we can actually change this we have hard points so we can go with our whatchamacallit uh the clan er smalls right so one uh there's one here one two right and then we can pull the clan flamer like so i mean that's that's already delta of two positive and, and we still have room right so we can max out like that get a couple more heat sinks this alone is already awesome i think we don't need the c3 slave because we don't have a network yet even though I, I would love to have one and we still have another ton that's good yeah and it's 24 days for 100,000. it's not too bad don't forget to show it to raven oh thank you cyber i will yeah fix this time to work have fun left thanks so much high five have a good day at work man okay so all of this is great if we were to pull this off we're at 0.187 we can even save on the clan pharaoh is there anything that we would want to stick on this if we pull that off that's 1.5 we could put on a, a medium pulse or something uh we could get some jump jets the cooling pod is that really needed i mean that's nice to have but not really needed per se i would like to make these a little safer we do have the guardian ecm actually and we didn't have that before that should be available to us so that's nice wow that's really nice so if we keep this here we don't have to pay for it and we just put this in the center that's really really nice wow i'm that's excellent holy crap that's really nice and it's 25 days yep that's a full time but eventually we'll get it and that's gonna be great my god so um yeah i'm happy with that let's do it a to the back gats uh what's that fill last tonnage with rockets Ooh, uh, do we have rockets yet well that's gonna be excellent once we've got it we need to unfortunately deprioritize it though uh right now we'll get our armor back on up 0.187 we're maxed out everywhere is there anything else that we'd like to do we've got the ppc we could always stick the clanny our large in it and 3.187 so we actually have some savings there that's great uh we've got our surface to air missiles we could fit this is two tons we'll probably need more heat sinks though so that's one that puts us at what negative three i'd kind of want to run a little more negative than that uh we could in theory get the engine heat sink on keeps some of that stuff a little safer any other things that we want that we can get oh yeah i forgot we've got the capacitor as well there's a jam chance on that c3 slave not really so maybe we'll go with we've got machine guns we don't really have too much other than energy at the moment and that's not super bad we pull the gyro i guess a ton how many jump chests can we have we can have five and they're smalls i mean we can have some jumping capabilities yeah i'm glad it turned out so well been trying a new technique to assemble them as some colors seem really stubborn to melt and connect to different colors oh oh really so certain colors actually behave differently like physically i would not have expected that yeah well good job man we're gonna come in like this i think that's gonna be kind of nice there we go all right things are actually turning out pretty well 
So we're at 500,000. We're going to bring that all the way down. So we're going to have all those bunnies back. And it's going to be eight days until we get into combat again. So we'll let that be. Uh, it's a whole lot of expensive stuff in a chassis that can get crushed easily. That's true. That's true. But, you know, we kind of need wins, right? So if we lose it, then we'll have to make a decision then. But yeah, we we kind of need we kind of need wins. <laughs> Am I seeing the weaponry correctly? ER large and an LRM 20. You are Panzer Bun. You are. That's correct. It's what we got at the moment. Are there any optic systems? Ooh, LRM 15 would be a lot nicer than the LRM 20. Uh, we got a LAM XL, AC 20 double bin, battle armor ammunition, and then regular SRM ammunition. Nothing I'm looking at that excites me necessarily but we got to remember to bring in the uh, the new v that we've got so we'll get our piloting going here the striker at the top is good if you can afford it oh for additional support i think the striker usually comes with lrms right i don't think i can afford much at the moment because after this fight it might take us over on the finance period we do i suppose we could go to storage too to sell some things like the cattle master part that gets us a little bit. There's the Mockingbird. I like to hold on to that. The Wasp will clear that. That's half a Wasp. Uh, the Spider will leave that be for now. Yeah. Uh, better to have something now than not at all. Oh, no. I did, didn't think you were. I was just thinking to out loud. Yeah. Usually an LRM 15 or 20, sometimes Artemis. Oh, that's cool. The Hunter. This is the one. Oh, this Striker right here. 649,000. Well, let's take a look at what we've got available to us. This is going to be one of the times that we can actually go in twice in a month. That's going to be crazy. Operation Different Cat. Oh, that's against the FRR. This is the destroy base. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know how it's going to go. I think 627 is a bit much. I think we can get away with 521 on this. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're actually going to not forget to bring this in and we're actually going to bring in the inner sphere standard as well from what i understand we can drop it on top of another mech and it'll mount but to fit the vehicle slot should have mech capabilities i think i think we can actually i forget if you can do the preload i don't think we have anyone to load this onto yet because we don't have a battle armor handhold we don't have an omni mech anything like that uh right now i like what bunnies are in what for the V, we'll get Mac in here. And then for... Ooh, this is rough. I think we need a specific battle armor pilot, right? So that means Amiel. <laughs> that means Amiel. Amiel's the only one who can do it. So then in that case, let's get Depths in the Bun Wub Wub. And here we go. It's going to be the first time we're bringing in six. Half Skull difficulty destroy base in the Polar Biome. Well, the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss. Five minutes on the clock, and we'll see what you got. Goodbye, Amiel. <laughs> I'm guessing something in the dyes used is the issue. Has been melting the reverse side harder to get them to stay together. Then I can go easier on the front side to get it flat and presentable. Well, I'm impressed either way. It looks really clean, man. It turned out so well, Cyper. Yeah. And did I miss anything else yet? Sometimes Artemis Striker. LRM 10 with SRM 6. Hey, any... Any additional support fire is welcome. Anything that can stay far away. <laughs> At least Amiel's going to have one single light mortar. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but it's definitely going to allow him to get some experience, right? So I'm, I'm fine with this. The nice thing is we actually have enough units on the field. I know that I think we've got SRM-12 Valiant. Is that right? In our, I think it's called a Centipede Scout car which is a little odd to me, but I think it has six hard points and I think they're all SRM2 Valiants. So that'll be 12 SRM2 Valiants and it seems to be pretty fast. So it might be kind of good, right? You kind of just don't actually actively engage until the point when, um, let's say you're, you're able to get behind somebody or something like that and then just dump in 12 SRMs with 100% crit and 50% positive through armor crit and that could be pretty nice i think that, that's right okay excellent mouse over the vowels to see what its quirk is the vehicles is that 
The captured base is just up ahead, buddies. Move in, engage the base defenses, and start the demolition. The forces that capture the base are still on site, so be ready for opposition. All right, so again in the darkness, looks like we got a nice mountain in the way. Coming left, coming right. Curious if we can actually deploy on the opposite side. We can. I much prefer... Oh, actually, no. I thought we could be on this crest right here, but it looks like it's right at the border, so maybe not. And that's going to be difficult to come down from here unless we're all bombardment. So maybe we'll actually play over here. Or we can come up this way. This is pretty nice. I would take this. A nice slope and we can actually come over that crest and play on the crest. That's going to be very handy. Yeah? Uh, the Valiance. It's a good harasser. If it has through armor damage, it would be good versus turrets. TAC. I saw a plus 50% TAC on something. I don't remember what it was, though. But we can definitely take a look. I'm very excited to find out. I'm just happy to have the help, yeah? So that Wasp... Oh, another 1P coming on in. Interesting. So we fought against that just a moment ago. Periphery Rifle is offline. That's excellent. Has Rocket 15, so still very dangerous. They have a standard Fire Starter. Oh, actually, FS1H. Never mind. That's different. Double Heavy Flamer. Bolt-on Eye Rocket. Well... <laughs> bolt on i rocket 40 times three dear god and then they got a mercury i know dead man splat loved the mercury it looks like a little baby hussar with webbed feet uh we've got a oh yep there's the 1h we've got the clint 2r medium rifle medium laser got a clint 2r same so medium rifle medium rifle are the only things that are active and available and then of course we're gonna have some turrets down there all right very interesting very interesting okay so we got amuel here he's got that light mortar got the battle armor rockets yeah. we've got raven bun pop yeah. bun kermisher bun wub wub and the centipede scout car so if we mouse over it it's a hundred percent critical hit chance with a weapon short range missiles fire a salvo can be used with artemis four or five no different ammunition type so 100 crit so let's go in and get that breach if possible we'll get raven to start climbing a little bit closer here and we'll hold a walking napalm barrel no kidding no kidding all right bun pop get higher get higher get higher once the armor's open it will crit oh excellent excellent then all right we're running right up the border deaths in the bun wub wub eight evasion mac uh we're <laughs> we're gonna i guess yeah, we're getting out of line of sight. <laughs> and then Amiel's going to run towards the trees. Actually, jump into the trees. There we go. <laughs> run for the hills. Run for your life. All right, Vergen. Thanks so much, man. Cheers. And I'm sorry about your headache. I hope it feels better. In other words, not really a farming weapon. Valiance are the finish him off SRMs. Yeah. We want to get in there and pop open a hole. And then send in the stuff right through. Oh, they got cyclones as well. Oof. Those can be rough to deal with. Hold. That wasp is available. And so is the mercury. Little, look like a small laser or something. Thanks for a stream. Hope all of you tomorrow. I might be late tomorrow because I'm playing D&D. Antonides, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest. I hope you have a great game tomorrow. And if we see you, it'll be a good time. Thanks so much. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, got our centipede car. We'll hold again. I don't want to lead with that. Did the wasp pull back over the ridge? Because if it did, that's awesome. It did. Okay, so we are able to completely focus on the single small laser Mercury. That's excellent. So I'm actually going to go all the way down to one. He does not have... I don't think he has much evasion, if any. Yep. So we'll go ahead and push that in. We want to be a little bit farther away just because of the LRMs. Coming around. 30. Sure. Got it. And we'll send what we got. Heck yes, Clanny R. Large. <laughs> that is not bad. 
chat. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks all for being the best chat. Oh, high five, Ench 90s. High five, man. You're so kind. Good to go. I hope you have a great rest. All right, bun pop. Let's get it on over. Hop on up. I all right, got that LRM 10 ER large. He's here. Little pings left and right there. He's got two armor left on the middle. Got the Bunkermisher. We'll actually close the distance. Very good chance to pop this guy. There's the Breach. All right, with that Breach, we're going to get Mac with the plus 100% chance to crit SRM 12. Oh. Oh. All right. Not bad, Valiant. Definitely very Valiant SRMs. We love it. Bun Wub Wub, let's go in and get on over to the baseline of the crest. And then we got Amiel. I don't think we can... We can't... We'll just tuck up to the very edge of the trees and hold. So the Wasp can definitely come on over. They don't actually have direct eyes on yet. On 16 Cyclone. I don't know if he can shoot right away. He does go indirect. So the Wasp's probably going to have to pop over. They got a flea. So there are some fleas. I don't know too much about the 17, but there are some fleas that have a bunch of pulses on it that I just drool over. I really, really like them. 13, 11. I like that they're utilizing their turns. They're not just full counter reserving, but we will completely go down to one. So we actually can get shots on a building from here already. Yep. Let's get you. Bun Pop. Yeah, Bun Pop can hop on up. I'm surprised we can call in these shots. What are our opportunities? 0.9. Yeah, so we'll just hold here. Clear the stability damage. Hold. You. So I think we can come on over now. We're going to come around to the backside. Here comes Dets in the Bun Wub Wub. Straight to the rear. We've got sight now. Bun Wasp. Cyclone. Shot. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Come on. Come on, bunnies. Come on, bunnies. Get on up. Chappy. Oh, all building strikes, right? I think they're all building strikes. We'll work the 170. There we go. Target confirmed. Oh, with it. Flea 17, Inner Sphere, MASC. Wow. I think they used to be a flea with a thumper. Oh, my God. <laughs> it run off to the darkness. You never see it again, but it keep popping. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Little by little. Jump. Oh, we can actually jump. I forgot with a raven. That's excellent. I keep calling it the raven, but I know it's the, you know. I know that it's actually a bushwhacker. All right, Centipede. We'll just climb a little bit. Oh, we can't. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Only go that way. Odd. Hey. I didn't have my cereal. No, no, not at all. You were on the charge. It makes perfect sense, man. Hang tight. We might have to move him up, but right now I'm just going to count that Amiel's just here to gank some experience. Oh my god. I do not like that. We got to get Dets out of there. Holy crap. That is not good. And of course, that's coming into the rear. He's got 15 armor. Any direct hit is going to suck. They pulled us in, bunnies. Oh, boy. Might have to use careful maneuvers to make the car climb up. I don't know if we... Yeah, we don't have side slip or anything like that yet. Thank you, Cunningham. Okay, I'm, I'm a little nervous now. Oh, Okay, I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> I thought it was a good play, but I forgot they're all lights too. So there ain't any double turning going on here. Oh, here comes the fleet. No shots. 12. We have to wait all the way till 5. Here comes the Clint. He's got the periphery rifle. Oh my god, that hit the dirt. Thinking I should do the oh hello. Oh, that's a good one, AC20. Well, they've got one more Clint with a periphery rifle. Come on. And they hit the Raven. They're hitting a lot for shooting something with eight evasion. Well, they've got... They probably have a lot better systems than we do. Well, the Raven is going to walk it up. Get hits on. We can definitely hit the 
turret, I would imagine. The light UAC turret. Let's hold. Coming down. Who's on five? Our guy's on five. Dets is on five. Let's pull Dets back. There we go. Thank God. And then we'll hold again. Brings us to two. Now we're reserved down to one. I think all of them have gone. Yeah. Sensors and fire control system. Yeah, they've, they've definitely probably more advanced than we are. And there's a lot more of them than there are of us. Let's pull it back into cover. We do have a line, I believe, on the... Oh, it's on the building. We might be able to hit... That's 11... 25. Let's just hit the building. Shot. Because we have to destroy five of them. Yeah. We can at least force them to come to us. And we were talking about the careful maneuvers here. If we want to go higher. So we'll try and get a little bit closer. And then maybe we can careful maneuver our way into the trees. Yeah, Got the Akinto. If we pop up too high... That might be a little dangerous. So we need to limit the direct lines of sight. This takes us to a building. This is on the Clint. There's the flea. Everyone can see us, but not the periphery rifles. So I think I'm okay taking this risk. I think these are mostly buildings. I don't think they're turrets. That's the turret. So we can try to hit the cyclone, but that's not looking very good. So was it worth it to come up here? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try to hit him anyway. Firing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, HB shooting at pollen and dust in the air. It's true. It's true. I am. Awaiting orders. If it doesn't say night vision, we can't see anything. Yeah. Bun Kermisher. See, this is why I can't wait till we get that flea. It comes with it. Yeah. On my way. Firing on target. Oof. The moment when the enemy is running in front of two plasma hits is usually on the mech and immediately runs away again in panic. No, that's too hot for me. It's mostly eyeball 1.0 for us with a sense of gear. Yes, it could be better. It could be better. If we had more information, it would be kind of cool if we could determine whether or not we're going to be fighting in the nighttime or if we're going to be fighting in the daytime just for knowledge sake. Because as far as I'm aware, I kind of go in and then I find out. So it's like something that you'll want to have in your back pocket if you got it but you can't really make a decision prior you just gotta go i would like to have some splash though like mortars would be awesome then at least their ams can't really deal with it and on 10 i do like the fact that all of these guys are indirect so not many people can actually shoot at the griffin which is excellent and since the Cyclone did not move very much, we should be able to get a shot on relatively reliably, right? So if we just walk it, that's 12. Uh, actually, no. Interesting. Even if I came in closer, just walked in in 16.9. Even if I got into cover, 14. So it's, it's really not that good. Indirect, 4%. So pretty, pretty bad. If we came in right in front of it, it's 12. So maybe we'll wait again, yeah? So you bring paintballs for day and tracers for night. Paintballs, that's the way. The fire truck had some fluid guns, yeah. All right, what do we got? Amul is just going to creep on up. Mac is going to creep forward. We're going to use careful maneuvers and pattern up into the edge here. Uh, we got deaths in the bun wub wub. We've got our raven bun. Cyclone. Well, we, we're the only ones with night vision. We should probably be getting sight for our allies. 28. Shot with the UAC-2. Nice. You can also equip searchlights, but the unit with the light usually doesn't... <laughs> I can see that. Oh my god, that's shot to the butt. If only we could see, that would be glorious. If we hop, it's going to be 5. We're going to do it, but obviously we take some stability damage. Eight. 16 to the wasp. Sure. That's looking good. Actually hit somebody. Flares would be handy. Yeah. Like white phosphorus or something. 
0.9.9. Yeah, that's not looking good. Run it over. Copy that. 12. If memory serves, the lights die at the slightest damage to the mech. Mortars do that too. I'm here. Mortar flare. That, that I think I've actually seen. Although I haven't used it much, but I can imagine it'll be super, super helpful early on. See, we tried this. I'm a little bit scared to do it now. If I come on up over here, maybe we're going to be more okay. Oh my gosh, we're hot in the cold. That's terrifying. All right, we'll send this. Oh, I can't even send one. Wow, that's not good. I mean, I'll send the one instead of both. Did we get hit with something? Set the world on fire. <laughs> that's one way to do it for sure. You may have been infernoed. Yeah, I probably didn't notice you. Bun pop. Well, we might be close enough if they want to push up to actually kick them one. And that'll be excellent. Because this is actually very difficult to get any hits at all, even if we're right next to him. The flea. I'm seeing flamers in there, but I'm seeing a lot of energy hard points. I'm curious if they're like built in or something. Yeah, incendiary rockets. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that already. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Arm at 35. So this one is not nearly as efficient cost-wise. And it's funny because it's a half skull green, right? All right, what do we got? Chappy. We could get in, go for the connect, 57. But obviously then we're going to be out in the open. Right now we're, we'll go all the way down to one. That's coming from the UAC too. Pretty gnarly. Can you do light mech punting with your mediums? Yes, absolutely. And that is the plan. Bun pop. Currently, we got the Cyclone. We've got the Wasp, which is already damaged. And we're actually facing the correct weight. We'll go in on the kick 47%. Hope for the best. And we whiff it, unfortunately. We've got a small chance of hitting him with a laser. A little bit of a tickle there. Uh, we got Chappy, who can definitely get on over you. To be fair, it'll be a lot different. You can see in the dark. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're, we're definitely not at our best here to the clint with a periphery rifle i'm just trying to think because at least we'll be in the forest if we hit the clint here so i'm gonna try and hit the clint instead of the flea even though i want to hit the flea hey welcome back death oh my gosh <laughs> we whiff it on the 70 percent and guns at least we've got a decent chance of hitting here Chocolate racing. Ooh, that's awesome. Yep. Raven bun. We may just need to, I don't know, like jump and brace or something. There we go. We'll go here and then brace because we need to clear that stability damage. We got debts in the bun. Whoop, whoop. If we go hard, we can't actually get somewhere where we're behind the enemy. And we'll be just exposing ourselves to more turrets. So let's hold here. Amul is, <laughs> Amul is just crawling one at a time. Mac can still not move here. So he's got a careful maneuver again. So not the best for him. And that leaves deaths. So I wish I had ace pilot. I'd be able to get the shot on the flea and then relocate. But we are kind of hot. So we'll get on down and then just hold on the turn. It basically isolates the bunker mature out in the open to everybody yeah keep your eye out for a mantis VTOL four or five er smalls and an arc will change your life no kidding i got taco bell flavored sun oh, what now did you make those yourself or do they sell those that's crazy superior oh boy i found a solution to a light for the light problem fire off a dire star it go <laughs> it would melt down and definitely cause a bonfire wherever it stood that's for sure, Panzer. Clint Periphery. Hang tight. And then we're on 14. Here's the fire starter with all the burning. 
not nice on the bunkermisher. Decreased target cooling times 30. Store, but wow, that's crazy. So it is that guy. He gets one more set of that stuff. Oh my God. He blew off the arm, but for the bun pop, it's not actually in the arm there. That's okay. We just need to actually connect with the kicks and things. I think this guy only has the rifle. Okay, so here's the chappy. We got our centipede car that can move on its own a little bit. Finally. Hold. We're climbing. And I really want to kick. The only way we're going to get out of here is to jump. Even though it generates heat. And then we're just going to brace right here. Uh, we got HP. Got a line on the turret. If we walk it up, we'll have better accuracy. And, oh boy. Just the missiles. This is not going well. We're fighting in ice, but Firestarter was shut down. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. And then we got the bun pop. Okay, so let's see if we can actually connect with these guys reliably. 60%. We're in the fire right now. It is on the damage side. We can turn off the LRMs. Turn off the ER large. Just the LRMs then. We're going in with a kick. That's all we got. Please. There it is. Oh my gosh. We finally hit someone with this. And very close range LRMs. So that's a knockdown. Fancy then. We will take it. I'll take anything right now. And then we got the bun wub wub. Can we actually shoot our two medium pulses? That's 20. Flee here. This is his front, right? Yeah, that's his front. He's got a breach on the left. If we can get the light blue, just kind of creep up here. We're going. And we actually can shoot both now. Did not hit the breach. And the tick. Oh boy, it's going to be a lot of turns before we can do anything. And he's going in on the bunk Kermisher. I think that's going to be the last set of I rockets that he's got. He's completely depleted. He had double heavy flamers. He had double I rockets times 30. Well, I rocket 20 times 3, sorry. Oh, <laughs> maybe Amul's in danger, but we actually got him more armor because he barely had any weapons. So he's kind of serving as another target right now. Oh, that <laughs> they're pushing bunnies. That's actually not a horrible thing because it means we can actually shoot with the SRMs if we survive. Cyclone. Oh, that's to the back. That cyclone is dangerous. And he went into the fire for it. Fortunately, we have a decent number of jump jets, so we should be able to get our frontal armor towards the enemy again. Oh, boy. That is the pulse flea. I like that flea. That's gonna have pulses. Oh my gosh, that's a good flea. All right, what do we got? So we're on eight. Bring it down. That's on seven. Wasp's back on up. He's got a agricultural medium laser. That's about it. He already shot off all the rockets. Ping and he whiffs it. Thank God. Yeah, he's got double medium pulse and two small lasers and a flamer on a flea. <laughs> I'm so jealous. That is so good. Can we get in on a kick? That's a charge, so let's not do that. Yeah, an agricultural laser. Not the best. Not the best. Copy that. All right, we got our Clint at 43. 63 with a fire starter with a heavy flamer. We've got the light Yoak turret. That's offline. We got the Clint right here on 37. So if we're shooting, that's 37% on the fire starter. I mean, that's going to be a sizable chunk. We'll send it. All weapons fire. We hit the arm. Minus accuracy. Yeah, no, it's it's not Commander. super great. It's not super great, for sure. Can we kick these guys? That's the Clint. That's the fire starter. And here is the Clint. I mean, we can walk it back. We're not going to have much evasion. We'll go to 
pull back farther. We're going to be too hot to fire, I think. We can get some pulses in. 24, 21. We'll come in on the closest. Little ping to the leg and a breach. And we've just shut down. We pushed it a little too far. Not good, not good. 19. This is for Amiel. This guy's got a breach. Hopefully, Amiel can save us. Battle armor rockets. <laughs> not good at all. Popcorn. That makes sense. Okay, bun pop. We've got the green on the cyclone, but... God, he's brawling with a... With this is weird. What about the flea? Can I kick the flea safely? Well, safe is all relative. That's 40%. 72 on the wasp. 34 on the cyclone. We'll take the wasp, I guess. If we can just drop something, that'll be awesome. Here we go. There it is. And the wasp is... We actually dropped the target. Wow. This is going to be a bit of a grind here. And we've gone two. So Bun Wub Wub and the Centipede. Well, the Centipede is going to be excellent for this. We don't have a too many weight. We're going to be pulling closer to the mechs, which I don't like. We This does take us farther away. So I think I might do this. 42. 48. 42. 42 if we walk it. Or we'll not really walk. 48. We're doing it. Here we go. He's got openings. We need crits. We did not get it. His foot was destroyed, though. Oh, my gosh. That means that our Bun Kermisher is in serious trouble. Well, we've got dead. He's on the move. He'll get the seven in on the damage side and send it. Not enough. <laughs> We're in trouble, bunnies. We're in trouble. Who's in that? That's Chappie. Oh, Chappie again. Man, Chappie's been unlucky. Well, fortunately, he went back over the crest with the Clint. He didn't come down to kill. But the fire starter is available. He does have a heavy flamer still. We are suffering pretty heavily from cooling issues at the moment because of him. It's a bunch of pulses to the backside of the Bun Pop. We have 10 armor left. There's the heavy flamer. And then we're on 11. Okay, so what do we got? That's Annie or Amiel. We'll get the shot on. Ooh, that's... I don't know if the splash is going to be enough. Suck up. Get the line. Eight. Eight. Six. Six percent. Six percent. Giant miniature space hamsters. That's sounding quite a lot like Minsk. You got Boo out there. Oh, that's bad. Wow, I'm surprised something didn't just go off there because that was... He basically had multiple strikes to the open backside. That's terrifying. Uh, we can probably get in on the kick. This will bring us over to the opposite side. It will get over here. We'll go in with a kick 52. It's going to be 27 from this side. This is going to be 52. We're going to take the kick. Here we go. Hope for the best. On the Clint. Oh, gosh. Honey, I set the whole garden on fire. How did you manage that again? I was weeding the garden with the laser. <laughs> hey, if it allows you to burn out the bad plants and weeds, I mean, that's that's a way to go, yeah? He get... All right, got Mac. Well, let's see. It's his other side. I don't think we can get to the other side. So hang tight first. Now, Bun Wub Wub, we know that Death can. Coming around and shots. Very nice, very nice. There it is, beautiful. And he's bleeding out. Fantastic. All right, get Chappie back up. Akin to. I mean, we might have to just. We're, we just got to relocate immediately. Vigilance. Arm up. 4%, 19 to the fleet. 
And we actually connect. Surprising. We can kind of come around. We kind of have the shots, but we're going to revealing our butt to the enemy. But right now, this might be enough to put him down. And it looks like his periphery rifle is at least damaged. Medium rifle crit. All right, we'll see you in a little bit, Chappie. The flea 17 is too accurate to let live much longer. Well, he's coming around the backside, so he's going to have to really, really push. Fortunately, the jump jets allowed us to kind of turn our frontal armor to him. Let's go in and reposition like so. That way he has to come over the crest if he wants to engage. And then we'll engage from here on the rear. Oh, I'm surprised he stayed in. Yeah, have to go. Surf, thanks so much for hanging out. Hope you have a great one. And we are streaming BTA tomorrow if you want to join, if you're interested. We'll catch you on the next one then. Yeah. All right, got Raven. Can definitely get in on the kick. It's going to bring us to the backside on the kick. Actually, for the first time, a green chance. That's 80 plus percent. There we go. Clear out the leg. He's falling for sure. And we got the guns to the okay. back on the opening. Still not a guarantee. There's the fall. Panic level critical. There. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So that was not so great for us because he just stack pulled right on top of us. Wow, I did not take that into account. <laughs> God. I'm watching MechWarrior 5 right now. We have now teased the DLC on Steam. Oh, that's awesome. See, told ya. <laughs> Well, that's problematic. And then they came over after the stack pole. You really can't miss that, even if you're on the other side of the berm. Cyclone. That thing's pretty dangerous, too. Oh, my God. That's fine. Well, we still have fight left. So, Bunk Kermisher, we just got to get out and clear that. And then we will just brace. There we go. Uh, we got dead in the bun wub wub. Does he have any breaches? No breaches here, but we need the speed. So we're going to hop out into cover and brace. Uh, got Amiel. Suck up. And we're going for the shot. Too hot to fire. Yeah, seriously. And our V is in trouble too. We'll get that seven and we'll just hit him with anything. It'll help. It's down to 25 armor. Curious. So we're on nine before we can power up. Yeah. Uh, let's just walk. We're not going to actually try and jump or anything. 2448 shot to Clint. Taking the HB's burning. <laughs> I'm literally melting here. The V took massive damage from the stack pulling. Yeah, I think we all... That was just not good for us, period. Oh, boy. HB's half gone. He went into the fire and shot a periphery rifle, like, point blank. Wow! They sensed the kill. Oh, my God. And they're all going over. Everyone's going over. That is not good. You mean the fusion explosion was not good? All right, bun pop. Well, see, listen, we've got the cyclone here. We've got the flea. We could hit the flea while they're distracted with almost the certain doom of HB. So we got the cyclone 47. And we... Apparently, we can't actually hit the flea because maybe we don't see him directly. So it's possible that's not even an option. Uh, close. I guess we can hop out and engage from back here. Might be a little safer for us, I suppose. And we got... That's point nine. Flea point nine. Clint is 1927 on the fire starter. UAC turret, which can still hit us. All right, we're going to turn off the LRMs. And we're actually going to shoot at the Clint, if possible. There we go. Aye, aye. And with. Okay. So I think 
I don't know if anyone else is on nine. I'm going to reserve and try and power back up. Maybe, but we might shut down immediately. Okay, we're in theory back online. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I trust that, but in theory we are. Get it on back. 21. I mean, all of this might hit HP as well, so that's something to keep in mind. Hold. Got it. We got deaths. We do have the wub wub. 16, 18, 7. I guess we can hop up. 13, 11. That's just, just not a good situation, period. Tell you what, we're going to go down instead and try and go around. But too hot. Work the Clint. Actually connected twice. That's not bad. That's actually very impressive. Amiel's in danger too because he's out in the open. So we're going to go indirect. 4%. But yeah. Okay, Mac. On the Clint. 21. Hopefully we don't hit HP. Like threading a needle. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh boy, so at least we can go on 12. That's a little better, but they're just going to keep the burn on and we're on threshold again. I, I yes, All right, Chappie. We walk it in. We got a chance to try and head this off before it gets nasty. -er. We actually have a breach here. That's fantastic. And he's on 11, so not this turn. Please coming over the berm. He's going to go into the bun pop. Oh, my God. And he's got the flamer, too. But we might be able to get the kick on him. HB is finally able to move again. But we really can't go very far. That takes us through the fire. This takes us into the black. I mean, at this point... I mean, melee. Are we able to melee this guy? That's 34, 60% straight in. Let's just go for the melee and hope for the best. Here we go. Snap kick to the Clint. And it sounds like we missed. Unsteady. So the Clint opened up there in the middle. He does get to go, unfortunately. in through the fire shot on bun pomp man smart smart place all right so what do we got we got deaths we got mac that guy is covered with breaches uh we do have the cyclone here so we might be able to head some of that off that's two percent it's not looking good so let's go ahead and try and get a hit on the opening of the clint before we go up and smoke that's six point blank 12 there we go okay so the clint is down at least we've got six evasion that's something but the cyclone does have the high ground coming over to the side that's that's okay that's okay My armor's melting off. this is so costly <laughs> so we know that the arm is busted on the left side of the fire starter we can go wide. I don't know if we can actually... Oh, we can shoot with both. Oh, we tagged the leg just a little bit. And then we got akin to... So we can get in on a punch 47. That's going to turn our back to the enemy, which is at this point, we got a big breach there. If we come in from this side, that's 54. That's going to be our left side, which actually has an arm, but the cyclones on that side... So that's just not looking like very good options, period. So maybe we don't want to do that, but we can definitely pull back just to try and safeguard ourselves. And then we'll come in with LRMs just at the fire starter. Got a little hit on the exposed arm. And then we got Amiel, direct line. 
and 27. And actually lands it. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Somehow we're barely scraping by right now. Flea's pushing it. Very smart. Very, very smart. That is a nasty flea. I love that flea though. I love it and I hate it all at the same time. There he is. That's 10. Here we go. And we'll just shoot and hope to hit him. Hit him a little bit. I'll take it. That's awesome. Any hit on that guy is great. And the flamers back off the hill. That is like the first breather that we get. That is excellent. And let's go in and hold. That was quite a push from the enemy. Utilizing the crest. Getting on over, popping over, popping back. That's how we should play. But they definitely have much better either equipment, pilots, just better accuracy and consistency. And that's that's really grinding everything down to a halt. So uh, let's see if we can't pull farther and farther away from the crest so that they have to commit more and more in order to keep their momentum. Because right now they have a somewhat semi-isolated little flea right here at 24 between 12 shots some of these should connect and they really have very little armor we're exposing that structure we finally have the first breach and we're gonna go ahead and try and converge on the very corner of the map we got the akin to which can now retaliate rel more safely than it could before there's the kick 34 34.5 is pretty poor but we're gonna try And we whiff it. Understood. 19%. Not any better or worse than what we had before. And we actually connect and pop off a torso. That is huge for us. The pilot flea is bleeding out right now. We've got deaths on the follow-up. Getting on in. Here we go. This is our mom moment. 11. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. That's going to push that pilot to the limit. We got Mac. Definitely openings right now. We're getting closer. We've got 12. Send everything. He's got 18 in the middle. Just the ability to see. There is that too. HB, HB, HB. Coming around, coming around. How's our chance? 11's pretty poor. If we do that, we got we to gotta stay back here. Just the LRMs. I'm taking the shot. Oh, and the leg is out. Got past the armor. Down he goes. And he's out. Beautiful. The flea is off of the field. That means they no longer, at least on this turn, we have a moment where the enemy does not have direct sight on us. That is huge to have that momentary breather. We got Amiel. He's just going to kind of keep shifting to the left to potentially bring himself into a line of sight break okay that's okay it's okay reserve all the way down akin to we'll just walk back race here we go now we got shots on i mean we can try and hit that turret 11 Easier to the building, 30%. 25. I know we can also hit the Cyclone in theory, and that guy moves, right? 0.9, yeah, no. To the turret. Little by little, just grind it down. Half skull green. All right, fire starter. I mean, he's basically out of munitions for the most part. So we're going all the way down to one. That means a Cyclone can go. The UAC-2 can shoot if it's got firing solution oh <laughs> that is rough that is rough 65 out of 320 armor on that valiant cruiser we got the line come on up there we go and shot actually connect on the leg beautiful Awaiting orders. i'm so glad we have some jump jets right now shot actually connecting <laughs> god bless and bun wub wub shot Oof. <laughs> lrm ammo yeah i mean 
pretty much it's just we got to remove the people who can control the engagement and right now it's it's their mechs yeah 14 i mean our srms are are almost out yeah uh amul hold Good to go. is that enough for four i don't think so but can we get out of here not really If we shoot from here, it's 16. For an and we're out. We're tapped out. But if we go back and five, then we're not going to be in the in cover at all. That cyclone's pushing for the carry. Yep. Yep. We actually have a breach. One structure left. We've got one structure left for Mac. Aye, aye. All right. This is <laughs> Does Amul have a firing solution? Amul has... I think so. Okay, let's go. Point nine. We got HB. We're climbing. Nine percent. Thirteen percent. I don't want to miss this and hit Max, so I'm going in with the LRMs instead. Okay. I'm on it. Oh boy. And now we're dry. But we still have the other ammunition types, but we're out of the standard. Bun wub wub. At least we can come around. That's 34. 34. We'll just walk it around to the backside. That's 0.9. Oh my gosh. That's so bad. All right. All the way down. Who else can go? Bun pop. Kick on 34. 28. Sure let's go he must be rubbing his bunny feet no seriously so hard to hit him wow 14 percent i mean he's just standing there she's louise i wish i had that kind of dodge time to start loading forks yeah just <laughs> 21 percent oh my god coming around four percent did he like eat all of his dodgy weedies today that's a dfa all right let's take whatever chances we got 21 32 i'll take it go in for a kick 32 percent chance we whiff it we'll give him hopefully we don't kill each other with our guns she's louise It's like those agility ninja tank builds in uh, like Final Fantasy or something. Point nine. Mac is, well, Mac is Mac. We're going to give him the butt. Hold. Oh my God. <laughs> we can't even, we don't even have the option to, okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, Sure. Five percent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we haven't even touched him. That's fine. That's fine. All right. All right. God, he does get to go. He's probably going to slip right by us and shoot Mac in the butt. All right. Firestarter came over. He's torching us. How's the leg? 64. 11% here. If we pull it back, we've got actually a chance to hit that. Roger. I like how we're going to shoot surface to air munitions at the fire starter. All right, so now the cyclone's up and it has the opportunity. It is pushing forward. It is getting the shot. Or he almost died. He's got one structure. I just want to point that out. <laughs> That guy is a dick. All right, keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on, bunnies. Keep it on. Keep it on. Hang tight. Hang tight. We got four. Chappy. Come on. Just kick that guy. 36%. It doesn't matter. Just get in front of him. 38% if we do the loop-de-loo. -loop. Coming around. We miss again. Guns. He's like the Terminator. 
All right, we got a breach. We got a, we got a breach. That's what we're talking about. All right, Akinto, 40%. What about on here? 40, 40 from the side. Sure, sure. Come on, 40%, 40%. All right, we actually hit them. All right, single laser. He's unsteady, zero evasion, zero evasion. That means the Bun Wub Wub should have a small chance of maybe hitting him. We just got to get in. Just got to do it. 82.6. Oh, that's excellent. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he lands it. And guns, guns, guns. He's still active. All right, centipede. Oh my God. How are we going to... We have to careful maneuver to get out. I don't want to move closer to the fire starter. Okay, let's start with Amiel. Amiel's got a chance. 20, 24. Sure. At this point. Can he eject? Shot. 4%. Oh my god, I hit. <laughs> I'm taking a heavy hit, Commander. Mac, he can. I hope eject. I've seen it before. We They can't eject and it uses up your turn. Oh, he's out. Okay, beautiful. He did eject. So he will get to go before us. There's a cyclone. Ooh. Golly. We can get in on this guy. 40, 66. Snap kick in the fire. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh man. Oh boy. All right, Chappie to the Cyclone. 51% from the rear. Come on, 51%. That's over half. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, that guy is so hard to hit. Wow. Well, at least we can focus on the fire starter who has just a bunch of burning right now. All right, Amiel. 14. They did a very good job at getting us to hurt ourselves. All right, bun wub wub. Get on in. Shot. Thank goodness. We are dinging our raven a little bit. Akin to. 29. And we've got 35. We'll go LRMs instead. There it goes. I killed the mini catapult. Hey, we might be able to get some of that. That'll be nice. We gotta pull back. And send it. Oh, man. So he's on 14. So he's gonna go get to go right away. So... 67. I mean, that's very, very nice. But... That's 48. Get on up a little bit clearer. I mean, walking it through is going to be the best chance to hit. Moving to position. So we're going to take it. We might hit our allies. But that's like the best shot we're going to get this entire fight. Yeah. Half skull. It'll be a walk. In, I mean, I never said it'd be a walk in the park. <laughs> but it is true. It is a half skull green. All right. Amiel. 35. I mean, already looking a little better because we're going to be able to come on the side from where his breach is. 55%. That's probably the best chance we've had. And we land a connect. That's beautiful. We've got the shots. Do not even move. There we go. Landing. Landing hits. I like landing hits of any kind at this point. We're just going to walk. We're not even going to... You know, try to do anything fancy or sprint. There we go. There we go. There we go. And finally, the last of the heavy flamers is out. That might make it better. That might get, might make him more dangerous. Because he might find that he wants to go full berserk and not actually care about his life or anything like that. So let's pull back a little bit. And we'll send what we got. 
And we actually land with a clan ER large. It's been a while. Yep, yep, yep. And he whiffs it. There we go. He went for the bun wub wub and did not connect. For the first time, he turned off the aimbot. That's awesome. And we are in to retaliate in with a swing from Chappie. Not they, Darius. Oh. <laughs> and we actually land something. That's awesome. All right, hang tight. Akinto. Shot. Oh my gosh, we're hitting. We're hitting. He's not moving. He's just standing. This is excellent. Kick. We blew off a leg, I think. There it is. And guns. And out he goes. Oh my gosh. Wow. We need to take an entire turn at a minimum just to recover. And then we'll slowly peek over the corner and start shelling the turret. <laughs> my God. That was horrific. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hold for a second here and just take a moment, brace, get a firing line going. Wow. Hold. We'll limp up to the edge here. Get on up to the edge. Oh my gosh, that was rough. All the way down to one. So last remaining one is going to be a turret way far away it hasn't really fired at us yet so we'll just brace here use amiel to force them so we're going to reserve down to one that's that same one we'll start with amiel we'll brace try and get them to kind of commit come on in we got the shots and send it there's no park in rogue tech park Night missions without NVG suck so bad. If there's a way to tell if we're going to go into a night vision map, is there? That we know of? Firing. Wow. That was... That was... That could have been better. That could have been better. Affirmative. And send it. Engaging target. We actually hit him. Gotta love it. Standing by. Fun wub wub. We'll actually get really, really close to the buildings and start working the buildings, yeah? In the engineering middle row, all the way to the right. Oh, are you talking about the increased information for... I think it's like the MR... There's like the MRB thing there. That's also where you upgrade the super heavy contracts and stuff. Oh, walk in the park. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, Raven Bun. And work it. There we go. Down to six. We're, we're going to drop a building. This is awesome. All right, Chappy. Sean. Uh, below the MRB board thing, there's two upgrades. Probably the second, a more expensive one. No. <laughs> that is such a good description. It's so funny because it's like a love hate thing. You know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, those guys, but God, they. I understand why, right? All right, here we go. Let's go to land what we got. And we drop a building. There it is. I'm half asleep when I understood it. Our bunny man is under a lot of stress. Understood what? All right, and hold. Chappy. And to the turret. 24. If we get too close actually going to be able to shoot us so i don't know if i want to push past that oh well okay <laughs> i don't know what to say to that raven bun and shot beautiful five yep so we are a little too close we can stay with our er anything at this point and we'll just hold Ooh. Okay. I got an armor oh, what's up, so, Akintu. 
I guess we can step up here. Nice thing is we do have the ER large. We do have LRMs. Perfect for this. We'll just keep pinging away. It's at 105 and he goes down to... <laughs> we took off five armor. Okay, that, that's fair. We can at least see what this is. I don't think this turret can engage from here. Light laser turret. I mean, this should be pretty nice. Pulse is on target. There it is. Beautiful. So we got another one down. That's great. And HB. I want to work that one. That's not bad. And then we got four left. So Chappy, Chappy's a little bit close. How much is left on this? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to reliably drop it in one go. So we'll just back it up. On the move. And we'll just work what's in front of us. Down a 15. Amul, hold. Oh, we got debts. I mean, he can start skirting around. I don't think the turrets can see him from here. At least I hope they can't. Oh, they tried to shoot, but they hit their building instead. <laughs> what is on that thing? Periphery rifle. All right bun pop from downtown that's looking a little bit better you'd be amazed how often we can miss buildings with mortars over <laughs> by. this is where actually having the the arty would be helpful with a increased aoe And shot. There we go. So we're down to... We need three more now. Three more. I saw that and I kind of thought, is, does it really only have 60 structure? That's impressive. Coming on up. And we got that long range. Very nice. Actually able to connect more reliably. Hold. I like the reliable. All right. Bun wub wub. Coming around on the rifle shot Ooh. i guess we're not out of range of the chem lasers so since he shot i mean we might as well get a better angle and send it Full sprint. Confirmed. We actually have a line and shot. Long range missiles are out. Our enemy yeah. Kintu. And shot. We got. Chappy. We'll go. There we go. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Go to critical hit. Standing by. So we're gonna pull it back. We have a shot, so we'll give the right. Actually, we can probably vigilance and then take the shot. That'd probably be better. There we go. So probably one more turn of it, then we'll hold. That's on the... Oh, got a breach on the left. <laughs> internal damage. And the rifle whiffs. Thank God. I think we should be able to take out the turrets on this turn. I don't want to hit that. We're in the middle of the smoke shot. There we go. Okay, so... Chem lasers are off. Just the periphery rifle turret. We got dead. He has enough. He can take a shot from here. He can get in a little closer. Yeah, no, it's becoming expensive. That's for sure. But I mean, do we just back off and withdraw? That wouldn't make any sense. And close in. Shot. 
Hold. Tower. So we got two more for the base and the turret. That guy's on three. So that's going to allow... Let's see, Deaths is... Oh, Deaths is on two. Okay. Let's walk it up. On the move. And we want to go for right there. Oh my gosh, there we go. All turrets down. At least we get a little bit of a sea build bonus for the contract and we're just we just need to finish two buildings that's it 124 hold thank god <laughs> we'll see if we can maybe get something that's worthwhile out of it i would hope so we're at 62 we got dead you can shoot just about anything from here Maybe we should stick to energy as much as possible just to reduce the costs even farther. So we'll turn off the LRMs, turn off the machine guns, just go with the Clan ER large. Deaths. 67. Yeah, me too. I mean, they had, they seem to have a lot of nice stuff, but I'm obviously it matters on what we've destroyed and what we haven't. Like that cyclone alone, whatever it had on it, <laughs> may turned it into a god of the battlefield. I mean, at the very least, I would assume maybe we can get a fire control system out of it. That would be great, right? Because as we run into this, we kind of get an idea of, well, we never want to face off against that again, right? So we need night vision for everybody. So it's like one obstacle, then the next one, then the next one. And hopefully we get to a point where we are able to navigate the obstacle a little bit better than we did last time, right? There we go. Okay, beautiful. So we got a win. Did we suffer a pilot loss? I hope not. I don't think so. Bunnies, the area has been cleared. Dars, give me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. All right, we got a win. We got a win. It was a costly win, but it is a win. And I will take that for sure. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Cross your fingers. I don't think so. We did punch out. Obviously, we won the engagement, so I'm hoping that means that no one's going to take any of our pilots or yeah. You need more gear for like... Oh, yes. No, absolutely. We need a lot of things. I would like battle computers. I would like to have neural implants. Okay, I have a DNI interface. I'd like to have better heat sinks. I'd like to have a heat sink kit. I mean, mostly I'd like to have advanced optics. It'd be really nice to also have, I mean, better the gunnery fire control systems having night vision i'd like to have guardian ecm i'd like to have an active probe ping i'd like to have a lot of stuff hopefully we'll get it there might be something on the table you never know you know let's go ahead and bring it on over and we'll see what we got so i don't really want to look at this screen too much <laughs> that's that's really bad fortunately it was only hb that was injured from shutting down in the middle of the stack pole so i'm think that's pretty good considering the circumstances and let's see if we can get something that might help us out, yeah? So we got our Clint, the beautiful Flea 17. Dear God, that thing was amazing. Uh, interesting fire control system primitive. Double heat sinks, primitive sensors, and cockpits. Interesting. I think those are the, all the periphery rifle stuff. They got the fire starter, the wasp, the cyclone, and the steel. Nice. So, gosh, I don't know what these have in it. So the cyclone looked incredible. Sold as a scout mech. A1 features a Guardian ECM, a Beagle Active Probe, and it has long fire 5 LRM 5s and a pair of Magnum Mark II medium lasers. We got the FS1H, so a lot of burn, eye rockets, we know that. And then that flea had all those pulses, right? And I don't remember, if we look in storage right now, we do not have a flea part. We do have a fire starter part, so there is that. So we could break these apart. Uh, mouse over the picture. Click on the picture. We'll show what's in each. Pay attention to me, streamer. I mean, you can also say HB. That's probably preferable. But <laughs> click the picture or it gets the hose. What does that even mean? I'm mousing over them. Are you talking about these right here? Okay, okay. 
Well, thank you. I'm glad you're teaching me something, but two stone. Okay, well, I'm going to have to ask that you do that. Otherwise, I will eject you. I'd like never do that to anybody. So I'm just asking nicely. So there you go. But thank you. Honestly, thank you for teaching me, though, because this is good. This is good to know. Oh, it's a silence of the lambs. I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> go, go figure. You court martial. Oh, my. So medium laser, LRM5, LRM5, Beagle Probe. So nice stuff for sure. And I didn't know about this feature. Thank you again for sharing. Ubiquitous. Oh, this is an industrial structure on the fire starter. Very interesting. Heavy flamer. We knew about the I-Rockets times three. Okay. Uh, we got our Wasp here. That's the one with the agricultural laser. Okay. And a steel mercury. And those are all the ones with the the full mechs, right? Then we can actually look at it. Otherwise, it's the parts. Okay, that makes sense. I think I get that. So we got our old small cores. Not really going to grab it. Double heat sinks. I mean, honestly, we have enough double heat sinks. We don't have enough kits. I think out of all of it, I'd rather have the cyclone. So I'm going to grab the cyclone. I'm going to grab the end of steel. We'll just kind of start there. We already have one MASC. That's like an engine core 120 down there. Small lasers, flamer, flea. Grab the flea part, both of them, and I guess the medium pulse would be nice. The cores we could sell, but we might luck into them, so that might not be too bad. Yeah, is MASC good money? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Oh, 1.2 mil. So, yes, potentially. This is 60,000 worth of the medium pulse laser. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't even think about that. We might sell that, in fact. That's awesome. That's a great observation. Yeah. Uh, who did? Movie is a much watch. Yeah, no, there's a lot of movies that Bunny Man hasn't seen, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Well, let's try our luck. Three. Oh, I guess I'll break down the other ones too, right? So let's disassemble, disassemble the other ones. Just take a quick gander before we go. Small lasers. Standard fire control system, industrial structure. That's fine. Three, two, and one. Okay, so we got. Oh! Apparently, we lost our centipede scout car. Because <laughs> we got it back. We got a piece of it back. I mean, that's fine. Cyclone, two parts of the flea, mercury part, wasp. We got one of those nasty eye rocket 20s. That's awesome. We'll take the, uh, we'll clear the armor. And a steel, nice MASC. I'm going to sell this. I know it says it's worth 1.2 mil, but 180,000. That's a lot for us right now. Definitely going to take that. We don't have any periphery rifles. That's going to be increased upkeep. And we'll go in like this. Was that worth it? I don't know. But we got some new stuff. That's kind of cool. One of the nice things is hopefully once we put that cyclone together, we'll see how much of it has actually survived the engagement and maybe we can walk out with something that might help us out a little bit that's kind of my hope and we still have that other am masc that we can sell it seems like it sells for about 180,000. that would be very helpful that's basically a full month of upkeep uh between the two that we sell right there and the nice thing is if we're able to do that i mean we can't really utilize it very effectively at the moment so i'm kind of hoping that that's gonna put us in a better position yeah bolt-on stuff is free firepower for very good point very very good point and we don't really have any sort of way of projecting heat or uh kind of damaging the enemy's capabilities of managing their own heat so it's kind of nice to have that in the toolbox yeah this thing really lives up to its name it's pretty quick surprisingly hard to stop for its size the tech specs claims it tops out around 118 kilometers per hour and when you combine that with the ECM suite, you can quickly get into and out of trouble. And I totally forgot, well, the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss. That is a no. So I'm very happy about that. Congratulations to those who had the faith. Centipede scout car has been destroyed. Unfortunately, we don't have it anymore. We have a lot of repairs. 43 days worth. That's insane. So we're going to say no because we want to kind of micromanage that just a little bit so that we can minimize the downtime. Let's go over to the storage. Uh, we had the Mockingbird. I'm thinking we need to keep our upkeep is climbing just a little bit. We'll get the Wasp. Uh, we'll dump out that part. The Mercury will dump out that part. 
uh the fleet i really like that fleet so gonna hang on to it and just hope for the best the centipede we'll go in and clear that part we have the spider in the back uh the fire starter that's that periphery one we had i think i'm gonna this might be compatible it's compatible with what else with owned variants the one h that's about it interesting okay i i don't know if i'll hold on to that is that worth it yeah uh repairs i call it rebuilds yes you might have to rescue this scout driver oh really uh i don't think so yeah everyone's out but nope he's still here so got really lucky on that one then let's go over to the mech bay and let's try and suss this out what do we got okay so this is the cyclone so i'm curious what survived on this this is the one that we just picked up not much but we do have a beagle active probe uh there's a standard lrm5 looks like all basic stuff here i don't think there's any it might not be worth it to keep the cyclone because all the fancy stuff is like right here and it's pretty much gone but we can definitely scrap it and it's great to have that beagle active probe that's awesome so we can scrap that one on the cyclone i think it's here right Sixty thousand. yes <laughs> barely anything at all but we walked out with some stuff so i'll take it uh we got the raven bun the repair is two days is that right but that's probably without the armor is my guess right so get the repair that's two days then we have to put on the armor and that's more like 14 days okay that sounds more like what i was expecting let's hang on for a second because we might have to you know just get the repairs and then do a little bit of armor <laughs> call it battle damage and get into something fortunately we actually have a oh i'm surprised we actually have some funds at the moment so that's kind of nice i uh, will go ahead and do the repair and then we'll go max armor 0 0.004 97 we'll come down to 95 uh we got 70 all around everything else is looking fine so we'll go ahead and just tip it up a little there we go uh, I know we've also got the bolt-on eye rockets right here. That's kind of cool that we can just add that on. You're absolutely right. Free firepower. That's great. Clan flamers seem to fit into... Is that part... It's an energy hard point. Very interesting. We already filled out all four, so I guess that's okay. Heat efficiency after the jump is negative nine. I almost feel like we need to be even more efficient. Having the ER large was very, very nice because it was nice to have that range when dealing with the turret so that was nice to have in the toolbox i'm i'm kind of feeling like this thing stays kind of close to engage i know the pulses are nice but versus the er medium at 15 for 25 i almost feel like we're gonna do a little better by pulling the er medium going down to the half ton clanny are small and then i don't know getting another heat sink or something we're already at negative 16 so that's very nice or we can just get more armor yeah mech flamers take energy from fusion engine oh so we can continue to go no one died but it was pretty bad cyber yeah does the heat calculation include the bolt-on heat rocks that might show the wrong numbers it probably doesn't i don't think like if we take a look at the heat efficiency right now yeah it's still negative 16 so it doesn't include it but I doubt we can like alpha with this all the time yeah yeah lost the vehicle not the pilot and then hp's out for like 37 days and we have like 43 days worth of like full repairs in theory we don't know yet but uh we'll see what we can manage right so end of steel oh yeah forgot that we've got this that's probably too much space but kind of nice to know that we have that in the toolkit so if we pull do we want to go with the pulses so er small does not have any extra accuracy boosts the medium pulse lasers do and we really need every boost possible we actually do have another medium pulse so if we go more medium pulses that's kind of nice uh that might work out a little better for us and our heat efficiency our delta now is negative 40 which is a lot <laughs> that's quite a lot um I'm not too sure. I don't know. What do you bunnies think? What do the bunnies think? A snub is 
30. I know the ERLR is a lot. It's 36. So, I mean, it's something. I mean, you could also apply burn if we have our flamer here and we do the eye rocket. I mean, that's kind of synergistic, right? And this also applies a 20% overheat damage bonus. So that's kind of nice. Um, I guess we've got a missile hard point here. So that might be kind of nice to work with because we, if we did this, we'd pull off some of the double heat sinks as well. Yeah. How goes the war? Oh, balance is still in the black. Yeah. Well, not all good, but definitely in the black. Yeah. If you use the flamer slap the, oh, that's right. I forgot about it. Thank you so much. Somehow they're all afraid of big brick. <laughs> that's awesome. The duels don't work properly and it went automatically. That's crazy. Well, good for you. Well, we will definitely get that on if we're going to use that flamer. That's for sure. And this is flamer damage, flamer heat damage. Interestingly enough, it's not like flame damage in general, but uh, I'm curious. Actually, I don't want to I don't want to expend too much on the days. I was thinking about getting the improved jump jets in there since we have such a delta because it's negative 33, but if we do that, then that'll probably increase the days by quite a lot. So we might not be able to do that. The C3 slave, the Beagle active probe, definitely something that we can utilize. That'll be great for scouting. Yeah. Mm. Running with MASC. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, not bad. So It just seems like a waste though with this. If we pull the ferro fibrous off, that gets us more space, but that's also more time. And that really, really, really starts making me lean towards using an ER large just to fill up the spot. Like what happens if we go ER large just like this? The Delta's negative 18 exactly. Like we don't even have anything here and we go a flamer instead. Now we're negative nine, yeah? Huh. I think I'm going to stick with the mediums, the, the pulses, sorry. I hope we can maybe find another one somewhere. I know we've got them on the, on the spider right now, the wub wub. And then with the wub wub, maybe we get away with, with something else. I don't know. Uh, we can keep the ER medium on. Now we're sitting at negative 27. That's doable. That's doable. And if we pull this off, we have another ton and we can keep the double heat sink there and just kind of drop a little bit there. Yeah. Three ER medium and a snub. Hmm. Will that fit? I guess you are cutting about a ton per. So we got the snub ER mediums. We could do ER smalls because we're with a snub so we want to be close anyway right so now our heat efficiency is at negative 30 we pull this off negative 24. i mean granted we lose the capability to kind of be more accurate against those really dodgy guys yeah oh the fire control system flamer that's not bad i dig it i mean granted we have to be up close but we have to be up close anyway. So that works. That works. Thank you. Do we have room for another jump jet? We don't. So we have another half on there. Oh, well, we have half. <laughs> I don't really have anything that I would put on there. Maybe like a cooling pond. That's a half a ton, but is it necessary? I don't know. I mean, we can have it on there just because and then bring it down. There we go. That'll work. Yeah. Let's do it. So that's 17 days. Okay, so 17 days on one. The bun pop's been popped for sure. But fortunately, it's just, it's mostly armor stuff. But that's 22 days. So let's do a reset. We'll just get the, just the basic repair with like no armor work at all. And then we'll go from there and hold. So at least it's functional. And then we've got the wub wub, which is still mostly okay. One day of repairs here. Double medium pulse, has ferrofibrous, has end of steel. 
and we will hold so one day okay and then we've got our raven bun we do the repair we're at two days we're just gonna do it just like that and then hold so i'm not too sure where we're gonna be sitting after this we've got 22 on that flea we'll pull that as a last priority and then we'll get the bunk kermisher down and we'll go from here just to get functional barely functional i get the full reward without putting in any effort that's awesome when that happens and raven bun new holovid mass viewing in the mess morale increase so we're probably still discouraged i would assume discourage at 17. okay so mech bay bunk kermisher 17 days how are we doing in engineering because we can probably actually spend on something for tech right so we've got the drop information here terrain mapping sensors pre-mission terrain map enabled 168,000. properly map the terrain is there one about the nighttime or not weather monitoring systems 4.5 million <laughs> 4.5 million oh my gosh well this is one point at least for mech bay 2. this is storage space to reduce the upkeep uh the drop size is 2.5 million and then we got the lounge we'll get the lounge at this point yeah this one expensive sensor yeah <laughs> 4.5 million that's definitely a lot more than we have for sure okay well i mean at this point we really need our mechs back. I don't think there's anything that we can take on kind of safely. I mean, there's B team. There is that. That's kind of doable. There's Vulgar Crusader, but not in our state. So let's take a look at the store. I think I might be able to flush out some stuff. So we got our spooter. We can clear the spider. I think I'm going to do it. I don't, I don't want to pay the upkeep for it. We're now down to three less than 300,000. We'll bring this back down. Battle tick event movie night, old yeller morale. <laughs> ER large, ER medium, ER medium laser bright bloom, flamers, LRM fives. I mean, having it is nice, but standard medium lasers, medium pulse, PPC core. We actually need that as a backup. The standard heat sinks, believe it or not, we that's not going to get us very much, but it'll be lighter. The MASC, I think I'm going to clear. PPC capacitor. Periphery ammunition. We don't really have much else. We're now at 291. Save us a little bit. Almost at a million. That'll allow us to go over on the tick. Let's go in and get our bunker mercer back in line. Oh, with the dog? I prop... I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't remember a lot, believe it or not. There's like... Like, I know the one that I do really remember is Amadeus. I watched that a lot as a kid, which is actually kind of funny because I'd fall asleep during Disney movies, but I could stay awake through the entire Amadeus over and over and over. I have no idea why. I like Mozart. <laughs> okay, so we actually have semi-functional mechs. That's cool. Now it's a matter of actually getting some decent-ish armor on these things, right? So... We actually have ferrofiber, ferrofibrous available as an one and a half tons. Is there anything that we want to put on here that'll make it more effective? I mean, I think we should probably stop by the store now that I'm thinking about it because we are over on the tick. They might have optics, although it's probably going to be outside of our price range. We've got the Tunnel Rat AC-10, AC-20, Battle Armor SRM-1, Small Laser, some Engines... AMS ammunition, God, I, I want to pick that up. LRM double bin, nothing too crazy. So up to the armor here. Uh, it's just a great way to get money. The thing is some hero mechs are also not very good. I don't collect them. I keep ones that interest me so the others brings me even more money. Well, that's kind of the fun, yeah? That sounds great. 16, yeah? Hey, Master Pilot Wash, thank you so much for the following. Welcome to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us. We're tweaking, 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 trying to figure out how to do the mental math and get ourselves back into the saddle without breaking the bank yeah hopefully you're doing well and we're on 16 days we'll take it is there anything any other weaponry that we can utilize lrm5 no the advanced zoom is that good for the bun pop 
Maybe, maybe not, but we'll go with it. It's 16 days just for armor. And then we've got our Bunwa Blub. We'll get that armor back. We'll max out. So we're sitting at... We do want this up to 45. We're at 25 on the back. 25 on the back here. About 25 on the legs. And we'll actually bring the arms down to 20. And then we'll slowly bring it up on the front. There we go. So we're at three days to get some armor on there. Right. And then last but not least, the really, really long one's going to be the Raven Bun. This one we're going to max out. What do we got? 45, 130, 65. That's all round. Bring this down to 115 just to see 1990. And we can actually bring that up. So we'll come out to 120. And now just tap down a little bit. There we go. So 12 days. Okay. Not too bad. We'll be going over on the tick, but that's not a bad thing. It allows us to refresh, kind of see where we stand. Uh, we'll actually go in like so. So here we go. We definitely want to make sure that we go in full. Definitely want to make sure we go on half skulls. We're not really traveling yet. Something in the store after the new month. Very possible. Very, very possible, Steel Shark. I'm kind of crossing my fingers. I, you got the right thought, yeah? Replace the fan controllers for 10K. At least we're not going to have... I don't know, bunnies passing out from bad ventilation or something. <laughs> the AMS? See, I thought, okay, okay. I was thinking about it, but with our money situation, I was thinking maybe I don't have that luxury. Uh, but we might not have it anymore, actually. Did it tick over already? I think it might have refreshed already. So let's keep moving. Thank you, Tank. Thank you. Yeah, we are now in the red. Find a fast one. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we'll hope. And we got 10 days till. They'll pass on from Taco Bell. <laughs> I could never. Five and one. All right, hold. Okay, stop by the store just in case. So we're at ER, PPC, Battle Armor, SRM3. We might need to, I don't know, we might need to actually restart this client. It seems to be a little bit sluggish. We have points to apply, but let's take a look at what's actually available to us. To we're looking for those half skull greens. Hopefully something a little straightforward. Wow, we actually have a selection this time. That's cool. So we've got Delicate Gremlin. We've got... Remnants from local government battalion. So we got two battles. Duo duel. That's kind of nice. We also have an escort. So I'm thinking, how about this? Is there a restriction on this? Some tonnage restriction. Let's go ahead and save. We're going to do a restart. If I do that, I think that's probably going to take like 10 minutes is my guess. So I'm going to go ahead and save it first. Because it's actually getting pretty slow. And I know that once it hits about that six hour mark or so they kind of recommend that you you kind of get that going again for low-end pcs which is better probably my guess is bta between rogue tech and bta B rogue tech is kind of uh like the the most intense one and ravens oh my gosh what happened there well that's not good <laughs> let's go in and pull out here i'm gonna close the client we'll come back in yeah should be below the cling on Elvis. Just call you Raven. All right. Thank you so much. My wife is Raven, so that's that's gonna be confusing, but I get it, yeah. All right, we're gonna get we're out of the out of the client, and now we're going and launching it again. And then we'll get back on in. And we're gonna run one more mission. We got about half an hour left. So I'm thinking probably the fastest one is gonna be the duo duel. There isn't much on the sea bill payout, but we have two mechs that we can bring in. I doubt on half skull green we're going to see anything that's like heavy and above is my my guess. So I think we should be generally safe-ish at doing that one. And it's not really one that it seems like where we're really going to be able to get any C bills out of it. So we might as well go in for a pick is my thought. Yeah. Rogue Tech needs a quantum computer to run smoothly. I can't wait for the Solaris Showdown Mech Warrior 5 DLC. Yes, absolutely. A lot of the bunnies are excited about that one. 
Uh, do you like Duncan Fish right here? He's in that one too. Yeah. Like the bunny hop beat art. Yes, it looks so good. Cyber Rogue Tech is rough at the beginning. Well, is it because of like rough in the, I guess, rough in the gameplay department? Just because you don't really have a lot to work with yet. I know the last time that we played, I, I don't remember what my start was for my first Rogue Tech career, but I remember it seemed to move along pretty well. I am finding performance wise that until you get to the point where stuff starts to bog down and you need to restart the client, this is actually running very, very smoothly. So I got to say, I'm very impressed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so let's go in and load in. We've got our stream saver. Here we go. 193 days. We've been through it. You want the Mech Warrior 5 clan so bad? Heck yes. And that's supposed to be standalone too. Yep. Yeah? If you're crazy about Raven, does that make you a Raven lunatic? Oh, I see what you did there. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah? They put so much stuff in over time. Well, that's that's one of the cool things is that I guess cool or it depends on how you look at it. I know on the launcher at the moment, I think it's like 1.5.312 or, or something like that. It's you find it on the the downloader loader downloader, sorry, channel. And you can get that. And then there's say a, a bunch of radial button options for many different things from super heavies to quick sell to um, portraits, emblems, you name it. So it's kind of like choose your own adventure. <laughs> so you can have more or less stuff. Yeah. HB sent me the bunny hop artwork. I tweaked it to convert it into bead art style. You did a fantastic job, Cyber. I've been horsing around with melee in a new career mode. And I think that is the save I'm going to transfer into the showdown campaign. How do you do with melee in Mech Warrior 5? Yeah. I know I've seen some people play and they, they kind of got like a sword. That looks super cool. And I know that you can kind of. I have played it recently where you can kind of do little punches, but it kind of just looks like pop, pop, pop. it doesn't look like a big, like protracted swing. Uh, no, that's understandable. Dead. Low hit skills, low electronic warfare gear, night vision, ECM, crazy stealth mix that can decimate your team. Uh, adds a lot of different types of enemies, which need special tools, weapons to counter. You rarely start with all and it creates difficulties. I'm. I actually don't mind it. I think the thing that for a stream, I think the thing that is probably the biggest obstacle me, to me is just the length of engagement, right? So like if I go in for melee and I'm like the Cyclone that we saw, the Cyclone A1, and we're just kind of whiffing it, I mean, What's the right thing to do in that situation? You kind of just got to keep going at it, right? And sometimes you get into something. If you withdraw, then you got to wait around and make sure that you're not getting hit to minimize. I mean, it's part of the game, right? It's part of the, the process, but it's a little difficult for a stream just because I feel bad. <laughs> I honestly feel bad that it's probably not that entertaining to the bunnies. I don't know how you all feel. So let's go in and make sure we apply all the points. We'll get into at least another one and then we'll wrap this up. I'm actually thinking overall, sure, we're in the red. We lost a bunny, but overall, not too bad. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't feel like this has been too bad. This has been pretty on par to my expectations. Yeah. So, all right, we've got almost all fours across. That's excellent. Our guts for resolve generation probably just need to hit things at this point uh we got mac get that piloting there we go our mechs are okay great and we'll go over to the command center we don't have our flea online yet we'll start with the broken browed side dual duel for money i guess yeah we'll go half and half there's really not much of a difference here as far as i'm able to tell so we need to clear these out. We only get two on the clear. We'll definitely bring the Bushwhacker. And between the Griffin, I almost feel like our, our Bunk Kermisher is, is kind of where it's at. So we'll get Dadis in this. We'll get HB in this and let us go. Half Skull difficulty dual duel in a polar biome. Will the Bunny League win this duel? There we go. And pull this back. And five minutes on the clock, and we'll see what you got. Yeah. 
Oh my, I missed the lot there, Raven. Uh, there are 27 mech variants that can carry dedicated melee. The only way to get your hands on almost all melee variants in Mech Warrior 5 is to salvage them from pirates in the periphery. That's exciting. Melee weapons in Mech Warrior 5 hit like trucks. The assault battle axe hits for. Oh my god! Assault battle axe already like just from the sound. That sounds awesome, Raven. Uh, let's see. Or DCS. If I had a computer, I'd play Battletech. Personally, it doesn't bother me. The battles are a little longer. Okay, that's good then. I like it when you're struggling. Easy's boring. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm definitely struggling. If that makes you happy, yeah? Just not playing yourself? Well, excellent. If watching's okay, that's all I care about, honestly. All right, what do we got here, Darius? These guys aren't inexperienced. So watch out and good luck, bunnies. All right, let's do it. So we're in the cold. We're fighting the brothers themselves. We've got our own Raven Bun. We're going to go and break left. See what we got. Oh, we got the Bun Kermisher. We're going to try and push in as close to the hill as possible while maintaining some semblance of a line of sight break. And no contact yet. It seems like our sensors, maybe they're all stealth. Oh, we got it. Flee. Okay. Flee RK. Is that rocket? I think we've seen that before, right? What do we got here? We've got a gladiator with a snub nose PPC, double ER, medium laser, and an MML5. And then we've got a flea with SRM4, medium pulse, and four ER smalls. Does it have any armor at all? It probably doesn't need it if you don't get hit, right? Holy crap. That's terrifying. Well, let's get a little bit of distance here on five. Acknowledge. And... We'll take our chances. Stack that. Beautiful. Hero flee. It's very bland. I don't know. It looks kind of dangerous. <laughs> Let's have them charge in and then we'll... If they want to push into the middle, then we'll engage from both sides. Yeah? Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. All right. Hold. We still have some pips. If it's too frustrating. No, I'm good. I'm playing both because I actually like both. But good point. All right, 29. Oh, it's called the Romeo 5000. Ready for orders. Bung Kermisher. 42. Oh, excellent. Okay, we actually have a decent chance. I'm actually going to pull this down all the way to one. Get the gladiator to commit. There we go. Beautiful. And now we'll come on in from this side and hit that fleet because we're probably going to hit him pretty hard. You got Dex. He's one of the best. And we got the line. We can actually send all of it. Beautiful. Oh, that is excellent. And with that breach, we're going to walk it on over to the side and send hope to connect here. There it is. Beautiful. And we connected. And down he goes. Fantastic. Off the top of my head, the mix with non-hero melee variants are Griffin, Centurion, Shadowhawk, Hunchy, Kintaro. Oh my god. <laughs> you were, that's off the top of your head. That's very impressive, Raven. Alright, Raven Bun in. Let's move. We definitely want to finish targets here. So, out we go. We'll just drop that give him some guns there we go beautiful so the flea's off the field and that allows debts to engage from a more appropriate direction on uh, on we'll hop it we'll hop it we've got seven there we go leg off on a flea is way more than half done yep yep and he connects with the PPC. The snub is working pretty well. Oh, uh, we got... Ooh, that's a lot of armor gone. We'll keep splitting out this way so that we are giving our left side to the enemy as much as possible. And we'll send... We might as well take the shot. Bunker, i sure. Nope. on the move well you remembered a lot raven <laughs> you remembered a whole lot yeah it's very impressive all 
Alright, bring her around. Understood. And shot. Got past the armor. Ready for and dead. I feel like we're just running literal circles. We sent the rockets too. There we go. All right, excellent. <laughs> I think we got this one. And coming around. And dump it. Coolant pod destroyed times four. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. And go. Just little tiny machine guns. Hopefully, that'll be enough. We might have been a little too gentle there. Oh, no, no, we're good. All right, what if we just come to the backside like this? We turn that off, we tune up the machine guns, and we just tickle the back. All right, we just need to get the guy. <laughs> we need to get the guy. That's what we need. Snap kick. And connect and guns. Point blank snub nose. There we go. Beautiful. Way to go, buddies. I even managed to record that for the cruise hall of it room. All right. We got a win and we made it in time. Fantastic. Will the Bunny League win the duel? That is a yes. Congratulations to those who had the faith. My goodness. High tech's not always a solution. I have an 80 ton Warhammer 2C with my 80 ton Zeus stomped into the ground. And the only thing that's high tech is the XL engine. Uh, we got 74661. So we got some money. Bunnies are alive. Some armor repairs to do. But we can. Oh my god. <laughs> that's. Oh my god. That's nice too. Hang on. 5% engine weight factor change. 50% run multiplier when active. That's very nice. That would be very, very nice. Obviously, this is cool if you have the other improved C3 available as well. I thinking I might get that supercharger. That's really cool. Holy crap. And we've got half of a flea. That's fantastic. We did. Oh, can we put together a full flea? That'd be very interesting. We'll go ahead and drop this here and continue. Yeah, the supercharger. Yeah, it looked like it was worth a lot. I would assume the last one that was worth. Was it one point? 8 million or something. It got us 180,000. So maybe we get 300,000. I don't know if that's how that works out, but that might be kind of nice. I run, I'm loving the melee battle master, the 1M. I run six flamers, an ER large laser, an assault battle axe, and an SRM fort. Well, it sounds like you got that ER large for long, getting close, smack them, burn them, and hit them with a battle axe. That sounds like a good plan, man. All right, we're five days of repairs. That's nothing compared to everything else. Let's go ahead and get this all sorted. All the bunnies are going to be back online. Got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Forget my bad. That is awesome. Wow. Accidental smugglers. Keep the bonus supplies for AC5 or return it to the vendor. I don't need the AC5 ammo. We got double bin. I'm curious if we'll get anything. No, we didn't. The default set to 13%. Yep. All right, there we go. Raven button. Hold. Okay, so mech bay. One second. Go over to storage. We can take a look. We can put this together. This was that Romeo 5000. Has a light fusion engine and a steel frame. We've got the flea, which is the Dragoon's version. Ah, see, I like this one. This is the one that, in theory, the pulses, but I think it's just the platform. This is five energy hard points. This is six, three, and one, which is impressive. I mean, it probably doesn't come with a core, obviously. I'm going to try and put this together. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I assume it's just empty, right? Originally produced exclusively for the Dragoons until a compelling confederation acquired the design's blueprints via a Maskarovka raid during the 3040s, the post Helm Memory Core Fleet 17 variant is based on the older Fleet 15. Since the Dragoons used the Fleet in a rec recon role more than an anti-personnel mech, 
Earthworks conceived a new design by incorporating recovered technology, retaining the design's maximum speed of 97.2 km per hour, the addition of an Enda steel chassis frees up weight for an MASC system that allows the mech speed to be pushed up to 129.6 km per hour in short bursts. The increase of speed is required to ensure survival on the modern battlefield, as the Flea 17 is only clad in a pitiful three tons of Livingston ceramics armor plating. Pitiful. Okay. Well, let's see what we actually get. I think it's just the empty chassis, right? So we flip it over. Yes. But, oh, there's a medium pulse laser. <laughs> there's a medium pulse laser on it. So we can actually pull this down. Look, we get plus two guts as well if you use it. Well, I guess that makes sense. You're pretty gutsy if you use this thing. So let's go ahead and pull it down. We'll now have access to another medium pulse laser. If we wanted to, we can actually do the full four. I think to repair it is how much? I might just... Yeah, that's, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. I'm going to scrap this, and now we get the medium pulse laser. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we already have two on here. The Griffin has the ER large. And we can stop by the store just to check. Right now we got 15 minutes. Are we going to be able to get through a battle? I don't know. There's a UAC-5. That's exciting. And then we've got all of this here. Let's go ahead, take a look at the barracks. I'm going to try a battle. If, and then hopefully it'll be faster. If it looks like it's really, really long, then I'll wrap up the stream. But I'd like to at least try I think all of the bunnies are generally okay. We just have to... Nope. Yeah, we're okay. Let's go to the command center. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got Delicate Gremlin. This one is against a local band of brigands. And then this one is... Local Government Lance. That sounds more exciting. I'll go in 419. Let's go from here. Yeah. 15 minutes might not be enough to get through the store at times. Uh, what about the store? Uh, when you hover above the salvage mech, you can see the percentage chance of gear that can be restored. The more tech points, the better. Ah, I remember that. I forgot all about that. Thank you, Azrael. So 3.350,000 something. Oh, for sale. Yeah, that would be awesome. Let's get HP in. We'll get our bun pop. We've got the bun kermisher. We've got the bun wub wub. I think I'm going to hold off on the... Well, actually, if it's just for experience, sure. Why not? We'll get Amiel in there for the Bun Wub Wub. We'll get Deaths in the Bun Kermisher. We got Chappy. And we've got Antonides in the Bun Pop. Here we go. One half skull green battle polar biome. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? It's going to be the very last fight of the night. If it looks like it's going to be too large, then I'll go ahead and I'll wrap up the stream. But... If it looks like we might, like it'll go over, but not too long, then I'll go ahead and I'll hang tight. Obviously, if we're a little too far or if the enemy is, uh, <laughs> let's say, nigh on invincible to us, then maybe we'll we'll call it there, yeah? It usually gets me 3 to 4k damage per mission whenever I run it. That's impressive, Raven. Well, it sounds like you got a really good setup there, yeah? My hope is that... It's definitely helping that we're in a polar biome right now. And on top of that, my hope is that we're going to be fighting against like a single lance, like lance to lance. If it's kind of like some of the ones that we did where it's like uh, three for the lance or if it's even four, but it's like open ground, uh, not too, let's say like <laughs> not too much where everyone not nighttime let's put it that way if it's nighttime that might be kind of rough i don't know we'll have to see looking like night so we got all the way out here how close can we get we could just be on the other side let's see what are we actually dealing with though it's gonna be a bit of a blitzkrieg so they got two. They got a support lance. So we got a striker. We have a Phoenix KT. Okay, seems the older one. Laser strike. V. We've got a gun technical, the light rifle, heavy rocket launcher. We'll go in reserve down to one. There's four on the field that we're aware of. Technical on the move. 
I just have your all two love juggernaut as an enemy. Oh man. I do like the juggernaut for sure. All right, let's get a move on. Get in a little bit closer here. And we got the bun pop. See, this is already a lot smoother. It definitely seemed like we didn't we needed a client restart here. And we got depths in the bun Kermisher. We'll just kind of come up higher. Hold. Chappy in the Wub Wub. Far right. Hold. And then we're actually just going to have Amul pull and chill. Hold. The nice thing is we're going to be able to use them to maybe bait out someone passing their turn or reserving or something like that. Having another bunny out there is helpful for that if we want to reserve down to one and keep moving. Oh, hello. <laughs> Was that a Thunderbolt? What was that? That came from the Phoenix 1KT. Got a Skulker here. Oh, wow. Okay, they zoomed right on by. I'm guessing that's the technical. Hopefully, we'll be able to connect their reserve hold. From the Striker, came on over to the Raven. So this is the Skulker here. Single energy hard point. Bunkermisher. That's 34.5. 29. I mean, we could probably just walk up and get some shots to the front and hope for the best. If we hit him with anything, should be pretty effective. Doesn't have too much. Got 30 armor on that side. We got Chappie. Chappie's able to get in with a solid kick here. That's excellent. Let's go ahead and do it while we're on this side of the crest. 90% chance. That's awesome. The game doesn't like the Juggernaut in city maps. He shot his support weapons. The game stopped. Oh, <laughs> so many support. I can understand that. All right, we'll give this guy... Give him a nice snap kick. Understood. Targeting for physical oh, and we whiffed it. That's a bummer. All right, Still Shark, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great one, and we'll catch you on the next one, yeah? Thank you for your help. Amul. Arm up. And hope we don't hit our ally. Excellent. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Thank you so much. And if any of the bunnies are interested in the BTA campaign, just a reminder, we are actually playing tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we are here for you if you'd like to be there. But have a great week and we'll catch you on the next one. Bun Pop. I don't know if we can... Oh, we can. We actually can get in on him. Nice kick. 47%. It's actually pretty decent chance. There we go. Beautiful. So we clear our first one. Very nice. So we can already see that the support lands consists of three total. Maybe the local government lands only consists of the two. One being the Phoenix 1KT is my guess. Because we've got four remaining on the screen right now. So it's possible that this first one only has two in it. And then there's only two left on the local government support. There's that 1KT. I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> I really don't want to get hit by that. I don't know what it is, but it's terrifying me just a little bit. Uh, wow. Let's see. We got our bun wub wub. We should probably keep moving. If we come on over, actually hold. He already shot this turn. This guy's on nine. So I guess we could head him off before it gets any bad. Very bad. Kind of come through here. Medium pulse from the front where he's already hit. Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe, just maybe, but no. He gets to go. That's okay. God, it's My it's breach right there. Off. We'll tell you what. As long as they don't see us, right? And send it. There it is. Beautiful. So he's off. That's three left. I think there's going to be... Kind of, well, relatively clean. On the move, hold. Amul to hold. And Antonides, hold. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Laser strike, double ballistic, single missile, hard point. Gun technical, double machine gun, light, heavy rocket launcher, light rifle. Oh, hello. Did not see that. Wow. 
nail this in the head there is a kobold 2c oh, <laughs> stealth battle armor right in our face did not expect that let's get a little distance holy crap Understood. i guess fast. we'll just shoot the machine guns Acknowledge. are they flying they might be yeah. flying you constantly run into each other's back, try to shoot each other in the butt. I mean, that's kind of the way of that we do things in general. So, I mean, that makes sense to me, uh, Panzer. I feel like I should probably save some of the eye rockets for those kobolds. I feel like that'll probably be the smart way to go. Let's tuck over. I did not expect kobold 2C. They look like they've got jump packs. So I guess surface to air missiles might be helpful because we do actually have a ton of surface to air missiles available. They look like Iron Man, like a bunch of Iron Man. Oh boy, that did not hit. I'm guessing it's Thunderbolt. It's not AoE. Yes, All right, we got our bun wub wub. 2.9 screw that we're gonna Copy focus that. the v together shot Copy that. and to 90s got shots to the okay. rear speed, no send it stack and they disappeared off of the screen unknown position oh there they are there they are Did they hit the head again? Holy crap, they double headshot at HB. Hey. We're gonna be out for forever. This is a little more scary. <laughs> I'm here. They're like a death unit. Well, we are coming around from the backside. We're switching over, not hot load. We're switching over to surface to air. Hopefully that'll help. It does help, but it's still 4%. So that's something. And he whiffs it. Thank goodness. That's three. We got to get in and we got to finish these. Uh, Bunk Kermisher. Well, gosh, I want to hit that, but we really need to finish our, our targets. So coming around the opposite shot. He's got 29 armor. Chappy. Coming around to the opposite. Seven evasion and in cover. And then it's going to be, yep. Oh boy. Bolt on shaft countermeasure decrease target vision range multiplier. I heard HB wanted to request an arty hit on the battle. I mean, that would be awesome. <laughs> can, it, can we please get that? That'll be great. I love it. I would like to get higher though because I want to get away from that. I'm curious if this will count as shooting down on the kobold. It's still 0.9, so we'll just try and hit the regular troops. Leave the battle armor for last, I say, because I can't hit worth a darn yet. I guess that's where the flamer would have been good, but we do. At least he didn't hit us in the head for the third time. That would have been problematic. All right, we are... The kobolds are way over there, so I think we're okay coming out here. Leave my elevator. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going after Amul. Oh god. I don't even think we can hit them like this, because they're mortars. All right. Must have been periphery rifle or something. All right, so ooh, to the butt. Forget it. Shot. Oh my God. <laughs> it takes a lot to take that guy down. All right, speed, speed, speed. Push. What's this guy got? Unknown, unknown. Well, we definitely need to finish targets. 
Thank God. All right. So another V off the field. So it's actually three and one. So we've got four. Oh, two and one. So we've got three left. Now we see everyone, the Cobalt 2C. We've got the Phoenix 1KT and we've got that other V out there. That's it. That's the end of it. So we actually have confirmation now since the local government lance seems to include that nastiness, whatever that battle armor is. Five. Snub close range. There it is. Beautiful. So now we've got the Cobalt 2C, which we're just trying to stay away from. They're like flying Iron Men Terminators. Oh, help Amiel. <laughs> I don't think we can have Amiel punch out of a battle armor suit, unfortunately. Well, we got a... Oh, gosh. What does this guy have? Do we know yet? Thunderbolt 10. That explains so much. We have to engage him. But really, the only one with machine guns right now is HB. You can't eject from battle armor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for confirming you. Yeah. Armor, not a mech. Yeah. Well, that guy, hang tight. Here he goes. Oh, thank God. Bunkopter one. Hey there, Mr. Snipes. You're joining us right at the right time for the very end of our last fight of the night. Four, seven. If we get even higher, is that going to help? Doesn't look like it. And we can't really like melee those guys. Nope, no joy. Battle armor with boarding claws can climb. Yeah. Receiving you. All right, Bun, Bun Kermisher. I know dropping this guy would be great and all, but I think almost the bigger threat is that guy, but then we're just constantly suffering from damage from him. So uh, let's come it around. We're above. Confirm. And shot. On it. Awaiting orders. Chappy. 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. We might as well focus on what we can hit first and leave him for last. It's like taking a test. You kind of do all the easier questions and then you come back to it. But in the meantime, Amiel dies. <laughs> it's, it's how I'm feeling right now because you can't really do too much about it. I'm here. Yeah, I know for sure, Raven. All right, walk her up. 26, 29. And we're switching to standard and send it. We actually got a breach there. That's awesome. Cargo Vroom designed some crazy vehicles. I wonder the bomb trucks are here. <laughs> bomb trucks? That doesn't sound good at all. Wow, these guys are terrifying. All right, Bunk Hermisher coming it around. We get the green and go. Good hits. Got Chappy. Hit him. Tag a little bit. Amul is tr just trying to survive. <laughs> oh. Ooh, we actually got hit that time. That's not good. At least there's a lot less VTOL. Oh, yeah. Can I DFA this guy? Probably not. Shots? No. Can't even shoot at them. We'll just brace. I feel like it's like in those horror movies where you're essentially trying to, you know, bait whatever the nemesis is around the field because no one can actually hurt him because he's in invulnerable did they swarm i'm pretty sure they're swarming right now i don't like that <laughs> oh. oh yep that's what it sounded like reloading rocket launchers yeah for sure how are we doing here yeah i'm pretty sure they're yeah i don't remember glowing like that before all right, Raven. None here, so we'll just walk it in. Roger. 
shots. I know we're too close for LRMs. Almost like we should be having, I don't know, MRMs or something. Deaths. And on the green. Come on, come on, come on. That's excellent and all, but... Hold. And he whiffs it. Okay, thank God. We should be in melee range now. Okay, so what we're going to do... Abilities, erratic maneuver. We're going to jump. To try and shake him. Go. We... I don't think we did. <laughs> I don't think we did. Is it one of these again? Bunnies, you remember the last time that we tried to shake battle armor was not good. There we go. Beautiful. I almost feel like the battle armor alone. So we, if we were just dealing with the bees and the mechs, we would have been able to clear the mission. We're at four minutes over. Right now, the battle armor is what's going to slow this down significantly. It's interesting, all of the tag, and they're already swarming us. All right, kick. There we go. And guns. Come on, he's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. Death's just going to basically rotate. Take the shot. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. And he's out. Beautiful. Okay. So now we only have the support lance, but that support lance happens to be some flying Iron Man 2C. <laughs> I don't know. That is currently swarming our buddy. So we're just going to keep trying to shake him. Swan erratic maneuver. And we're going to kind of hop and bring him closer. You're probably like, why are you bringing him closer? Well, I don't want to have to go and find him. All right. There we go. Fail to shake him. Oh, no, no. I think we shook him. We shook him, but he's just going to swarm back on. But hey, it's a start. It's a start. Stand in the fire. Ooh, that's a good idea. Hold. So he's going to swarm again. He doesn't want to go away. I like it, mad dog. All we got to do is get rid of this guy and then it's done. But he might destroy us in the process, which is oof. Okay, so reserve down. Got Antonides. We are going to erratic maneuver and jump into the flame. Hold. Uh, they are on us. <laughs> I like your thought process, Mad Dog. That's excellent. Way. Hold. Standing by. Amiel on the approach. Hold. Aye, aye. HB. Full speed. Roger. Hold. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. You got six. Hit the arm. Jeez, Louise. All right, full reserve. And with Antonites, we could try to swat because we're in the fire. Base 25% chance plus 5% for each point of piloting. Negative for each missing arm actuator. 45%, 65. So drop in the fire and roll around. Oh my God. All right, let's try. <laughs> oh, God. We're rolling. I, I don't think I've ever done the roll before. Yeah, that did not work. And we're bleeding out. <laughs> oh, this is, it was simple-ish until that guy was here. Stop, drop, and roll. It did not go well, Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg. Oh, my. Yep. We're trying everything that I can think of at the moment. 
uh let's hop on up so at least we're i don't know either we get swarmed ourselves and we're more tempting target or yeah what they they single-handedly take us all down at least oh they missed how do you miss they missed hitting us in melee what in the world all right reserve down we'll get antonides stand up yeah no kidding ability so i'm not gonna swap okay so we're gonna erratic maneuver and we're coming on down the hill looks like we did it momentarily so we were able to get it there i can't shoot that so hold hp's got the line we'll just take any shot even though we might hit our own you're rolling around yeah no that's for sure fun wub wub shot all right dead obviously if we get close they can get us but at this point i mean they're gonna be on somebody speed six shot oh and death scores a big one with a clan er smalls knocks out a few of them that's huge and they tried to swarm and they failed oh my god that is excellent let's get some distance get some distance i know we're bleeding out but go 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 hold all right death shot and he lands it again chappy shot we're like trying to stay still so that we don't even move and introduce any precision issues because it's already hard to hit them what about sam ammunition shot swings at battle make hit side of bar <laughs> Hold. They're probably gonna swarm somebody. It's on them. Swarm attack success on deaths this time. Hang tight, deaths. Hang tight. You're at least very, very mobile. Let's keep them in the middle. So we'll get deaths. They're injuring everybody. So erratic maneuver, go for the jump, and we're going to try and put them right back in the middle. And Dertz, Dertz shakes them, Dertz shakes them, drops them. All right, fantastic. Good job, Dertz, good job. Bum pop, one more activation, hold, wub wub. Shot is 24. Be careful. We're hitting Dertz. Oh my God. We're hitting this. Oh, but we hit them too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, HB. Shot. Drop that. 14. DFA him. Oh, <laughs> At this point, it would have been a clean fight and they had to smack us. All right, walk it back. I'm so sorry, Deads. We're gonna, you know, well, let's go for machine guns up to six. Medium machine gun and SM lasers. Yeah. I'm here. First aid. Amul. Hang tight. I wish we had some direct fire weapons on that. Swarm. Come on, Dips. Come on, Dips. Come on, Dips. 
All right, shake this guy. Erratic maneuver. Jump right into the... Ooh, seven. Come on, Ders, you got this. Looks like he might have dropped him. I can't tell. Right here. Hold. Yes, I don't think he dropped him. I don't think he dropped him. Otherwise, we'd have a firing solution. Spread. Yes, Commander. Three activations. Get distance. Hold. Come on, Dad. It's hanging there, buddy. Hanging there. It's hard. Come on, buddy. Got it. It's it's almost painful to watch. I'm picturing deaths that I'm like, no. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, deaths. Come on, you got this. I believe in you. You're le you're seriously one of the best. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Move. And he shakes him. Shot. Fantastic. All right, we, we get another chance. Walk it over. Armored gloves destroyed. Oh my God. All right, Antonides. Before you go unconscious, can you kick him? Uh, we, we can. We can kick them. Well, actually, no, I don't know because aren't they flying? I don't know if I can't really see them. <laughs> I can't really tell. Guns. We hit them a little bit. Amul, hold. Oh my gosh, here they come. Where are you going now? There's basically two halves of a guy. Trying to go to Dertz. Can he fails? That's what we're talking about. All right, Dertz. Come on, Dertz. So it doesn't look like we can actually kick him. We're trying. But what do we got here? Dertz is ready. He's coming around. 0.9. DFA. <laughs> can we even? Doesn't look like it. Hang tight. Down. Got the line. We'll try to hit him. Guns, hit him a little bit. Depths has all the smalls. And on the green. Shot. And Chappy. Shot. Gosh, like a gnat. <laughs> All right, speed. It won't be 0.9. Yeah, we use we use the small. Need sensor lock. We don't. That's like tier eight. So he's going to the bun wub up now. He's just making the rounds. He was successful. What about flamers? I think they'd probably be pretty good. From what I from what it sounds like. All right, hold. Chappy. Erratic. And go. Seven evasion. And he got one. Shot. There's one left. There's one left. There's one left. Death isn't even going to move. He's got the high ground. He's got him in their sights. Shot. There. <laughs> Oh my god, and death lands the hit. That's totally a Melkor and no problem. Just as I expected, because I'm Darius and I'm the best. Oh my god, Darius. Oh, will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? Barely, no. Jeez Louise, wow. Watching fresh McWarrior shoot is like watching kids play T-ball for the first time. Well, those guys were not... I'm going to say that was a little more than a standard battle armor. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the last loot and wrap up. Bunnies, thanks so much for hanging out. It was both terrifying, tough, and all at the same time glorious. So that was great. 157. We're all out for a bajillion days. We're going to probably have to sell stuff. 
gun technical we can choose four pick 19 we can get a full laser strike if we want not too sure what's on it uh we got that thunderbolt 10 thing the skulker scout cart i can't believe we've, there's so many v's on the table a pod shaft countermeasure that's all cool machine gun dual armor primitive sensors basic structure thunderbolt ammunition one part of a kobold 2c improved stealth armor ecm tag light machine guns vtol movement system <laughs> oh my look at how many things it has it has ankle biter anti-mech tactic swarm go for the knee skeet shooter alacrity dodge black op recon stalker resilient <laughs> how many things he oh my god grab that stealth armor wait hang on look for more parts watchdog suite the stealth armor take it and look for more sure okay we can choose one more thing gun technical striker i mean that a pod would be great let's please get an a pod i will take it three two one so we've got that one part of that terminator flying terminator iron man machine we got one part of a laser strike we've got half of a skulker scout we've got an a pod Ugh. srm6 thunderbolt 10 we got armor we've got some cores to sell if we need it ferrofibrous primitive cockpit to sell stealth armor clan watchdog chemical ammunition lrm ammunition streak srm okay was it worth it i don't know but we survived barely yeah that's crazy when you find ba demo charges that thing <laughs> holy crap wow oh bunnies thanks again for hanging out that was rough uh <laughs> but we survived one round with rogue tech today and we gone out we're currently in the free rasa hog republic and we're kind of surviving barely so thank you all for your help really appreciate it if you'd like to um we're going to be returning with Battletech Advanced on the campaign tomorrow. We're going to be streaming at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to be playing with a lot of the toys moving through the flashpoints, trying to get those exclusive flashpoints and then take it to the clans. That's the way uh, that I have it all set up right at the moment. So um, again, got to wrap up. If you'd like to hang out until the end of the music, we'll go ahead and give someone a nice read. We are trying to reach a thousand subs on YouTube, so any help is appreciated. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one with you. Have a great night and a great weekend if I don't see you tomorrow.